Check out so, my stinger. Fire. Oh, no. like the thing we call on the show? <laughs> it's, it's a musical like interlude to the Vote It Up? Yeah. Cool, let me see it. And then it's it's a rhyme. That's what you've That's given me. That's not what a stinger is. That's incorrect. And for some reason you uh, are for some not, reason you are we left. recording? I never record. Oh, okay. okay. Uh, it's just streams to YouTube. Uh, it says, "What are you doing?" Go to the chat. Just I'm up. fucking reading this thing. <laughs> what are you? Yeah, inter- I, I know that I'm. You, uh, you know that I'm reading this thing. <laughs> Anytime. <laughs> Why do we always have this argument? Because you uh, usually you're dicking around on your phone. The one time I'm reading the the thing. Right, to, I'm sorry. To see what this guy said, you're. Fiddling around. Well, with it. I, every time we start the show, I just want to read the chat because the chat will tell us if anything's broken. So that's what I was doing. See how he has stinger. Yeah, I sent the, the biggest problem stinger, and instead he sent two rhymes, which are not stingers. Yeah, and then he's got stinger. And he then also he's got, sent me a private message saying, "I don't know if Dick saw my stinger." <laughs> this Can is the please, stinger he's yes. talking about. This are is, you sure? I, is this the same guy? I don't know if this is the same guy. Um, Great stinger. Well, Are then you he, use his, this. Is this usable? <laughs> his stingers also. Yeah. They have. He has. Welcome to the biggest problem in the universe. And then dot 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 from. And then he gives his rhyme. I know what. That's I know a, the wait, context of the rhyme. The first one's not a rhyme. Uh. Yeah. It is. Read it. From Sweet Baby Incorporated to Vito being. It doesn't say incorporated, does it? From Sweet it says Inc. Okay, from so, Sweet Baby. So you just change the word and you say it doesn't rhyme? <laughs> yeah, in that case, yes. Okay. That he, doesn't rhyme. He's rhyming. I'm going to say different words than are what's on the paper. <laughs> I see the rhyme now. I get it. Now you sound low to me. Probably it was sweet ba- from it. Sweet Baby Inc. to Veto being a pedophile, I, I think. I think. It's That's too a, long, though, for But he's also, you see how he wrote down, Welcome to the Biggest Problem in the Universe in front? Like, I don't know where like the rhyme's supposed rhyme to go. Goes. I like fans try to contribute to this show and we just... Uh, shit on them for it. How's that contributing? I don't know. People want to be a part <laughs> of the so magic. so confusing. People want to be a part of the magic and then I get blamed for it for some reason. Uh, Cause you're Team Guy Vito. Team Guy Vito. Well, team Guy Vito. My team's really D-E-I Vito. fucking up this week. Always with the D- uh, uh, Team Guy Vito. Sweet Baby Inc. Vito. Always with the DEI defense. If this right? team would just hire me, I would. I could fix all this. I could stop Gamergate in a, in a fortnight. They want Gamergate though. That's what people are saying. Because then they can lock us up. I don't think that's why they want it. I think they want it because um, they like to feel like they're fighting something. Everybody wants they to are. feel like they're White part men. of them. They're trying to kill us. Well, they think it's funny. <laughs> Some of them. Some of them want to kill you. And the other people are just turning their heads or helping them like you. I'm not helping them. I'm just saying, if you guys genuinely care about the problem. Of what? What problem? Of forced diversity, of woke marketing, of uh, uh-huh. whatever's then going what? on. Then what? Then you got to talk it about it in the clearest, least conspiratorial terms. Why? Because it'll affect real change when you know what's actually going on. That's what the lies that you tell us. You're giving them a smoke screen by reporting incorrectly because then they get to go, oh, see, they got that wrong. That means they're wrong about everything. They're going to say that no matter what. You should. They are already lying. But if you get and you're running cover for them. No, you no, because <laughs> you want to be hired in the games journalism business. I, a lot of people said we're very excited for this week's show because we think Vito and Dick are gonna fight. We are gonna fight. I don't think. I think we're. Uh, I think we're. I tuned into your live show and uh, you're doing yeah, soft you're in the toss chat. with that. Yeah, we're playing trot. The guy that across. started the original Gamer Gate because he fucked. He he was a game journalist that fucked. That girl, and then gave her game a good review, and then lied about it. Right? I don't think he reviewed it. Oh, he didn't say it was a good game. I think it was like one of those. My this girl I'm fucking made a thing. Check it out. I'm not gonna say I'm fucking her though. Things. And then he well, wrote a. It's kind of wrote a re- review saying that Hotline Miami had like a rape scene, and he neglected to say that it's like pixels, and that it's only a couple seconds. Did in he dream. write that? Look, yeah. I mean, I've talked- decided that I have pretty bad guy. <laughs> not well. Oh. I'm not saying I'm friends with the guy. Running okay. cover right now. I'm not running Down cover. Downplaying it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> running cover. Team Guy Vito. Running I'm cover not Vito. On his... Always with the DEI tip. <laughs> These people don't like me. I'm not on their team. And I genuinely <laughs> don't like them. <laughs> That's a classic Team Guy. That's he what, came, exactly what a Team Guy would say. He came on the, the thing. Everyone's like, you didn't challenge at all. I'm like, at all? I, you didn't even read Super Chats. <sighs> I did read Ooh, Super Chats. You didn't chats. read the good ones. I saw. You I'm missed not... the good ones. Okay. Oh. I will read super chats that insult myself. I will read super chats that you know are relevant. Okay, 
But if I have a guest on the show, oh man, oh man, what do you mean, oh man, oh, oh man, man, oh man? Do you Why want would people super chat if you're not going to read it? Well, don't super chat insults to the guest. You're like, he doesn't want to talk about fucking. Uh, what if you had Hitler on your show and people were super chatting mean I comments? I probably would wouldn't you read those either because I don't want team guy exactly. No, be- oh my god, have you ever watched like an interview on the on like the news or whatever? You Is know? that what that was? An interview? What you were it doing? Was a little bit. I thought that I was, was a two man nod fest. Oh, yeah, these guys are crazy. I agree. They are crazy. I agree. You got to get the crazy out of the way so you can get down to what the actual problem is. Okay. What's the problem? The problem is uh, companies hiring people who, uh, you know, Hate white people. are not good writers because they're kind of bogged down in this idealistic thing. Because they're women. That's a part of it. <laughs> Very base. How come you didn't tell him that? Well, I don't know, man. What, what, I should have said the problem with video games is women are writing them. <laughs> yeah, okay. let's get to the heart of it. All right, stop sh- dancing around. You I know? feel like if you hit stop him, beating around I the feel bush. Like if I hit him with that, we're just gonna go down a rabbit hole of like team guy. I don't actually know. Look, I don't have any way to back it up. I can't say here's a bad woman writer because I'm not playing those games. I'm playing. <gasps> what was the point of the interview? The point of the interview was to talk to a guy who you know has interviewed people at that company and knows specifically what they're responsible for to yeah. try and knock out some of the like more wild theories. But it was about just like retarded PR shit because it's all his friends. What was ret- the, it was just the basically was let's read PR that shit? yeah let's read that woman's article out loud. Well, I tried to get him to say they need to fire that guy or that guy did something wrong. He said wrong. no. Yeah, yeah, he, he said no. He wouldn't do scumbag. it. Scumbag. Well, that's yeah, but that's important. And then he had even when you were joking, you know how you know you know people because when you're joking, they have a dead eyed look in their eyes. They just stare because they're so offended <laughs> by your joke. Like you can see they're in, they don't have inside of them. It's just worms. And the worms start like wriggling and squiggling when they hear a joke because they don't, they just hear it literally, you know? I, uh, you know what? I appreciate that guy for stepping into what is, you know, obviously a den of vipers. A lot of people are with you? come for that guy's head. I'm you critical made of his that guy. Bed like a bed making competition. I'm critical of that guy. Oh, mama! I said, Ooh, I said, you gotta say that what this guy oh. did reporting that Steam Group is bad and that that guy should probably be fired for it. Oh, what'd he say? He wouldn't. He said, no, I don't think it's that big a deal. Why don't you say, you fucking cocksucker? Oh, it was interesting to hear why you didn't think it was you a mafia deal. cocksucker. I think uh, you know what I learned from that is that. Those people exist in a completely different sphere than we do, where like reporting a. Like, let's say you tried to explain to your grandma group how serious reporting a steam group is. You know? That'd be tough because she's dead. Okay. Well, maybe not your... How about your aunt, your uncle, whatever. Somebody... So, uh, an older person. And you go, oh, I'm having the worst week. And they go, why? And you go, well, somebody reported my uh, Twitter account. Uh-huh. And it's uh, it's almost like it's hard for them to wrap their heads around it because they're just not in a space where that matters. Same for this guy. He's like, well... You don't think they had lynch mobs in their time? I'm just like, remember, I'm saying, Grandma, remember what you used to do to black guys? They are doing that to me online. These guys can't wrap their head around the idea that shutting down a Steam group for cataloging this group's games yeah. is uh, bad. They know. They know it's bad. Well, they think that they're group- They're doing it they believe, to hurt them. They believe that group was, you know, they're saying that they had faced some sort of harassment and they no. believe that group was part of it. They're not just they're doing it because they don't like-, like They're liars. I think they- in the frauds. All I, of them. It's possible they're very misled. I'm not going to call it lying, necessarily. Misled? Yeah, they think that that group, they think that whatever, who knows, whatever angry messages they're getting are coming from that group, and they think that it's serious enough that they- get a they, picture of a guillotine in their email, and they're like, oh, I really believe this is well, real. Well, they don't live in my sphere where I get death threats and people calling me a pedophile every they 10 minutes. They send them I'm all used the, to that. Journalists. You're saying journalists who uncovered, like, the mob don't yeah. get death threats. Well, these guys That's are not, totally. These guys are not real journalists. They're not getting any sort of. They're not, they don't dig in anything real. So, you know, you think it's peculiar that all the journalists uh, all get the same thing wrong? Isn't that funny? I think they have a blind spot. Uh, wow, you know what we call that? Where I'm from? A coincidence. A coordinated. Yeah, coincidence. A coincidence. Look, and when those coincidences started to stack up, you know what we call that? A conspiracy. I'm very upset that they are they are failing to report this story correctly. They're. Reporting it for maximum benefit and harm to us, them. I think it hurts them to report it incorrectly. Um, the only th- goal they have is the death of all white people. <laughs> See, and their we, dads. We're having like a conversation, right? And then all of a sudden it goes, and they want all white people dead. Well, you've heard them talk. What do you think? <laughs> I think that they, uh, they think white supremacy is a big problem. I guess. 
<laughs> so what's the easy fix for that, right? Ultron Kill style. <laughs> Kill them all. Exactly. <laughs> I don't know. How do you think that you. interview went on a scale of one to zero? A lot of great comments. A lot of great comments. Biggest <laughs> problem. Softball. Here you go. The universe. How crazy is it? Welcome to the biggest problem in the universe, the only show that ranks every problem in the universe from uh, well written gays to the end of an artist's days. Samuel Grayson, I'm your host, Dick Masters, and joining me as always is Team Guy Vito. Team Guy Vito. Most amazing interview I've ever. You would ask the questions and then you would give him the answer, the answer and then he would give an even worse answer. Yeah. Two guys who have no idea how the stock market uh, works. It's incredible. I understand how the stock market works. Not well, I've, you were faking it like I've you were now, faking like a guy. You were in character as a guy who had no idea. Well, how I was it trying to. I was trying to get more information out of it because, frankly, the topic of uh, ESG investment funds is a complicated one. And no, I'm not really. Well, it's complicated. In uh, <laughs> what are the numbers? I couldn't find concrete uh, numbers on exactly how What's large. What's the one you guys, you two, uh, you two uh, team guys threw out on your interview? Well, he said that the total investment. Uh huh. Uh-huh. I can't yes, remember the exact numbers, but it was, was saying, it an M or a B or a T. Well, the it was a B. B Bill, billion, Oof. billions. What did he mean today? What did uh, he mean I think in general? Hold on, I, I do have a. Oh, oh no, he is. <laughs> he is coming in hot. Oh. Am I coming in hot? I just, oh, I knew it. I had to do a little research. <laughs> Should have done that before the interview, though, right? So I believe I don't know if this is correct because uh-huh. uh, the numbers are. It's very hard to get like concrete numbers. That's interesting, and you wanted all this evidence of all the uh, emails and conspiracies that are happening. I still want it's, that. it's hard to even get numbers. Isn't that funny? Well, it, the fact the numbers that- are black and white. <laughs> See, this is this thing where you go, well, if it's hard to get the information, that means the information is automatically bad, right? Uh, no, I just mean, I just mean, if a woman says she's going to murder her husband. And then the cops show up. She's there, and the husband's dead. Uh, the woman probably did it. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna probably give you a point here that you'll probably think. And this that's is, what the DEI people are doing. I'm helping you here. Look, I'm being objective. BlackRock uh, is believed to have 10 trillion in assets under management. Uh-huh. AUM. Of that, huh. according to is a guy who knows how the stock market works. Reading can I terms read, can you've I, never heard can of, I, used off a piece of paper. Is that right? You, <laughs> Was assets under management, is that a common thing you run into? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> what funds are you working with? Crypto. Crypto. All right. Uh, of those funds, it says estimated $800 billion is invested in ESG. So that would yeah. be a little less than a tenth. Right? Of what? So what's, of their total. What's total. What's the total? Oh, wait, what do you think? Take a swing billion. shot. If I go on YouTube or if I go on Google and I type... How many? How much money is under ESG? Is it going to say? Is it going to say ten trillion dollars? Is it going to say is projected to hit blah 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 trillion in twenty thirty? I'm allowing you to change my. See, this is the problem. I'm very open minded because I'm not a team guy. Hundred <laughs> percent team I'm guy. I'm not a team guy. That's the point. Also, what's important is that uh, most ESG funds are uh, tied up in tech companies because they just ah yeah bad. Well, a lot of leverage. When lot people of say, you know, there's, you know, billions of dollars in ESG, it's all in Microsoft, Google, Visa, Apple, because it's very easy to point to those guys. And why? Yeah. Why is it easy to point to those guys, Dick? Because they're the most anti-white men. No, that's not yeah. why. It's because they have a strong environmental component <laughs> to their businesses. Did you see the thing that came out that Microsoft uh, gave away their bonuses for diversity hires? No. How did that work out? Um. Well, everyone hated them, but we're still using Microsoft Office. No, but I'm saying, who did, who got the bonuses? The the hiring the managers? hiring managers. Okay, because yeah. they hit their bonuses in terms. They hired of non-white people. Hired. Non-white men, excuse me. Yes. White women counts for counts for half of a well, token. Here's, but you get a full here's bonus token. If the you go. important thing that I've said is that I don't agree with these diversity hiring uh, initiatives. I totally agree with you. But I'm you vote on for your it. team. No, you vote for uh, it. What? You're not on my team. Uh, we vote? go by actions in this part of town, sailor. If uh, We don't take too kindly to word talking around here. <laughs> We're looking at your voting, son. You're voting for this. I mean, if this is just a extension of you voted for this, then just say you voted for this. It seems like you're trying to make you a new meme out of it. You did vote for it. But I'm team also guy a team Vito. guy. Right. You are team guy, Vito. Do we really need two memes to explain the same <laughs> fucking thing? It's different. 
it's not different. It's the you exact can vote same. vindictively, you know. Right. Team guy is. Hey, everybody! I'm running a. I'm run, doing free PR for this fucking. I'm not dead doing eye, free PR. The PR. guy that started Gamergate. If Sweet Baby was a hiring firm and oh. they were only getting black people hired at game companies, I would absolutely agree. What do you mean a hiring firm? Uh, what are you a talking staff about? In, what do you call it? A, a hiring agency. Sta- so hunters. then you'd say they're guilty. Yeah. Why? You don't think any there's any kind of uh, influence over the like, like you don't think consultants have influence over a product? But the point that you were making was that I was making many points. You were making all at the a same time. So slow people got confused. <laughs> is that me? I'm getting confused. The, the the crucial point that I was trying to get at is I you were talking about ESG scores. <laughs> And Yo, let's do this at the end, all right? Okay. We're supposed to have a happy episode. I'm happy. Yaira, I'm a happy the Yaira guy. trailer is out. We got a lot to talk Eric's about. shit his pants. He's wiped the Yaira trailer off of all the Ripiverse uh, pages. Wait, really? All the YouTube pages that are Ripiverse branded. Yaira trailers should be at the front, right? It's not. But it's it's so he did he didn't pin it, but it's still on there. It's not the main thing that you see yeah. when you go there. Okay, um, let's get a let's get a drum roll. You started talking about this first. No, wait, did I? Diversity I did. extortion mafia. Diversity extortion mafia. Your pals. <laughs> your pals over it. I'm just leaving my employ- employment opportunities open, Dick. That's what it comes down I to. I know. I think I would do good working at one of these places. Ruining I think kids' lives? I think I could stop Gamergate, too, if they put me in charge of it. I think I would be the, me- the great mediator. <laughs> but what would you do? I'd say... That crit, that guy who tried to report that Steam group, he's fired. Fired, and they won't. They won't. But that's the first thing I would say you have to do. Second thing you have to do, and what would you say to the uh, bosses if they if they didn't want to follow your advice? I'd say do it, or I'm going to report you for to a lack media. of diversity, <laughs> and your ESG <laughs> score is going to go down. Right? Isn't that a, isn't that the most powerful weapon in my arsenal? I'm going to say I'm a trans woman, and if you don't yeah, listen to okay. me, that's so you're aware that that's possible. I am aware. You just don't think it's happening. I I think I'd I think I'd be good at throwing that around. Uh, vegan donuts. Yes. Um, so I came in dead last on everything. Yeah. Stupid award shows. Who's then. eating vegan donuts? To even complain about exactly. It's still a problem. Yeah. Because it's not happening to you. It doesn't mean it's not a big Stupid problem. Stupid award shows is a problem, but I didn't realize the problem was going to be more of the Satan shit. Oh, what? oh, John Cena did like a little joke. He clearly only did it to appease his Satanist masters. And I'm like, I think John Cena just thought it would be funny to come out naked on stage. Yeah, but why would John Cena want every women, every woman in America staring at his chiseled Beautiful. naked body yeah. and wanting to see his penis? Why would he? If want it was that? a fat guy like me, and you go go out on stage naked, fatty humiliation ritual. Yeah, that's a humiliation <laughs> ritual. John Cena, not j- most He's jacked guy, in spandex for twenty yeah, years. We've already seen it all. We've seen his dick. I saw Lester in the Oscars that I do in wrestling. <laughs> also, they showed the behind the scenes like did you really think he was naked he's wearing like a flesh colored thong it's a joke but uh according to the illuminati uh, this is what he's got to do to get his success to the next level (laughs) he's already at he's been in many he's in a bunch of box office he has his own tv show (laughs) do you think do you think james gunn is gonna go to him and he goes listen motherfucker i've talked to the satanists and if you don't get naked, <laughs> we're canceling Peacekeeper. No, I couldn't believe it. The woke shit was insane. The, all the wo- they should have complained about that. The woke criers. No, the people crying about the woke shit. That yeah. that Indian like song was retarded. Mm-hmm. Uh, but whatever, it's fine to have a little bit of retarded stuff. I had fun with the Ken song. I still enjoy that. <laughs> Yeah, a, a movie fun. about misogyny. Yeah. <laughs> God, we Let's had a movie celebrate. about misogyny, a movie about a bunch of white, well, Jewish, me- whatever, yeah. men who, you know, built a bomb. Uh, <laughs> it's not, it's not very woke. No. And, and, then was, uh, and then a movie making fun of woke black shit. Yeah. American fiction is a movie making fun of just the overwhelming trash centered on black people that we get written by a black guy, starring an all-black cast, uh, who are all actively making fun of it. Like, this is what was, this was a movie in the Oscars. I still need to see that. I've heard nothing but good things. I got a torrented or something. It's not in theaters anymore, right? I don't know. It came out, like, pretty recently. Uh, unless I'm wrong. 
Also, uh, you know, and then that Killers of the Flower Moon movie didn't win anything, which is like, I feel bad for uh, Scorsese, but it is funny when it's like, what happened? A bunch of Native that American movie ladies sucked. died. Sucked. Oh my god. You get such mixed uh, things from people on that. If anybody tells you that good, don't uh, that movie's good, don't ever listen to their advice again. Anytime it's like three hours, right? Yeah, nothing happens. If I'm gonna do out three hours for a movie, I should probably see Oppenheimer first. What's great is, uh, you know how I haven't seen most of the Best Picture nominees, so I've reclused myself from talking about them. Uh -huh. I'm not like certain nerd retards who go on Piers Morgan to talk about how Hollywood is broken. Did you see that? I did see that. Nerd Roddick and a critical it, drinker going, well, the, the problem with Hollywood is it's all... I'm like, you didn't see half these movies. You yeah. Know, you have no idea what you're talking about. Yeah. Um, those movies are better critiques of like woke culture than anything that these guys have ever created. Yeah, well, all they watch is that Marvel trip, and then they're like, they're like talking about what saved Hollywood, and all they can talk about is Top Gun Maverick, which is like a, like two years old at this point. I'm like, is that uh, your your gold standard, man? Yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. All Stone the, Toss got doxxed. All the comments are uh, oh, ripping okay. on you. Um. Am I saving uh these various? News Back the movie says the laziest man in the world is complaining about people who are overworked. How can he relate to them? He wants to know. Oh, uh, overworked manga artists. Yeah. Somebody sent me a uh, a uh, chart of the average life expectancy of manga artists, and it is like 15 years lower than the average population. So. Yeah, but he was saying you are lazy. Yeah, Tony, I know. That's what Tony's saying. Try to turn that around. <laughs> I, got a, I got some new you ideas. Do that. I did I get see. a new. Well, do you know uh, what this hat is from? Some gay shit. I... <laughs> this is from Akira Toriyama's Doctor Slump. What does that mean? Uh, it's the guy, that guy, the Dragon Ball guy who died. Okay. And do you know what this shirt is from? The same thing? It's from Dragon Ball Z. The trash? Oh. This is, uh, <coughs> yeah, uh, what's his name? Uh, Iber says, uh, Kentaro Mura didn't die due to stress-related issues. He really, uh, changed up his life 15 years ago, and his death was a freak incident that could happen to anyone regardless of stress. I think the point is you work really hard in your younger years, and it has lasting health effects in your older years. Well, you're in luck because you're not young anymore, so you can go ahead and start working hard now. Maybe I won't. It won't be risky. Eh, we'll see. Uh, Vito doesn't know anything about the problems he's talking about. That's what he says. Well, I have all these stats about ESG says. now, so now I know plenty. <laughs> Reeve Doc says, Vito is so aggravatingly close to being a teamster, but just far enough away to criticize those practices. It's a magical balancing act that gets more intricate every week. It's beautiful to it's watch. It's really not that much of a balancing act. I just, I know what's actually happening because I've read mm. the interviews and the articles. <laughs> oh. So when people and go, Wikipedia, so when people go, the reason this lady is black is because of this other lady, I go, well, actually, uh, that's not the reason. Because, uh, Multiple other ladies. the creator, the director of the game, said that's not what happened. Well, I mean, of course he's going to say that. Why is that? Of course he's going to say he's that. He's got to cover his ass. It'll look horrible. Why is he? he says, why would it look horrible? Nobody, no CEO wants to look like they got dog walked by some dumb bitch who gives talks on. If he said, "Yeah, she's she yeah, helped. you guys she are right," us develop she that character, yeah. influenced it. He would look terrible. I don't think that's true. Oh. <laughs> I don't think of anything, especially right now. Hold on. Isn't right now the point that everybody in that sphere is, like, getting together to shield this company from criticism right. or whatever else? Yes, including the so CEO. So why would you not want to come out and go, no, they do excellent work, and uh, we're so glad that we worked with them. And they, did. There's what they did, yeah, and then they... Oh, no, but he doesn't... It's not... He knows it's bad, what they did. He it's bad, what they did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why is it bad? Um, Because... Because the gamers don't want to play a black lady that was race swapped for twelve hours in an Alan Wake game. They well, want to play Alan Wake, a white guy like them. She's not exactly race swapped. It's very complicated. Mm, is what color is she? Okay, but that you. That, what color was she in the beginning? She was white. That's not her in the beginning though. Oh, uh, just a picture where they said that's her. No, what happened is that was a mess up. That game Quantum Break. Uh huh. They don't own anymore. Oh. So the white lady so was they in the had game. To make her black. They don't. Own, well, that I is. I see. You that actually, makes sense. They don't have to make her black, but they don't own that white lady. It's like with Aragorn. Like, well, <laughs> no, it's not like Aragorn. Vigo Martin's, it's not like Martinson, so we got to make him black. What do you call it? Uh, one of my favorite animes, Gunsmith Cats. Originally, it was a white lady, Rally Vincent, and then he lost the rights, so he made her a black lady. It's a way to get around it. How does that get around it? Because it's a different character. You, if you if you got dragged into court, you'd go look. That's not the same. Black people aren't white people. 
So that's also, how they. That's why they changed the race. That's why that, I think it wasn't part all of that. It. And oh, okay. also, there's that guy Lance Reddick who they wanted to work with. To connect him, he he was in so they Quantum made her Break. Black to fit with the. He supposed Lance Reddick is supposedly the father of this black oh. character, but Lance Reddick died before they made the game, so they replaced him oh, with a different black shit. guy. Black people have shorter lifespans. That's the trouble when you start fiddling it's around. It's a lot. It's a big problem. <laughs> Yeah, you might Nick, you might lose out on the black Nick people. Nick Tomasic says, uh, quote, show me proof these journalists are working with Sweet Baby Inc. And then another quote, all of these games Sweet Baby Inc. worked on were critically acclaimed. Oh, yeah, that's interesting. That's interesting. Let's see. Clipsama is screaming, the guy is the same. Okay. The guy is the same? My understanding is that they don't own Quantum Break, so they can't. These these games they're making so they had now to race swap it. are in a different universe. But I don't know if the oh. character Alan Wake appeared in Quantum Break. They might have worked out a deal where they're only allowed to use certain characters. Like, okay, you still what if they own go into another universe. Is she Chinese? Yeah. Oh wow. What are Chinese people in that universe? Are they white? Uh, yeah. That's the there's the Chinese universe where everyone's white. How interesting. And they hired a consulting agency to make this happen. You know, is huffing copium. Now right you now. can't stop reading the chat because you're. I'm just saying you know how very reasonable what you're things. Is. Okay, even you if I'm know. wrong, it is still entirely possible that six years past that game, right? They sat down and they said, actually, I think it would be more interesting if this character was an African American woman. That's crazy. And then, and it had and then nothing a, to do a with a consulting firm baby. that had their mission statement is put it's more. Not what it says. Yes, it was put more diversity and inclusivity in games. They got hired to work there, and then there's more inclusivity and diversity in games. That's a way more connect the dots. Boop, boop. You can put diversity I'm going to go kill this game. Hey, why was that lady where the game was killed? Oh, I don't know. Could be lots of reasons. They've talked specifically about things they've done, so why can't anyone find them just saying, well, we came and we thought this character would be uh, more uh, dynamic if we changed the race. You're saying they're never allowed to say that. What are you talking about? I'm saying, how come there's no example? They've talked about what they've done on these games. Uh huh. Like the, people have the asked race. them, "What'd you do?" The no. guys talked about changing the race. Where did they talk about changing the race? When they showed her as a white lady, and then she's black. Okay, they didn't talk <laughs> about that's different. They didn't say we changed her race. Well, like that would be marketing suicide, of course. Why would that be marketing suicide? Do you understand that cigarettes were? They said they were safe for a long, long do you time. Understand? Do you understand that? That Disney and they hired marketing companies puts to- out the Last Mermaid, and nobody has to be like, "Hey, which consulting firm made Ariel black?" Because they just come forward and they say, "Well, here's why we wanted to reach this audience." Blah blah. blah. They're not. A Afraid of talking about this stuff, they talk about it all the time. Yeah, it was a group effort. It was a group effort. You ever go? You ever like see a movie and then it's like, well, who wrote that? Well, whose decision was it to make Indiana Jones shoot that guy instead of? And it's like, oh, you know, it's kind of a group thing, right? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You're not aware of that, right? The creative process, how it happens, you know, quote unquote, organically, unless somebody's I assume forcing somebody their shit in. Well, actually, who did have that uh, idea? Wasn't that idea come up with on set? Is that the guy? Was that his name on set? Is that is he? <laughs> no, Indian? they were trying to is film that... Uh, that guy with the sword that Indiana Jones just shoots. Uh-huh, uh-huh, Do you know uh-huh, that story? Uh-huh. Yes. Okay, yeah, that they practiced this. Like, so who came up with it? Probably uh, what do you call it? Spielberg, right? I don't know. Do you know? I'm sure you can f- find out. <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know what point you're making. Uh, Indiana Jones. What if Indiana Jones became black? Then you think it'd be the same thing. It's like, well, who came up with that? Yeah, it was kind of a group. You know, we're talking about it. Just thought it would be cool. I think it makes a lot of sense if you're making a movie about, or uh, you're making a game, yeah, about modern day America. Oh, to have more black people in in uh, rural Washington. I think having a black person uh, opens up some. Uh, so you like it? You like that the, the main character was a black woman? I'm not turned off by it. I I I think I think it presents. Uh, if it was a white woman, a unique set of challenges, right? I think there's you know? a unique viewpoint. You're constantly having to make sure you can ha- wear your hair and your nails. At work? Well, I don't know the female uh, black experience. That's their most the important problem. Experience. That's their most important problem, is being able to have long nails. I'm trying to think. I mean, I like Law and Order. Remember that, that black police chief lady? She was great. So maybe that's what I'm depending on. But I do like white people together because I love uh, Mulder and Scully as cops. So, I, you know, any uh-huh. flavor works. You just love it all. I, I'm, Especially I'm if it gets you a job in game journalism. I think I'm just not so jaded that I think there's a guy at the heart of the company. Maybe it's a little writing team, and they go, "Well, here's a cool story we could tell." And I don't think I think those guys. Let's make said, her black. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes I going. Sometimes cool I sit down and I think about my characters, and I go, "Well, what race would be cool here?" You should make Super Killer black. That maybe there could be a black Super. If it killer. ever comes out, I mean. Well, it's not going to come out. Uh, I have an idea for a black character. 
His name's Michael August, mm-hmm. and I shoot him a million times in the head. Oh, man, this episode <laughs> is bad already. No, this is a great uh, episode. No, it's bad. Jesus fucking Christ, Null's fantasy about killing Vito sounded just like the edgy nerds in high school that fantasize about beating up the jocks. I can't wait to see Null's self-insert OC uh, Josh Blood Moon. Yeah, it did sound like that. Are you going to stare at the chat all night? I can cover it up. <laughs> they hate, not they hate what it. you're saying. No. You don't no. have to read the specifics Well, they don't have it. to hate what I'm saying. What I'm saying is very reasonable. I know. That's why they hate They hate. That and they hate that you're saying. I want to play Alan Wake now. I'm interested. I think Alan I'm more. Woke, you mean? I think I'm more interested now that it's got a black lady in it. I go, oh, that's kind of cool. They're building something here. What the fuck are you talking about, Vito? There are dozens and dozens of DEI. This is from Connor Consulting Firms. It's become industry standard practice to have DEI departments and sensitivity readers in house. It's common knowledge in the industry. Why don't you get your fucking facts straight before being a contrarian retard who tries to downplay everything these freaks do? You just argue based on how you want things to be without any facts. What do you think about that? So the guy who gave the list of names, and I started looking them up, oh, and they're yeah. not consulting firms? Arnita Sarkeesian is not a consulting firm? Not one that's uh, existing anymore. Oh, oh. Some of them, uh, it's one of these things where they give you a big list, and out of them, maybe half of them are actually consulting firms. So there you go. His there opinion's go. totally worthless. Well, I don't know what games they're consulting on. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> okay. I had some insiders write in about how what um how ESG's impacting them directly in this DEI shit is. Oh, cool. Well, yeah. it does it has it made them change the plots of things they're working on? Yeah, he said yeah. Okay, like what? Like a Everything. like a, a video game or a yeah. movie? Yeah. Oh, both of them. Okay. I could see that happening more in like Hollywood with like TV and movies. Oh, so you could see it happening there. Well, I don't okay. see it as a we've got to raise diversity scores. I see it as we've hired a bunch of liberals. Interesting. So this all this depends on guilt. a score to you. This whole like forced diversity thing depends on some kind of score that you've des- that you don't sa- understand. I have always said that there is this forced diversity. Wasn't that a problem? I brought I brought in the problem of the Amazon until it studios. happened to video game industries that are your friends. No, I still think that it exists. Okay, and uh-huh. I can bring up examples, but I won't waste everyone's time. Uh huh. But again, I think the real problem is that they only hire their liberal friends, and everybody comes in, and they're all making gay stuff. Okay. Okay. How's but that I, different? Than I don't what's think because I don't think that the uh, effect of these ESG initiatives or hiring funds is nearly as pronounced and a direct correlation as that's is totally being insane. Okay. I think everybody just hires their friends. I don't think they hey, go. Microsoft, you think the uh, five hundred companies in the S and P. Are just hiring their friends. No, I'm in white... creative fields. What's the difference? Well, you know, you know, guys who you think are good writers and good artists. It's different from. How do you think Activision and Blizzard? Like, how do you think they get money for their games, though? They get well they need investors. Yeah, but they're also huge companies that are being invested. And in. again, a lot of the ESG fund is your environmental impact, and a lot of them have. You, you say know, that. No, that's what that's what investors say, and the people who put the funds together. They're right. Like, that's the E. The crucial part of it is the E. The guy who invented ESG even says, "I really wish we had never put an S in there because it's really about the E." Why does he wish that? Because well, the S is causing huge problems. The S huh? is causing huge problems. Oh, why is that? Because uh, all you people are losing your oh. minds over it. <laughs> all right, you want to do problems now? This is totally shot already. Or do you want to read a bunch of shit to disprove arguments that you're having on the internet? I want to do both. Uh, now we can do problems, but you won, so you got to go. All right, my problem is uh, bad day holidays, mm. St. Patrick's Day on a Sunday. Yeah. Give me a break. It's not a good Come time. Come on, man. You're already dressed up for uh, St. Patty's Day already. I have I have a lot of green anyway. I like green. Are you a big green guy? Uh, when is Jer- George Floyd Day? When is St. Floyd's Day? Is it on the 19th or is it on a Friday? Is it the day died or is it the day they burned the target down? I don't know. I think it's on a Friday, though. Okay. That's what That's what we need. We need St. Floyd's Day on a Friday. Well, they did it right. If that's true, I we think it's get true. We should get a, uh, yeah, we should get a one-day BLM riot once a, once a year that we schedule. Everybody boards up the, the windows. Not a riot. I mean the day off. The no, day I'm, we're celebrating it. It's got to be... St. Patrick's Day's got to be on a Tuesday. We got to riot. We got to riot. Yeah, which they're doing it right, though. That's what I'm saying. You want St. Patrick's to be a day to be on a Tuesday. Yeah, Tuesday, because then you can kind of phone in the rest of the week. But people, uh, so people got to work. Uh, no, nah, nobody has. The DEI can't people take, can, can't can take. go to work. They're not drinking. Look, I think it should be a They're national holiday. Sex hormones. As a, uh, I am a part Irish man. 
Uh huh. And uh, it is sad that the Irish, in so many ways, are pushed out and not recognized. Thanksgiving. That's that's right. Thanksgiving's great. It's a great Thursday. holiday. Yeah, Thursday. every year. Yeah. Well, Easter's always on a Sunday, but that's not like a fun holiday. That's a church holiday. That's that's fine. They got the right People idea. People aren't drinking on on Easter Sunday, really. Maybe a little Jesus blood. You are. Yeah. Celebrate privately. Yeah. Uh, Halloween also fucks around. You know, bad day holidays. That's yeah. every once in a while. It's like, oh, come on, man. Why do they? What? Who came up with like? It's got to be the fourth whatever of the month. FDR, I think. For Thanksgiving? Yeah. Well, yeah. but it's always a Thursday, which is great. But uh-huh. why are not all holidays? Like, I guess Christmas is supposed to be- Because this is like a new thing. Yeah. This idea that, you know, we have to we have to uh, circle everything around our jobs. Well, Christmas was Jesus' actual birthday. We all know that. So we got to move that one, too. Can't change that. That should be- I mean, it should be in summer, which is when Then you get, like, a born. Sunday Christmas. You're like, what the fuck? <laughs> or Monday, and you can't yeah. buy anything. There's nobody- Because the shipping shit isn't happening. Yeah. It's just a- or New Year's on a Monday, or Pi or Day on a Thursday. I don't want a Thursday pizza. Did you get a? Pie Is that day? what you do on Pi Day? Did you get a uh, pizza on Pi Day? No, I didn't even make the connection. Three to pizza three point one four. You get it? I get the pie part, but I would have thought of <laughs> custard pie, not a pizza pie. No, all the pizza places had three dollar fourteen cent pizzas, and I tried to go. Do you know Blaze Pizza that chain? No. There's a line out the door. I was like, well, I'm not going to wait in line for it. And then I went to 7-Eleven uh, just to get a drink. And they're like, yeah. hey, we got pizzas for three bucks. And I'm like, am I really going to get a 7-Eleven pizza? And I got one. <laughs> and, uh, oh, man, it's a real bad pizza. It is. Uh, I thought when you said you have doing... those little holes in the bottom. Yeah, like... I think it's one of the. It's. It was those basically dents? a frozen pizza with maybe a little. The cheese was a little nicer, but. It's just that's such trash. I ate, stuff. I you ate, can't well, eat that. I ate one slice and I went, "This is the worst pizza I ever ate." Uh, and then I ate a second slice and I went, "It is definitely the worst pizza." I, I threw out the rest. Stop. That was three bucks. It's not the dollar amount that's the problem. <laughs> oh, look, I'm Stop not saying, eating this shit. I'm not saying it was inedible. I was like, "All right, this is terrible." Uh, eat two slices and throw out the rest. Okay. And for um, some reason, I got that orange bang stuff. You ever get that? That's also terrible. No, stop eating this crap. It was pie. It's day. all bad for you. I figured pie day. I could let pie loose. day is not a celebratable <laughs> day. Thanksgiving is okay. I think every fat guy in America pie day rolls around. You well, gonna get me a God pizza. God damn. Oh whatever. I eat two slices of shit pizza. You're looking forward to pie day like I'm looking forward to St. Patrick's Day. I am looking forward to St. Patrick's Day, but I look forward to it. I want the corned beef and cabbage. <laughs> okay, that's better than. Liquor store Corn pizza. Corn beef and cabbage is good. You ever uh, make corned beef and cabbage? I've never made it, no. Maybe we How do you make it? Uh, well, you you just, I think you boil it. It's a boiled meat. Okay. What's your, uh, what's your problem? My problem is that I'm not eating corned beef and cabbage right now. You look like a, you sound like a wounded animal. Do like I? You, yeah, you sound like defeated by the internet this week. There's been a lot going on. I think I'm just trying to be in like a, in a calm place. Just being a, just being. When is that? When is that? Never. Yeah. Almost never. Between posting Wikipedia and FBI sources? Oh, yeah. There's just been a lot this week. There's been a lot. I've made a lot of mistakes. I've, uh... I just... What, what did you think would happen with that, that, that interview? I don't care about that. That's fine. <laughs> I'm fine. I'm fine with knowing I'm right and everybody wanting me to be wrong. I've experienced that many times. <laughs> How's that working out for you? It it's doesn't exactly sound like what, you're having it's fun. It's exactly what I wanted. It's every, it's this is every, the same look that Eric July gives on some of his movies. It's every day videos. when I know that I have actual information, I believe in stats, and people go, you know, that election was stolen. And I go, fascinating. You want that crown? You want to wear, put that crown on? I See how it fits behind crown. you? See if it fits. Now I understand it's why. It's like the one that, true ring. Now I understand why that guy went crazy. <laughs> Like, I get it. He had to be right. He had to be right. He really wanted to be right well, all the time. Maybe uh, maybe he wasn't right. He might have been right <laughs> Nobody's sometimes. Nobody's right. Uh, Dick. See how it fits. <laughs> there we go. Perfect. Uh, my problem, Dick, uh, relates to a story I saw. Uh, have you heard of a, I guess a Minecraft YouTuber named George Not Found? I've heard that these, name, but I don't know. There's a lot of these young guys, you know, and they're yeah. kind of like popular figures. I think for young men, I think young men go, you know, they look at guys like Mr. Beast. 
Uh, you're gonna say Mr. Girl. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of guys are yeah. young guys are looking Lining up for Mr. Up Girl. Mr. Girl. Uh, you know, they look at guys like PewDiePie and right. they go, Well, that's what I would like to be doing. I would like to be I wanna have a career. I wanna do something with my life. I wanna entertain people. And they see a situation like this. On March 9th, Twitch streamer Katie Bugs alleged that she had been sexually assaulted by a popular content creator. In oh, summer of wow. 2023. Okay. Uh, digging into the story, it turns out that creator was this, again, I believe Minecraft streamer, George Not Found. Now, Dick, these allegations are just horrible, what this uh, young man is accused of doing. Uh, what happened Sexter? was... He sent a picture of his penis? Well, you know that VidCon uh, convention they have? All the creators yeah. get together and hang Maddox out? There yeah. Once. He didn't like that. <laughs> Well, uh, Katie Bugs and her friends uh, went to a VidCon party after stealing some 21-plus wristbands. Okay, sure. Uh, 21. Yeah, I snuck Could in. Could be 24, 25. You uh, don't know. Yep. Well, they yeah. went in there. They were 18, I guess. Uh, oh. So they're 18. So they're already masquerading as older women. Went fraud, to a perpetrating fraud. VidCon party and uh, free alcohol, I believe, at this party. Got very Ill drunk. They're illegally consuming alcohol. Illegally consuming okay. alcohol. Lock her up. Lock this bitch well, up. Well, well, here's the problem is that then, as these 18-year-old girls went to an after party, which George not found was, uh, he attempted to flirt with one of them. Uh-oh. Uh, and they ended up uh, cuddling slightly on a couch. Canoodling? Canoodling a bit. And uh, according, how old is he? The way he's uh, twenty six. Oh, <laughs> yeah, it's something. He's making out with an eighteen year old. Well, they didn't make out. They flirted. There was some cuddling. I believe. Cuddling. I believe he was twenty six. Well, here's what he's claimed. Here's the worst possible thing: is that finger blaster. He asked her, shove a bottle in her if pussy? he could tickle her tummy, and I, <laughs> I guess she agreed that he could tickle her tummy. Uh, did not con get consent for tickling now? Did, I, I don't know if he got consent. Well, that's what we're saying is uh, apparently did not get verbal consent. They're claiming this was sexual assault. No sex took place, but of course, uh, flirting with a girl you believe to be 21 plus and tickling her. Okay, so what is what happened to this guy? What happened to this guy? Well, he's ha he's been forced to, after first saying, I don't understand, <laughs> I, I tickled a girl. I was flirting with her. Uh, that apparently people were not happy with that. They I've said, tickled all kinds of girls. No, Is you're that... you're the most <laughs> horrible man. Oh, I was gonna send a video clip, but I forgot to you send it. You can't consensually tickle someone. It doesn't right. work like that. I think he asked, so he tried to consensually. Tickle. I mean, but it's not really. The point is he's been forced to apologize. His uh, his streaming career is in danger. How? What does she look like? The girl. I think she's a normal looking lady. I don't fucking Oof, know. He says, you can try big. to bring it up if you want. Uh, actually, I tried to bring in a video of the community's reaction. Can you go to Keemstar's Twitter real quick? I think he posted this video okay. uh, to show you how the community is reacting to these horrible allegations of a drunk girl going to a party and a Getting man tickled? tickling her. Where is it? You go down. Or here, I can probably find it. Not that. Not that. Did he get removed from that picture? Yeah, did you see the picture I retweeted? That apparently now he's being uh, he's being memory it's being holed. erased like Stalin. Yeah. Um, oh, here we go. Okay, George not found tickled an eighteen here, here, year old drunk Stalin. girl's tummy. Somebody else has escaped. Is that him? Yeah. That's uh, no. This is a, a reaction from one of the girl's friends. Who is also, I believe, a very popular streamer of some. I'm taking this stupid crown off. Is uh, also a popular streamer, and he's letting people know how serious this is. Oh. oh, for your fucking sexual abuse, my friends or anybody else as a scapegoat for your fucking sexual my abuse. Friends? My friends? Did he just say my friends? He's got a weird way. Of my talking. friends and all you. <laughs> is that a speech impediment and an accent? I wonder if he's British or something. My, my friends. friends and all you. Disgusting. Disgusting. It's fucking disgusting. Okay, I. I, my friend, cried in my fucking arms about this, and you're on stream denying it all, denying Ooh, the fucking hug. Do a second take stuff. without Bit the voice crack. cracking. How about? <laughs> Bit of a crack. There. Hey, oh, oh, gee. Kind of makes it hard to take it seriously. Uh, you are disgusting fucking people. You and all of your abuse sympathizers. You don't need friends. to play with your hair while you're shouting well, at sexual abusers, right? You are all 
fucking horrible. Seriously, you are so wrong for trying to displace this fucking uh, this fucking sexual assault onto anyone but yourselves. You are sexual a 26 assault. year old man, 27 26. now, trying to fucking put the blame on 18 oh. year olds that you don't fucking know. What the fuck is wrong? Ah uh, man, go die for Israel. <laughs> let's uh, let's kick this World War Three up. Come on, guys, we need some boots on the ground. In Gaza, we, I think fighting this, the fucking this terrorist guy would be a good scourge. Fighter. Get I think he could get over it done. there, man. Cut off the draft at forty. <laughs> get over there. Well, Dick, my problem is a generation of sexless idiots. This is a generation of young people who seem to believe any amount of sexual uh, energy of any sort it's evil. It's basically rape. It's just always rape every single time. It is literally impossible for a man to be attracted to a girl at a party and flirt with her a little bit. I'm going to go tickle some tummies tonight. <laughs> Tummy tickling is... Uh, I'm going to tickle a bunch of girls and some guys, I too. think that's worse than <laughs> rape, honestly. I'm seeing a lot Yeah, because they want it. They wish you'd gone further, so it's humiliating. I don't know what we're going to do in this... Let's be clear. All these young people watch this Minecraft stuff. They're watching all these YouTube guys, right? This is their most popular thing. We did that. There was that study that said, what do most kids want to be when they grow up? They want to be YouTubers, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so what do they do? They're watching YouTubers and their favorite YouTuber. They go, why is he not posting anymore? Someone goes, because he raped that woman's tummy. With and they go, fingers. with his fingers, his dirty sex fingers. And they go, is that is that not okay? Is that, if I'm with a girl and, and we're hanging out, can I tickle her tummy? No, because then you're a fucking rapist yeah. too. Yeah. This is a good- Maybe they're right though. Maybe tickling is bad. Well, there's a lot of different- I've been called, I've been, you know, criticized for my tickling. Well, maybe you're tickling too aggressively. I think there's I'm a going as hard as possible. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do that. Jesus Christ. Got to slow down with that. No, no, no. We see a lot of these stories okay. accusing these guys of grooming. Uh, I think it was two years ago when a YouTuber named Call Me Carson was accused of grooming a 17-year-old. Oh, yeah, that was retarded. Uh, Call Me Carson was 19 at the time, grooming a 17-year-old. Uh, Keemstar <laughs> blocked me on Twitter, by the way, because I called him out on that recently. Oh, because he was leading the charge well, on that? No, Susan, yeah, he was. I think he even made a video that said, call me Carson texting underage fans. And I'm like, she's 17. Yeah. They're in the same high school. And then uh, recently, remember Susan Wojcicki's son uh, died of a drug overdose or whatever? <laughs> And Keem's like, I Sorry, just don't. I was thinking about something else funny. <laughs> okay. Not that. Yeah. Uh, Keem was like, I don't understand how people can be uh, so awful. You know, is there no morality on YouTube? And I went, Keem, you called a 19-year-old a sexual groomer for sending text yeah. messages to a 17-year-old. I don't think you're the barometer for morality on uh, um, YouTube. So I will not be on the Lol Cow podcast anytime soon because I have pissed off the great Keem star again. This show sucks. It's, it's real just bad. Like fake shit. Is it just Keemstar? Even gets... when Boogie got his garage door put ped file on it, I didn't even believe it. Even if it's real, dude, like, I don't give a shit. He had somebody show up at his house today. And he was trending. Somebody showed up at his house again, and he didn't try to shoot Who, him. Who Boogie? Which would have been funny. Yeah, he should have. He should have made that his, his thing. It should somebody be like one of those his house and did what? They like uh, they rang the doorbell. No. I don't know. They were trolling. Repoed his magic cards. <laughs> they <laughs> repoed the... his old girlfriend. <laughs> they should repo uh, some of that stuff. He's got to pay those bills. Uh, the point I'm making, though, is that I'm looking at this current incoming generation of children, and I'm going, uh, yeah, none of them are, well, not children. I'm looking at this younger generation. Yeah. They're going to be terrified of any physical. It's already happening, okay? Now, a lot of this stopped, started with the Me Too movement, mm. okay? Because Me Too showed up, and all of a sudden it's like, hey, you know that girl at work you kind of got a crush on? Yeah, I was thinking about asking her out. Well, if you do that, uh, you're going to be dragged through the mud. You're going to get your name put on a list of bad media men and uh, basically be blacklisted from the industry that you believe in so much. So you do understand blacklists. I do understand blacklists, Dick, and I am very much against them. Okay. All right. Odd. Uh, if you're one of these guys and you're all worried about white birth rates, I'm going to make the argument that this is probably going to be the biggest contributor of driving them down. Okay, because you're going to have a young guy, and he goes, I just want a career. I really want to work. Kids, kids these days are, uh, I'd say, motivated towards their dream careers more. They don't want to settle for, like, a crappy job. They want to work in their dream field. They probably have more time to do so. What are you uh, talking about? 
talking about the kids fact that kids want to be YouTubers. Well, you have a you have a generation of saying? boomers. There's generational wealth. The kids aren't exactly lining up to get factory jobs. They're all going off to art That's school not. and yeah, yeah. Well, they're all trying to become movie directors and YouTubers and whatever else. They want to be in the spotlight or at least have a creative career. YouTubers, YouTubers yeah. mostly, sure. Yeah. And they see that at any point a woman can destroy that for them in the blink of an eye, and nobody will even like think for a second like. Wait, doesn't seem that bad. It doesn't matter. So it they won't want to chase them. their dreams of being a YouTuber anymore? No, they will continue to chase their dreams just yeah. without pursuing women. They're going to go, I am much more interested. Yeah, that's good, though, man. Fuck women. They've just, they're just nothing but trouble. I know they're nothing but trouble. You know? it's, it's, but it's, like, scary. Who cares, man? Just game. You know? I mean, drugs. I just always look back and I go, thank God I only ever beat up that one girlfriend, because if I did it more times, then yeah. there'd be stories out there that could really hurt me. Yeah. But thankfully, that one bitch is dead in the ground, because I took care of that. Uh, I don't know, man. Like, I'm I'm a guy, look, I'm trying to- I they, tr can't, they can't do anything else, though. Yeah. There's this is the only- they're trained to be outraged at something. And to be social activists. Well, it's just the only thing. It left. seems weird that if you're in a bad relationship and you're a public figure, next thing you know, that lady's like, "Well, I'm not just satisfied for, with ending the relationship. I need to." Even if you're not a public figure, they'll just go out and be like, "Hey, you know this guy who works here? He's a mm -hmm. bad guy. You know, he should be fired." There's a lot of this. Uh, I mean, the girl's doing that to Worski right now. Kind of. I, I was gonna say, there's a, a Worski <laughs> is facing. <laughs> <laughs> kind of that exact situation, right? Just dumping out all the DMs, like, oh, God. And uh, there's been other famous men in that sphere, oh. uh, some of which uh, may have retreated to Mexico because some of these women are just crazy pants bonkers. Yeah. And uh, we see it happening. And again, guys. The, this guy, what's your problem? Uh, a generation of sexless weirdos. Sexless weirdos. I mean, it's yeah. also just getting into the heads of all these kids, and they go, oh, if I meet a girl. You, you hear stories from girls, and they go, I went, uh, you know, we were in the bedroom, and every I was talking to a girl the other day, and she's like, every time I was with this guy, and he kept going, can I touch you here? Is it okay if I touch you here? Is it okay oh, if wow. I do this? And she was yeah. like, please just fuck me, because this is becoming ridiculous. Can I touch ridiculous. you here? Can yeah. I touch you here? I saw this video that was uh, barbers asking if permission to touch their <laughs> hair. I saw that. What? That's horrible. That's evil. Yeah. And, and then all these people were like, I don't understand. It was like a- Did you ask permission to sit in the chair? Yeah. It was like a super like queer fun time barber shop. And they go, is it okay if I touch you? Because it's the barber and they're going to touch your hair. Of course they have to touch you. And then the person goes, yes, I do give you consent to touch me. And then somebody tried doing it at a black barber shop and the black barber's like, now is it okay if I touch you? And he's like, oh, man, what the fuck is this gay shit? I'm getting out of here. It was a Mexican. <laughs> well, it was a Mexican? Yeah. I misremembered the ethnicity because uh, I don't see color. Uh, we are unless it's white, unless it's white unless or black. It's white. Then no, like then it's it like, oh yeah, if it's gotta, white. I want to change black it. this up, I man. I'm not playing up. video game. A white, a handsome white guy. I think we're enter entering with between me two and the constant everyone's grooming everyone. Did you see the girl claiming she was groomed by a guy who is younger than her? Uh -huh. Did you see that? Yeah, it's probably true. Sure. That 16-year-old gro groomed the shit out of her. Yeah, that's why, I mean, the, the whole thing is, like, the whole thing's fucky. The age of consent for women should be, like, 105. Like, they don't, this idea that they, yeah. all of a sudden at 18, they're making good decisions is asinine. It's also built for, like, 30-year-old men, 35-year-old men. That's the problem. These kids are trying to navigate a system that is built to protect them from 35-year-old men. And none of them, like, they throw these yeah. fits, and you're like, well, none of you guys are 35-year-old men. Like, this only exists because these 35-year-old men are real bad guys. And they are going to try yeah. to fuck you and use you and all this shit, right? You guys, are, you don't even understand how I bad you're going to get. I find this all genuinely sad. I find it sad that, like, you know, it used to be you find a girl, I don't know, maybe you fight a couple times, you pop her in the mouth if she really goes nuts, but you live the rest of your life together and you take care of each other. Now it's like you're living with a ticking time bomb. Are you dating a ticking time bomb? At any moment, she might go, you know what Andy Worski did to me? <laughs> I got to make sure he doesn't do that <laughs> to, any to anybody other else. Horrible woman. <laughs> I mean, it is true in Worski's guy. All the things against him, obviously, are, you know, can't be falsified. But other th people are actually getting thrown under the bus. Um, yeah, but uh, that's not true because lobotomies existed. Mm. So you're, what you're saying about women getting worse is not accurate 
They've always been this bad. They've always, I know they've now always. Now they have access to. Now the they have access to sympathy. That's the big problem. It's this guy. Honestly, it's this guy that I'm more upset with. Yeah, because he should be telling everybody, listen, uh, tickling is not a big deal. Yeah. And I'm going to go fight for Israel. Because I believe, or Gaza, whichever side you think is right. Whatever side you want, bud. <laughs> They're all that doesn't matter. Just go fight to the death. <laughs> okay? Because what you're doing here is not working. Uh, a generation of sexless idiots. I think we're entering it. I think you're going to see these birth rates continue to drop. Uh, I did have one, uh, a couple quick stats. I love stats, guys. In 2011, 22% of young people reported having no sexual partners in the prior year. In 2021, 10 years later, that percentage is now up to 38%. The birth rate has dropped uh, 23% since uh, between tw 2007 and 2022. Uh, wait, how much? 27, 23% it's down. From so, when? From 2007. In 15 years? Yes. What? Yeah, How dude. is that possible? The birth rate of whom? People, American citizens. Children. Oh, citizens. Oh. <laughs> Black people too? Yes, across all, the U.S. birth rate is down 23%. What? No way. That's crazy. We're actually below the uh, replacement rate. So basically... The replacement rate is 2.1 children. That's how many children you need to have to keep the population stable. That's very complicated we're, math. We're at 1.6 children per family. Oh, man. I guess we get a better bring all of Palestine here. It's uh, it's going to be the same thing in Japan where Social Security is absolutely fucked. There's no way to maintain it. Yeah. Uh, in Japan, man, like... Uh, you know they got all those free houses in Japan because yeah. old people just keep dying, and they're like, "We have no one to give this to. Do yeah. you want it?" Mm -hmm. So that'll be good. You gotta go live there, though. I looked. I looked at it. There's like all kinds of stuff. You do have to. Yeah, there. Japan is very strict about living there, and they also say, "Don't think you can just come live in a Japanese house and like hole up and hang out on the internet." It's like if you're living in Japan, like your neighbors are gonna be like, "Hey, like be a part of the neighborhood, asshole." Fuck you. <laughs> Otherwise, you'll be ostracized. I've only pedophile shit here. That's where that pedophile uh, where it lives and downloads all these lolly. Sexless. So the generation is the problem. Or I think the, not I think the whole generation is uh, gonna not be having sex. What a what a retarded display this guy has. It's a uh, my friend. I mean, is he ever had sex with anyone? I'm gonna say that guy's never had he, sex with anyone. Does he want to fuck her? Is that this? Is that the problem? Well, here? that's there is a bit of white knighting. Like maybe if I'm the loudest guy in the pack, she'll go. You're one of the good ones. Yeah. Huh. The thing about what you did to my friend is. Ooh. Okay. Um. Is that your problem? Yes. My problem is national parks. National parks. Just a big land grab. Well, we want to go camping for yeah, spring break. Sure. I said, all right, I'll fire up the the thing to get. Why don't you email that guy? At Joshua Tree guy. I don't like owing people things. I don't you're like. Gonna, what do you owe him? You, if you accept something, you're in your mind. You will owe something. All right. I don't like being in that position. I might hit him up. Uh, camping, not not living in not a cabin living in a cabin. It is. Trying to go camping in national park on the right? on the ground in a tent. Yeah, it's great. You own a tent. Many tents. tents. Many As far tents. as you can. I got more tents than all Skid Row. Yeah, well, you two are like hippies, man. Um, three, three and a half percent of America is national parks. Okay. Right? So you'd think there's got to be plenty of spots available. Okay. When I was, when I was a kid, I to remember camp. just- camp. Yeah, yeah, just drive out there. Yeah. Grab a spot. Pick a spot. No big deal. I go on their little website, reserve a camping spot. Booked. Everything booked. Oh, shit. Next week. Booked everything booked. Wow, next week booked. What are you picking the booked. nice the nice are park? You fucking, you gotta go to they're the all nice. What are you talking about? This shit. Than others. What's sh what's a shitty camping well, which spot? Which one are you trying to go to? Uh, Joshua Tree. Oh, come this on. is for every park. Is like this. <laughs> you got to reserve it like six months in you advance. You got to go. You got to go to Brandon's Tree. You got to go book, one book, of the book, shittier book, 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 trees. Book. How are you supposed to see any? It's all like. This is all done to preserve nature for you, yeah. the American citizen, but you can't go see it. I mean, it is confusing because I guess, that, so what? They have designated campgrounds, right? Yeah. Millions of acres. Millions. I'm saying, is there can't like, you're not, you're not allowed to like go out in the, I guess they don't want people on the trails seeing a bunch of tents. They have other kind of like crummy spots. Yeah. I don't know if they're open anymore. They closed them during COVID for mm. a little bit. They might be open, but I don't. 
Let's get an RV. And go where? Park on the street. Park at Walmart? Yeah. I'm just saying. <laughs> I mean, you go to the park during the day. You park the. I guess you can and walk you around. Park. Yeah, walk around. Go pay the three bucks or whatever. Yeah. Why is it three bucks? I don't know. Just make it free. Yeah. At Why that are point, you even what's here? The point? What is the pur- purpose of having some jackass in a gay hat in a toll booth? Yeah. Letting you into what is essentially nothing. Those guys do no work. It's kind of the ultimate job. The Parks and Rec guys. Are they just go around being dream. cocksuckers. Yeah. Rangers. Basically. Yeah. Oh man. I told Poking you my, around uh, constantly at the campsite. <laughs> What's going on over here? Uh, just doing drugs. What do you mean? <laughs> I'm outside. Get the fuck out of here. Well, some places I think they're more relaxed. But, yeah, I, I would imagine California, they're a bunch of uh, Nazis. So we own all this land, mm. and you're allowed to be in this little uh, cul-de-sac right. that you have to pay rent six months in advance. Well, you know, part of why the parks have uh, become so, you know, there's so many guys walking around flashing their flashlights or whatever is because of uh, 9-11. All the national parks were uh, designated as terrorist uh, attack sites. Three three and a half percent of America was Three and a half percent of America is designated as a terrorist. What are they going to do? Well, it's actually interesting. I ever tell you my friend's dad was the head of the Quabbin Reservoir in Massachusetts. That's the town. Is that national park? Uh, it's basically a national. It's it's. I don't know if they call it a point of interest or whatever, but basically Boston back in what like the 1900s was like, we need a lot of water, mm-hmm. uh, like fresh water. It can't be like salt water, which we're surrounded by. Okay. Uh, can you flood this fucking town? And they said, oh, yeah. hell yeah, yeah, they love doing that. <laughs> yeah, so they flooded an entire town and they made it this giant man-made lake. Uh huh. And uh, they were all worried when 9/11 happened. They said, what if the terrorists, what if the terrorists go shit to in the our lake? lake? We're well, pissing it. <laughs> basically that, yeah. So my friend's dad, who was in charge of the Quabbin Reservoir, got a te- anti-terrorism training. His uh, salary doubled, and every day he went going out to check for terrorists, and he'd just get in his little boat and go fishing for. He just hours. drag a goat around the lake <laughs> to see if any of them ran with erections out to fuck it. He literally just got paid to fish <laughs> for like thirty years. Anti, what does anti-terrorism <laughs> training look like? I don't fucking know, man. I was always like, wait, what like did a guy do? with a turban coming out from behind a thing? <laughs> Be on the lookout for this. I'm like, doesn't your dad have to do anything else? He's like, no, just gets in his boat, goes out there. Smell that shisha. That's what yeah. you'll smell if there are terrorists around. So that's where all your money goes. That's why they take it so seriously. I know that's where all my money There's and a fucking bunch land of tax goes. Money. Yeah. Three and a half percent of the whole goddamn country is owned by the why? That guy who comes to make sure you're not smoking weed's probably getting like six figures to make sure you're not a terrorist. What is he for? What is the purpose the of that in jackass? The and make sure they don't bomb that rock or that tree. <laughs> they never, like, there's sold, constantly sold out for years. Yeah. Constantly, every single camping spot sold out, right? Right. They can't just pave another U so yeah. other people can go camp there? It's so fucking stupid. Well, what is it for? Can you, uh... You can drive through it. All right, well, that was fun. <laughs> like, I'm not a big camping guy, so this is kind of a U problem. I'm saying, uh, you know, maybe this is a sign that uh, the wilderness is gay. And uh, let's go to Vegas again. Yeah. Go the, to the Pinball Hall of Fame. Ne- there's never a problem getting a room in <laughs> Vegas, right? <laughs> Depends when you go. Capitalism. Yeah. Going to a national park. Oh, sorry. We're booked. It's true. There's a bunch. I guess Vegas always has a hotel available for somebody. The outside is closed for yeah. you. It's all rented out. It is interesting that you can't. Sh- I mean, but can't you go off the grid? You know, can't you find a spot in the, the middle no. of nowhere? You think you're gonna get caught? Uh, I don't understand what I'm. I don't understand what I'm allowed to do outside. I also honestly, don't I don't know. know if this is right. I know that every interaction I've had with the ranger has been negative. Well, you can't do it in L.A. because I tried to film a thing at a park in L.A. without getting a filming permit, and we got yelled at. And that was scary. Oh, really? Well, because the fines are like ten grand, and they're like, "You need to get out of here." <laughs> what are you I'm filming? like, "Uh, we filmed a little short film. It's a trailer, superhero, blonde lady. Oh wait, no, that's a different thing. Uh, it's actually funny. I kind of want to. I wanted to post one of my short films online and be like, "Well, here's what you can do with no money." I did too. I want to post my uh, <laughs> award-winning short comedy film that I was in. Ooh, if anybody can find it, I'll yeah. post it. I actually couldn't find my copy of my. Very good short film. So uh, camping. They should just shut the rest of the camping spots down. I put in a little alert. It says you have you can get an alert for when one opens yeah. up. I said, okay, I'll do that. 
And then I got a text while I was driving home. A fucking camping spot opened. I was like, oh, yeah, I get home. It's fucking gone. gone. Oh, they probably got like a thousand people queued up to get those. Isn't that stupid? I guess is everyone just camping now? It feels like camping well, is more popular now than everything's ever. Everything's so goddamn expensive. Yeah. But then it's a way to get entertainment without paying a shit ton for it. Yeah. Look at the stars. Do a yeah. little bit of acid, stare at a rock. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Go well, ask to borrow spatulas around well, campsites, see if there's any hot girls there. Maybe email He's that guy, go to here. that cabin. Ooh, you look like you got a spatula. <laughs> I want to go to a fucking cabin. I am living a cabin. I want to go camping. You should buy some. Uh, you should buy a little thing out there. A what? A little piece of property, and just let everybody camp. For yeah, why not? Pack Dick's the campground, of camping. Yeah, hmm, maybe. Might be fun. I did look on Hip Camp. I was like, all right. Don't they have? Pri- do they have private campgrounds out that area? Yeah, they must. but they're in the middle of. Some are good, but there's in the middle of like. A f- there's like a gas station across the street. It's like someone's lot that they own. I'm like, well, this sucks. Why would you? Why would you know, even man. put this out? <laughs> What's your problem? Well, I guess you got to do research. You're outside. That's all you exactly. care about. Exactly. Then I'm back to doing research. Like, <laughs> I think you're picking the the good camping places. Again, you got to find like a, a Gus's Grotto. You know. I don't want to stay at Gus's Grotto. <laughs> I want to go to the national park that I was promised, but I can't. You got to go to like packed. the site of whatever Native American slaughter. Just have like a whole field and say like, here's the camping. Yeah. All right, what's your problem? My problem, Dick, is uh, one that we're going to need more context for. One of my favorite independent comic book creators has wet my whistle with an exciting live action take on one of our most beloved franchises. Heroes. I don't know exactly, but definitely a bit of a mannish quality to her. What's mannish about a female bodybuilder that's nordic and 7 <laughs> feet tall? Hello, I am Yaira. <laughs> <laughs> Is this what to, you want to watch the official live you. action trailer? I don't need another drink. For this. Yeah, you might. Are we going to pause it every time? We got to watch it. Man. What's your problem though? Uh, I was going to save my problem. I got to save it till after we watch this. We got to put it in context. What? I'm not going to spoil my but problem. But then you you got to be thinking about the problem while you're watching the thing. The problem will make more sense after we watch the thing. Nah, I think you got to say the problem up front. That's the Let's get a vote. Do you remember what my problem is? You of very clearly not, have to watch not. it first. Hold on. Let me do it. Let me do a poll in the okay. chat to see if he should say it up front. No, I should say it after. Should veto Say, Trust me, it's my problem. Do you want me to do the problem good or bad? First or after the trailer? After the trailer. First, after. All right. Don't fuck this up. It will actually. I'm just, I'm, you're still doing it your way. I'm just putting the fucking poll up. Okay. All right. Here's Yaira. You remember, uh, do you remember Yaira, Yaira, the gym, the Sonya Blade knockoff. Yeah. Very feminine. I want people to pay attention to the five minute and 22 seconds. Now, I can remember. Thank this you. is a trailer. What is this a trailer for? <laughs> <laughs> Who's the target? Just of this? remember, this is a five minute and twenty two second trailer. Think about other trailers you've seen and see if this maybe ninety seconds is the longest. Yeah, maybe, red band, maybe. Yeah, maybe a red two band. Minutes, you get two minutes. Five minutes. Five wow. minutes, twenty two seconds. Yaira. I don't think we're gonna one. have to watch the whole thing though because uh, it's it's very complicated. Uh, official live action trailer from Ripaverse. Studios. Did you see that Ripperverse has a magazine now? He's copying me because he knows it's such a good idea. Did that make you think that you were even more right when you saw that? My magazine is different from his magazine. Oh, Lordy. Lordy. <laughs> it's a completely different Look, thing. Put the crown back on. I'm not putting the crown back on. <laughs> what's, what's the most? Do you want to shrink? What's uh, the most biggest difference hold between on. yours you want to get the whole no, video? No, no, I got it. No, no, I got it. I got it. I'm going to do it. No, I'm going to do it. Grab the window it. and just go left a little. Yeah, yeah. No, then I got to do this. I know. What's different about your magazine than Eric July's magazine? His is just going to be so much better. It's got, it's got. What do you call it? P.I. Savage. P.I. Savage. Yeah, Private Investigator Savage. Piss incest Savage. A, uh, oh, Private Investigator. A. Uh, what is he? Very flamboyant, black exploitation <laughs> looking. <laughs> He's like Tardio from he that looks, Martin Lawrence. Yeah, movie. I was like, looks like a pimp from like uh, Boondocks. He's a gay pimp. <laughs> yeah. He's out fighting crime. So you get that if you get He's a magazine. penis investigator. He's a penis investigator. <laughs> That's P. the Ripazine. 
He's got articles. I'm very excited for. There are no articles. What are the articles? Of course, there's articles. If the articles are all like, "Whoa, we talked to the Sasuke sisters about what kind of piss." Like Nintendo best. Power, you think is Ripazine? No, maybe it will sounds be. Sounds like pretty. Nintendo it sounds Power. better actually than yours. He's got a lot going on. He's got. I don't know why he's got so much going on. So when you saw when you were arguing about how your magazine is good, and then you saw Eric July do your idea, did it make you say like, "Oh, I guess that idea was dumb." My magazine doesn't even exist. It is a theoretical concept. And I am getting messages every day saying, don't listen to Dick. People who love the magazine. They're saying, don't listen to Dick. Huge, a huge response. contrarian. I understand why there would be a market for an actual printed uh, collection of thoughts and musings from the world's top minds. Yeah. And maybe some Stone Toss comics. Now you know, he, uh, now if you dogs. talked about uh, killing yourself, you'd get that the same messages. Mm -hmm. I understand why you'd want to kill you. Okay. I understand why people want to kill themselves, too. That we're doesn't not, mean it's a, it's a good idea. We're not relitigating the magazine. We've already relitigated yeah. enough today. <laughs> no, 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 no. The <laughs> Ripazine. <laughs> Wait a minute. All right. I got to find right. the We're Ripazine. doing this. Ripazine. We're I forgot about this. this. <laughs> I'm very excited for the Ripazine. Who's this guy? I think Who's this, this is a fan. Clown? This is a Ripa fan guy? of Ripa. All right. You're blocked by Eric. You're not going to be able to see this. Oh, man. Come on, Eric. It's all, I'm just laughing. Why don't you open a, uh incognito tab? Uh, oh, wow. Here we go. Okay. His name's Salvage, not Savage. Okay. The Ripazine is now live. You asked for it, and we listened. Coming soon is the first issue of Vito's Ripazine. No, it's not my Ripazine. This callback to Geek to Geek Guy Days is packed with content, including a short story featuring a brand new character, The Salvage? The Salvage? The Salvage, I guess. Not P Salvage? It's also P.I. It says meet Salvage. You're meaning The Salvage P.I.? The Salvage. The salvage. Including The Salvage. Who I'm sure his real name, based on Eric's previous naming conventions, will be something like Trambador Flambajan. <laughs> you know? Infernio Washington. Infernio is Washington the is, is the, the salvage. salvage. Uh, add it to your cart at Yaira Number One Campaign Checkout. So it's it's exactly the same de description of your thing. This callback <laughs> to Geek Guide Days. That's what you wanted That's to make, isn't it? That's not what I said. That's not what I said. But it's a callback. It's not a callback. I think it is. would be an, a magazine unlike uh, things seen before. Maybe a bit of a Vice, it's not just vi yeah, vice it's just inspired. Vice. Right. You, you have, have not read Vice, so you can't say it's like Vice. You, I just You're saying it dismissively. Because you are only making it because you have good memories of that time in your life when Vice was around. So that's what you're trying to connect to. I think what Vice provided was valuable, and I think it still has a place in today's marketplace. It just got taken over by idealistic fuckards. Right. So Eric feels the same way about this thing called Geek Guide. Yes. And one so of it's us, the same. We might both be wrong. Yeah. Well, right, wrong. Who gives a shit? <laughs> There's a lot of guys who think like superhero comics are coming back. I talk to them every day and I go, hey, they go, what do you think I should do? I'm trying to like, you know, build an audience. And I'm like, don't make superhero comics. Yeah. Like, it's just not, no one's ever going to be like, oh my God, Captain America. Yeah. Whatever already exists, exists. And it's not like the world is desperate for more of them, except for Isom. Everybody wants more Isom. They do. And Yaira. Uh, okay. Don't so, make superhero comics, folks. It's, speaking uh, of, speaking of the. That time has passed. Fervor. The fervor. This is the Yaira trailer. This is the Yaira trailer. Ripperverse Studios. So he's presents. ripped off the Marvel thing too, or there. Everyone's ripped off the Marvel thing. You gotta, you gotta show. Well, he's Genetics showing his, did that. He's showing his animation behind that. <laughs> so, very cool. Very cool. Ripperverse Studios is, of course, I believe a new imprint. Did he use that for his? Uh, maybe he used that for the animation. I don't know. And then there's a like a Blood Moon. I really thought... Is there going to be some piss in your face? I thought after the accusations of Satanism, they would avoid having two crosses in front of a blood moon. I was like, ah, that seems like it's... Why would uh, I saw ministries have a problem with this? <laughs> I was like, this seems... I don't get it, because they're fake Christians, right? Uh, That's why they don't like this? I get it's a gravestone, but it's kind of on the nose. No, it's just crosses. It's two crosses. It's satanic it's two. symbolism. <laughs> in, front of the, in front of the blood moon. Which I would ordinarily like, but... Again, it's women doing this, right? So it's cringe and dumb. Did you see the piss puppet on a uh, Ethan show? Did you? That, was, did, that yeah. was pretty great. Is this a piss moon? Is it a blood uh, moon or rip a piss moon? You're doing great work. I'm gonna say. Is <laughs> somebody pissing behind one of these trees in someone else's <laughs> mouth? Is there some twin pissing happening? There's something going on. Anyway, it is a little clever. The twisted twins. 
I mean, but the T in the not cross twisted. is not. How a... is this clever? It should be two snakes wrapped around each other, hissing at each other. So it's also like a heart, and it reminds T's. you of an ass. Yeah. Two T's. It's cute. I mean, this is bad. <laughs> it doesn't look great. I don't know why they got. Why that. is the sky blue? Yeah, well, it's being lit up by the blood moon of Twisted our dark twins lord. Productions. Twisted twins. How many? Uh, how many title cards you got for a trailer? <laughs> We're 20 seconds into the. Don't normally it's have longer title than a normal trailer. trailer. Normally, not a lot of title cards. I was actually surprised. I was like, "Well, they've directed other stuff, so maybe this will be good." You know, I mean, you guys, is this Floors Park? <laughs> this is Floors Park here, and it's not a uh, tax break, ca Vancouver, this Canada. It's gonna be tough. I've trained my body to do things that. Wait, is this Eric? You didn't realize that. <laughs> 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 yeah, dude. What do you mean? Of course it is. So, <laughs> so the th so the thing that's not a self insert. Right. He's voicing the not he, a self insert yeah. character. He didn't he have begins... the black guy do his own voice. It, it, Eric had to do the guy <laughs> black guy's voice. Doesn't <laughs> kind of suck when you're an actor and a guy goes, "Listen, uh, I made the character, so I'm going to do his voice." Oh, do you do voice acting? No, no, no I don't. I can't really. even talk really. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah. Is this the right? Yeah, yeah. See, it's 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 like that. The you, whole you... thing is like this. No, just this part of the trailer oh. is a fake cell phone camera, and you've completely fucked it up by getting. Oh, that's by dumb. It. All right, hold yes. on. All right, Sorry, somebody geez. on the street has seen. Uh, I saw. Him. I don't know how they captured it in slow motion, though. That doesn't make sense. Well, um, I guess your slow phone. motion setting on the iPhone is difficult to get to. So if yeah. you're if you're filming something, you'd go, oh shit, I gotta get a, I gotta get this. Oh, sh oh, shit. Okay, let me get in slow motion. <laughs> okay, now I'm in slow motion. Yeah. All right. It's, uh... Okay. So Eric July is voicing his not not self-insert character. Yeah, and for and some reason, first line it's cell his... phone footage. Oh, okay. Like me shouldn't be able to do. But unfortunately for me, blind <laughs> ain't one of them. Can you pause right there? So did you hear that line, don't follow me? Yeah. Okay. We all, yeah, that scene is when he hits Yaira in midair and then she throws him down. Right. So It's like we're reliving that same scene in every single thing Eric makes. It's like Chris Chan just making Sonichu over and over and over. It's really um, bizarre. Well, here's what's really bizarre is... um. So you're making a trailer, right? Don't you want like new people to like who don't know, who didn't read ISOM to be like, here's what's going on? So instead of off screen, a woman's voice goes, Don't follow me, which is extremely fucking confusing to anyone who has not read ISOM. Mm -hmm. Why don't you cut to her, her in face. the sky? Yeah. Flying. That'd be expensive. And then not really, just green oh. screen it. Oh, yeah. Okay. And then you would go floating there. Oh. Yeah. And maybe she can have her arm in like a way that it's clear that she threw him, you know, yeah. that it's not just a black guy falls from the sky onto a car for no reason. Right. And a white lady off screen says, don't follow me. Was he trying to rape her? What was he? <laughs> why was he following a, a white lady around? I want to know. know. She's white. Well, from the voice, it sounds like okay. some sort of white. Yeah. A black man was following a white lady. I don't know why. An archaeologist. What is we this feel is going That's to be Lincoln Eusebio. Undeniable asset here at Projexus. What's up with I his hair? I think. I don't know why they made him look Please way different. Please join me in welcoming. Why does he look like a little boy here? I thought he, he was looks supposed really to be Abraham young. Lincoln. Yeah, he's supposed to be a clone like of a Abraham big, Lincoln, like according imposing to you. Imposing guy. He beat up Darren. This guy couldn't beat up this Darren. This guy looks like a little. T I look bigger than this guy. I don't know if that's Lincoln, but I thought that was supposed to be Lincoln. He said his name's Lincoln. Projects is his company. How much? You know how much I hate that I know all the Isom lore. You know, it's like actually infuriating. It's like you. It's the same thing. <laughs> I am. Oh, uh, what's the what's the and what's the live action trailer going to be about? The same scene. <laughs> okay. It is weird that he just wants to film the same scenes that he's already made. We heard to our team, Doctor Sally Rodell. <laughs> Why is he so smug? Dr. Sally Rodell. Adopt or die. Adopt or die? Adopt or die, that classic phrase we How all know. How come they use this, uh, like, a, is she like Eva Peron? What was up with that angle? Of her giving the speech? Yeah. I think Press the, conference, you like, dead on. 
If yeah. you're like a dictator, if you got Hitler, it's like you're that's a down, you know, looking up shot. Well, I think they want her to be imposing. Okay. <laughs> Secure the area. Is that guy blind? No, ride. pause real quick. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Wait a minute, we're pausing too much. Hold on. I don't care, we need to do that. Dr. Sally Rodell. Dr. Sally Rodell. So she was sitting in a chair next to the stage. Like Shooter McGavin. Like Shooter McGavin, yeah. <laughs> hey, <laughs> Lincoln Eusebio have spent more, t if they spent any more time in the sand trap, we'd call him David Hasselhoff, right? <laughs> <laughs> if Lincoln Eusebio have spent any more time in the sand trap, we'd call him David Hasselhoff. Adopt or die. Adopt or die. <laughs> All right, guy runs fast. Secure the area until off the can ride. Sorry! <laughs> All right, can you pause there? <laughs> Clear the Alvagor! Clear the area until <laughs> Alvagor can arrive. And then a lady runs by. Now, did you get what she was yelling? No, what'd she say? She Does says, Does a shoe sale at, Mar at Marv? Solari, save us. Referring, of course, to... <laughs> <laughs> This whole thing is just Solari? references. That's what his name is? That's the big uh, Nazi-looking su Nazi Proud Boy Superman. Superman. Yeah. Solari? Now, here's they a call him Solari? They call him Solari. Solari. But here's what's confusing. Yeah, he's safe. What's confusing is like, okay, Superman, I get like it. Solar Man? Solari? So That's his Brian name? Solari, yeah, like it's the sun. Sol. S-O-L. So, okay. Of the sun. I All believe. right. Okay. Wait, but let me hear that again. Secure the area until off the can ride. Solari! So oh, no. it doesn't. No, <laughs> Solari, save us! <laughs> save who from what? Well, that's the, what I'm. The what? guy falling on the car. Right. Well, that we also don't know what's. Yeah, that's true. We don't really know what's happening right now. We know something is happening, and people are running away but from. The cop it. isn't that worried. I mean, this is where you would show a building <laughs> exploding, and you'd go, "Oh, I understand what the problem is." Is that cheap is. to make? Uh, you could. Uh, you, you could, could just put that in, right? I mean, I don't know. Honestly, I mean, look, you can you can get there's a lot of effects packages Solari! out there. Save us! <laughs> well, it's confusing to me because like the Alpha Core in the comics is like kind of a new thing, but according to that, and also people like don't trust them. But also apparently white women, if they're scared, run around and scream the name of one of their members specifically. If there's black guys falling out of the sky. Yeah. Why women are going to be very scared. Let me tell you that. Why much. wouldn't you just keep Shit, running? Raining, Why raining would you? <laughs> really? Black men. Oh, God. Solari, save us. <laughs> Why would she turn? What is she looking at? Like, like, you would just keep running. Even camera. if you're calling out for the Solari. Camera. Yeah, she's looking. It's mugging for the camera. <laughs> if you're running away, you don't randomly turn and go, Solari! I have seen a lot of Lifetime movies. This is really weird. This reads like a Lifetime movie. It is a... Um, uh, Okay, let me see that again. Very <laughs> Or die. Okay, she's not an actor. I know that. She's a bodybuilder. Uh, you can tell. Um, well, you know, they all have to start somewhere, right? Well, uh, Hercules in New York was not this bad. <laughs> they, they went ahead and overdubbed his lines. Oh, yeah, that's so bad, true. actually, that's true. which they should have done here. Uh, I don't know why they didn't overdub this. That would have made sense. <laughs> Here's Blind McGee. Well, is he so Daredevil? They, they, the they blocked the scene. So they blocked the scene uh, to say, old guy runs past. Why is he wearing blind people's shades? Why is he wearing glasses? Yeah, why you is he wearing glasses You should see the panic in his eyes. This yeah. is your first connection to a scene of chaos and pandemonium. You should, have you should wide, look into his fucking crazy eyes. eyes. Instead, it looks like a blind guy. Yeah. <laughs> Did anyone see my dog? <laughs> His so, name's Solari. So like the superhero? I know. Look, I'm going to say a guy running past the camera. That makes sense. But why is she running in the opposite direction? We don't know what they're running from. And then a guy in a rent and army, like, it's just kind of, he's just kind of wearing a green shirt and has like a kid's walkie-talkie. A walkie -talkie. guy who's never used a walkie-talkie before yeah. in his life. He's trying to look like an army guy. He's, run that one? he's running towards the chaos, and now a lady's going to run away from the chaos. Why are they roping off the area? They're fi they're flying around. What is the roping off going to do? If the area's already closed off, shouldn't these people have already been running? They've been. Did you set up the barrier and then they got scared and they ran away? Adopt. Adopt or die. Or die. <laughs> All right. Secure the area till Alpha Corps can arrive. Till Alpha Corps can arrive. That's like Eric's weird. Affect. Of Just talking. say secure the area. Call Alpha Core. We've got a situation. So, That's it. Not are they not going to secure Alpha the area? Are they going to stop when Alpha Core <laughs> can arrive? 
Say secure the area. Somebody call Alpha Alpha Core's on the way. Alpha Core's on the way. Some no, but secure he, the area. Call Alpha Core. He can't arrive. That. He's got to say call Alpha Core. We have a situation. That's the line. But is Alpha why did, does she already know, does that random lady Why know? Why does that lady know Alpha Core on a first name basis? Are they that popular? Sorry. We can establish that. They all call him by his last name yeah. to annoy him. I guess. Call me, you can call me uh, Super Brian. Why does she oh, know? Solari. There's other Super, why is she not calling out for P.I. Savage or whatever? Why is there like. Because there's no she, piss to investigate. <laughs> how does she know specifically which hero to call for? Why did she call for Isom? I don't know. <clears throat> This lady, this lady was in a crisis. She saw something horrible. Solari! And her first instinct was, Solari! Has he saved her before? <laughs> is he known for what? Uh, is, is he like, like Jesus? That means Jesus saved me. <laughs> Solari! I'm very hung up on that woman, and I could talk about it endlessly. I guess I should just let it go. <laughs> Please Adopt stop replaying this. Or die. Here comes that guy. Ah! Stop pausing it. We're never going to get through this. It's so funny. <laughs> We're never going to get through this. Uh, let, me see the, let me see the poll. Uh, okay, the poll it is at... After. after. Oh, wow, after. Okay, okay. The poll's siding with you on this Solari! one. Solari! You're in the area until Alpha Corp can arrive. Till Alpha... Okay. Solari! Save us! <laughs> it is the truest law of the Earth. Verily, few things have the ability Wait, to survive Scottish? the test of she's time. She's supposed to be Icelandic. Though she has ice powers. Though we may not be around to see them to their fullest fruition, but the struggle of Christmas will be the triumphant echoes from the past. Just, just, she's got just ESL, redub it. definitely. Just redub it. Just get a lady from Iceland to do her voice. Uh, Iceland is like Swedish chef. I have no idea. I thought she was supposed to be Russian when I heard this. Yeah, let me hear that again. Ability to survive the test. It sounds like Zangief. Yeah. Though we may not be all around to see them to their fullest fruition. Though we may not be all around to see them to their full. Oh, these lines they're giving her are bad, man. Fullest fruition. You don't have to say fullest. You can just say fruition. Yeah. Though you may not follow them to their fruition. We will make Mother Projectus very powerful. Look at this shiny ass. Uh... <laughs> that also doesn't make sense for a tech company to have what looks like a comic book Are logo. They a tech company? They're supposed to be like a tech. <laughs> it's supposed to be like Apple. Can you imagine what? Apple being like Projectus? It looks like a fucking like a. I thought they were a biotech company. Maybe they're biotech. Yeah, she's like so an like... archaeologist. She's an archaeologist slash biologist. They're a, yeah, they're a biology. Who, wait, science how do you know company. that? Uh, they're gonna say it. Oh, okay. I just mean, look at the shininess of it. Yeah, the shooting. Well, somebody Usually, pointed can out. Can you see a camera? Don't get in a the reflection. <laughs> <laughs> don't make a gloss sign if you're filming. But I'm gonna say, you know what? Technically, in press conferences, do they usually light from the back like this for the backlighting? I don't know. Is that normal? I don't think you do. I don't, I don't think you usually give a tech conference at night with dramatic lighting. It's usually like a boring hotel Sometimes lobby. Uh, or a press conference. Yeah. Oh, it's about nine thirty. I mean, be great. We're bringing on. Uh, R Rosalina fucking dumping. Yeah, popping. Junkle off and where's she from? I don't know. Parts unknown. I mean, this is supposed Can't to be tell like by an Apple keynote speech, right? Get a theater. They couldn't get that many. Extras, I have no though. idea. So this is the, this is a whatever office building they. They got enough microphones. They got enough. Mi how Why many, how would many microphones? Why that you need? many microphones? Uh, pretend a black celebrity <laughs> raped a white woman. Gotcha. <laughs> and then she threw him into a car. Would we struggle to Chris now? Struggle? Would we struggle? <laughs> Would we struggle? Would we struggle to create now? Would we struggle to create now? Would we struggle to create she dougle? become Icelandic? Well, I don't think they've ever given her official uh, country of origin. But she has ice powers, so therefore in Eric's brain, he goes, where would you get ice from? Probably Iceland. I thought she was like a gym bunny. Like I thought she was like Sonya Blade, like she's like Bridget Fonda. She had a little gym outfit. Now she looks. Now she's like a. I think she's supposed to be Nordic. Thor. She's. I think you know what. Now she's I, like a Thor. I'm gonna tell you this right now. She's definitely a descendant of Vikings. I think that seems pretty obvious. Oh. oh. She's supposed okay. to be like really old. Okay. Will be the triumphant echoes from the past. Alcor, be here five minutes. Hold the line. Five minutes. <laughs> Thanks for the heads up. <laughs> who was he saying Thanks, that to? He... Are there like supposed to He's... be other cops there who are like, oh, thank God they'll be here in five minutes? Wouldn't he be shouting that at the crowd on the other side of the? 
Wouldn't Why he have he a normal man-sized microphone and not a Fisher Price My First uh, megaphone? Why is he shouting at, at where the roped off area is? Right. He should be telling shouting the crowd, at, at this way. everyone get back. Alpha Core is on the way. They will be here in five minutes. This is stuff that good directors think about. Like, it doesn't make sense that he's shouting Who this way. Who is he's he shout talking to? Uh, by the way, this is why wokeness ruined movies and video games, because the Saska sisters are intersectional feminists. Yeah. Um, they're very woke, and they're obviously incompetent. Uh, this could have been produced by any number of people in L.A., men, who are extremely competent at uh, all of these things. Um, for less than whatever they spent on this, Eric July probably wouldn't want to have a weird piss threesome with them. <laughs> uh, but it could have been done. But yeah. when you hire woke people, they are s- stupid and incompetent because all they care about is their dumb woke agenda. Uh, Just throwing that out there as a little <laughs> FYI for everyone. <clears throat> Maybe some consultants well, were brought in. Had a, you could have woke. a man there to tell him, hey, here's how the army works because clearly you don't care about anything military related because you're a woman. Here's how cops work because you don't care about that as well. He's, five he's panning around like, <laughs> oh, wait, like wait, he's wait, aiming wait, it at multiple dude. people. Who is he talking to? <laughs> what is this? That guy is just walking by casually. He's not even like, like, okay, if you have a guy on a megaphone and he's got to command the fact that this is a serious Put situation, some smoke right? smoke in there, man, you dumb bitches. This, Put a fucking fog machine in there this is ser- to make it look like there's destruction happening. If this is a serious fog. situation, why is this guy just calmly walk? In five minutes, the Alpha Core will be here. Okay, cool. It's just a guy walking past. Nobody cares. And it I takes don't know. Alpha five minutes to get. <laughs> what are they waiting for? Are they changing clothes? Also, Solari, what jacking are up? these people running from? You haven't established the threat in any way. Show something oh, blowing up. That big cock uh, in Jackass 4. That's what they're running from. I can't believe the stage direction was as this guy with a megaphone <laughs> yells, panic. <laughs> There's panic. Oh my God, wait for Alpha Core. I want you to calmly. Walk. You couldn't get some people in the background. The screen. Like 20 people, 20, 30 people? There's only three people back there and they look bored. They're like, why was this? Why is, is this roped happening? off? Why is this roped <laughs> off? There's no one there. I saw late I saw two people run in different directions. Like this was gonna be the worst thing that ever happened in the city. What is And what now is there's just people off? behind a police line being like, uh, what's going they on over here? They framed the shot so that they you can see where the prop <laughs> tape is over yeah. here, going over here, but this is not roped off. Usually a containment is like, you know, roping off an area, right? So you can't accidentally wander in. I don't understand. Like, like, this is the kind of thing Incompetence. Anyone on set could go, hey, can we just use a little more police tape? And also, everybody act really spooked because you're all just kind of walking around and it's not... Only one guy is giving it his all, and it's a guy with a toy microphone, which already looks silly and childish. So everybody else, like, help that guy. I feel bad laughing because this poor, this poor girl, this friend of theirs... Also, woke activists, they bring in their friends. She's Not already, hold on, she's already in front of the tape. Is she going to be behind the tape in the next shot? I don't know. Five minutes? No, she won't. <laughs> thonks for the head zoop. Thonks for the head zoop. Oh, thonks for the head zoop. And then pushes the guy for no reason, even though there's, like, no one That's there assault. that she needs That's to get past. Of an op- Ralph went to prison for that. Yeah. Or jail. Or I don't know which one. Ralph went to jail for eight months for what she just did. And she pushed him for no reason. That's woke shit, man. Saska sisters are going, hey, you got to put her, like, girl bossing this up, man. Put her shoving the cop in. I'm looking at me stumbling. He's like, wow. <laughs> this guy's just trying to keep everybody safe until Alpha Corps Is this where arrive. she flies? I was here. I lived. I am still here. I'm on you. Wait, what? Okay, what was so that? What was I, that last time? I was hold here. On, I lived. On, Is she, like, a Holocaust survivor, too? Yeah. A rape survivor or something? I lived. I am still here. Among you. Among you. Among you. What was that cut? Uh, Weird audio crossfading. I was here. I was there. I lived. I lived. I am still here. Among you. Whoa. Weird audio <laughs> clip there. <laughs> Great editing, you yeah. dumb. Yeah. There's like a clear <laughs> blip on the thing. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so this is okay, what. Okay, so this is the problem. Here's what doesn't All make right, any like, sense. Every, was everyone running from this lady who's on the ground for no reason? And yeah, why she's is she on a the DEI consultant? She's I, sweet. She runs. This is Sweet Baby CEO. Okay, did they accidentally delete one of the memory cards with half the footage on it? Why do you say that? Because why was everyone want, running away from a lady in a jean jacket who's already on the ground? Did someone knock her to the ground? Oh yeah. 
Do I have to read the comic to find out who knocked her to the ground? <laughs> um, white racism. Okay. And everyone was running white away from this. Nick Fuentes knocked her to the this ground. This made a man so scary that he ran towards her and a lady so scared that she ran away from her <laughs> screaming for Solari. <laughs> Solari! <laughs> and this is the threat. This is this is what we've been building is towards. Is she a mass shooter? Does she have like an AK-47 I was, well, I was expecting like a big alien monster blowing up the Like, oh yeah, my God. Yeah, that's too expensive though. Wow. Well, All right, let's, let's see. Let's okay, see. Maybe this is what everybody cool. was freaking out about. She looks, she looks like I the lady know, that killed Why is predator. she not like shooting Every, lasers? Well, what do you mean Shouldn't everyone's freaking out about? she be shooting lasers or something? Well, let's see. Let's okay. see. Okay. She's on the ground already for some um, reason. Yeah. Now she shoot a bunch of goo into space. Well, the Sasuke sisters mouth? are big on vomit, so why not <laughs> super vomit? Yeah, super laser vomit. <laughs> she can vomit lasers. A laser vomit. That's kind of the trademark of their work. It's like you know how uh, what's his name wait always has the doves. The Sasuke sisters. John Woo. John Woo. Yeah. Okay. Wait this a is... minute. Wait a minute. So she walks in, shoves the cop, and the lady throws up space vomit. Throws a laser for no reason I can possibly oh, understand. Doesn't even look like it's coming from her throat. It looks like it's coming from her jaw. The uh, the special look. effects are lacking. See, it's like off. Yeah. Ah! Can't wait for Solari to get here. Where did that go? Did it? Oh, she's shooting off okay. like Iron Man. So <laughs> again, <laughs> wait, where? Where's that girl? She's right here. Here's my theory as to why they're missing footage. So she's flying. Where's she going, Dick? She's I mean, take, like she's 20 taking feet the away. air for some reason. So she's yeah. going somewhere. Where is she yeah. going? Where is she possibly going? Ten feet away. Well, let's see. Okay. She had to go in the air. No, because you, you can see her like float, start floating. Watch. Right. No, she is flying. Watch. It's like floating. A... Right. See, she peeks at her flying. Okay. And then stares at this little girl. The lady, and this girl has a Christian uh, cross neck necklace for some reason. Uh oh, because she's the bad guy. Because Sasuka says she's well, a I Satanist. I think Gyro might be the bad guy, but I don't know. I mean, if you're throwing the up. The Alpha Core doesn't like her. I know that. So the thrilling, the thrilling flight, flight, the most exciting superhero power. And okay, she's now she's on killed. the ground again. So Wait, she, what? she did a short hop. To yeah, get yeah, to where yeah, the lady I know. Was. That's dumb. What did she say there? S something about child. child. Go back. Child? Child. Sweet dreams, child. Sweet dreams, chilled. Sweet dreams, chilled? Well, that's her way of saying child. Are you sure? Is it an ice pun? Like, I mean, Mr. It, Freeze. It would be cute if it was an ice pun, but I but don't it's think not she a makes pun. puns. Sweet dreams, child. Like, put it on ice. That's an ice pun. Put it on ice. Chill out. That's an ice pun. Sweet, dream, sweet dreams chilled. That's not a nice pun. Freeze. Get out of the way of my ice laser. That's not a nice pun. No, it's not. I don't have any other uh, ones. Okay. <laughs> Put it on ice. So she punched the lady. Is that but she punched us. Yeah. Well, it's POV of us getting punched. Chilled. But we're at her eye level. Yeah. Well, she's about to punch us. Yeah, but we're, look, we're laying down. There's a lady lying on the ground for some reason, and Yaira needs okay. to jump towards her and punch okay, her. Okay, look. On the ground, right? right? Why is she on the ground? No, 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 no. Just okay. listen. Sure. You're on the ground, all right? Mm -hmm. Then Yaira lands, talks to you, but where is this? You're this is not an on the ground shot. Punch downward. We should have. This is not on the ground. Right. What you're looking at. You want. Well, the camera tilt is cute. That's the kind of thinking that made this. A little shake. It's cute, yeah. Well, then you have to put it on the ground looking up. Right. You can't do like you're standing up. I'm going to give him a little bit of credit. Because uh, of the zine? Because of you the guys zine. Are magazine well, now we're in the same uh, creative right. space. Is that struggle? Is that struggle? Is the affliction of creation? I would like to thank Mr. Eusebio <laughs> for allowing me it the is Lincoln to discover and okay. create. He looks like a little bitch. I thought he was going to be a big old guy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lincoln of Sabio. And now he's wearing a stupid cowboy hat because that's his thing. He's in <laughs> Texas. <laughs> <laughs>
an archaeologist? Hold on, pause. An go back a second. I'm trying. I, She's no, it trying. doesn't work both Use ways. those arrow key back. Uh, go. Why? Go Why'd you want to pause? Because I want to show his stupid what? What? It's tech Elon guy? Musk. Even a tech. Okay, but Elon and Musk. Remember that when Elon Musk got made fun of wearing a cowboy hat, they decided to put that in the. Was he also trailer. wearing a T-shirt and a big Texas belt buckle? Like yeah. that's the. And everyone made fun of it because it looked so stupid. <laughs> the Saskas Eric said, "That's awesome. Put that in the." This is not the kind of guy who should be wearing a T-shirt around. He looks like a doofus. That's what you wanted to say? This? Yeah. All right. Look at him. Um, usually when someone's foreign and they say stuff like thank you and yes, they use their foreign tongue. Mm. They don't say thank you. They say, say like donka, donka, donka or whatever donka. it is. Uh, that's like a little character thing. All right. An archaeologist? It's a bit archaic, isn't it? She's well studied, Jerry. But if you want to question her credentials, be my guest. That's not what I was saying. It's just an unusual area of expertise to pair with biology. Well, Dr. Rodell, from my understanding, is an unusual woman. Don't be threatened, Jerry. She's on our side. Is that Isom's sister? This that is, is a trailer? Wait, that's uh... What is exciting about this <laughs> that it's in the trailer? You get to see all your favorite characters. Lincoln, Eusebio. And she's doing that stupid uh... girl boss shit. Don't be threatened. <laughs> uh, whatever Isom's sister is named. Altona Rhea. Altona's here. And Yaira. She's got a blue suit. Get it? Because Yaira oh, yeah. wears blue. Yeah, yeah. She looks kind of mentally handicapped here. Dude, this here. is so long. I got it. They're clapping. You can cut at any time. <laughs> at any point, you can cut. <laughs> you gotta see a close-up again? <laughs> you gotta get that hat tilt in there. You gotta get that hat tilt in there. It's like the the Family Guy Star Wars. Da -dun, da -dun, <laughs> da -dun, da -dun. Yeah, everybody uh, preparing. Oh, okay. She's still like on the chomp. ground. Were you trying to knock me out? Oh, go back. No. That's a classic line. You took that like a chomp. Took that like a chomp. Took that like a chomp. <laughs> Ew, gross. You took that like a chomp. Were you trying to knock me out? No. If it's meant to be a death blow. Yeah, right. Stand down. Oh my god. And then another instance of ADR to dialogue where I go It wasn't five minutes. Why not just cut to Solari so that we know who showed up? They didn't have the money for that. Now the audience has to assume you could like you could have his you don't even have to show him, just have his silhouette, a guy in a cape, just completely silhouetted out. You see yeah, his cape yeah. flying. Uh there's a lot of Inside baseball. Show a giant penis. For the eyes on people. Who cares? Yaira, stand down. Stand down. The same voice actor who sucks. So the thing everybody was running from was a lady who spent the entire short film on the ground looking completely useless. And Joe vomits Gold. a laser for no reason. Why was she a threat to anyone? Did she do something? Usually a trailer makes me... Oh, he's doing that thing where he doesn't tell you fucking anything. And then you have to be like, oh man, I gotta so read the comic to, kill her? to find out why that lady vomited a laser and everybody was mad about it. Huh. Didn't even look like the laser hurt anybody. Of course, I love when trailers are followed by a minute and 30 seconds of credits. credits. Wow, man, this is like, you're really taking yourself seriously. It's bizarre. Uh, whoa, my, what was that? How many vowels? Couldn't you also, okay, who did Andre Anthony play? The guy in the hat? The guy who ran by? Like, <laughs> does everyone need a, si usually you save that in the movie for like the big One time page. actor. Yeah, they're like, top billing, oh my God, uh, Matt Damon. This is like Monty ben Python. Affleck. It's like the- Holy Grail yeah. credits. <laughs> You can just have one page with all the credits on it. Oh, uh, Mackenzie Gray. Oh, yeah, I loved when she ran by and went, Salai! And Marshall Bingham. And Marshall Bingham. Just wow. put them all on the screen at once. How Are you fucking serious? Yes. Carol Brown, assistant to Mr. July. So Carol was there helping out. Uh, oh, we get to know. I, yeah, okay. Yeah, that's your assumption. I would never cast such things. Who Who is the best boy on this? Ooh, Dylan Harris. He does good work. Uh, drivers, multiple drivers on the set for this. <laughs> Very oh, important. Man. Uh, Poor black guy can't keep any of his money. Editor Steve Roselle, who is Look now at all fired. these parasites taking this guy. Wait, who money. did a, a Splinter Silk with the VFX? Fantastic. Texas team. This is just literally all every, Eric had to everyone do. who works in Eric's warehouse gets a credit. <laughs> video sell comics. Video assist manager. Cash, Cash checks. Purple dog. Oh, good work, purple dog. 
Okay. So Geyer was shot on location in the generous support of the Surrey City Hall. A Surrey? Oh! oh! Wait, what'd you say? You interrupted it with your fucking well, screaming. I didn't even know that was Stop there, screaming. I never sat through the credits Stop before. Stop screaming! That lady yelled Solari. I want to get in on the fun. I didn't. I never sat through the credits. Winter is here. Winter is here. Oh, go buy Yara. Go buy it. Bro. Yeah. This is like. Don't make superhero comics. It's like Especially a don't make these ones. Like this isn't what yeah. I want to see in a. A comic? Well, a I want to see her penis flop out, which after yeah, she strikes her, a pose. I like that she is wearing like a necktie where her cock <laughs> would be it's to covered, symbolize it's her giant. Penis. She literally does have a design element that is, yeah, it's a, a big loin cloth. Yeah. What is a loin cloth? I know what for? this is. It's for covering the loins of the the man, so his genitalia isn't popping out. <sighs> okay, so what's your problem? Uh, my problem is uh, the follow up video to that video, which we don't need to watch all of. Uh, I call this problem padding your own ass. Oh. Because we just watched what is definitely very embarrassing yeah, for a bad. man who claims to be spearheading a new uh, type of economy. Not not just a business, an economy he's starting. Yeah. A parallel. Shipping. Economy. Shipping. Magnate. Uh, driving forklifts. <laughs> <laughs> hiring too many social media people. He's on How many the, social media people work at the Riververse? Not Five, enough, I'm going to say. Enough. Not yeah, enough. True. When I think of uh, all the great industrialists of our time, Henry Ford was out there and he goes, I need a eighth social media person. Yeah. Uh, I want to real quick see, is this on the same uh, thing here? My problem is that sometimes people uh, think they did a real good job. Oh, they made it behind the scenes. And... Uh, and sometimes they didn't do a real good job, but they still want to pat themselves Ten. on the ass for saying, "Look at how good I did, bro." Are you Look kidding? at what I did. There's a whole 10 minute documentary on the on the making of that shit. You haven't seen this? No. Uh, it's 11 minutes long. Has been amazing to be gifted the opportunity to. So to put to put this in context, can you pause this real quick? <laughs> Eric July gave birth to her, and then he's like, <laughs> "I need a strong female in my team." I need a strong Action. female. Team to take care of my strong female character. What did I say? I think he's trolling us at this point. I think he put that in there to go. Yeah, I'm I'm woke now. I have a strong female team to write Consider my strong. That we are her nannies. <laughs> Eric July gave birth to her, and then he's like, <laughs> "I need a strong female influence times two. Action! Strong female influence. It's been my longest childhood dream to be able to give a future generation of fans what I got from comic books. Like these women and these men, they taught me how to be strong. They taught me how to have morals. And how did morals they? not because like you're afraid of like <laughs> hell, but doing the right thing because it's the right thing to do. Oh <laughs> my God. Okay. Uh, I mean, I'm not going to go into too much detail, but this is in the style of uh, let's say an inconvenient truth where Al Gore makes a whole movie about, look at me, I stopped global warming. Yeah. Or being Serena, where Serena Williams goes, look how good I am at tennis. Eric July made well, Serena is good at tennis. She is good at tennis. There Do is no a... global warming, so. Okay. Well, there's a number this of This is different... bad. <laughs> I think the point is you did a thing. Regardless of whether it's good or bad, why don't you just let the thing speak for itself? Serena it Williams, did. why don't you let your team tennis career speak for itself? And uh, Eric, I think your trailer speaks for itself. I don't think 11 minutes of the Saska sisters <laughs> saying, well, one day, me and my sister, we kidding? were kissing and pissing and vomiting, and then this black guy called us up. To see not only the characters brought to life, that in itself is unbelievable. This but is mixed horror. This that music's are too loud. Direct adaptations for what what it was happening in the comics. What it was, and that's just crazy. Happening in the comics, it's the same fucking scene <laughs> that you're shooting over and over and animating. Live You're action right. shooting? He animated it and he had the live action shooting. It's so shooting. fucking bizarre. What I mean, is I understand in his head. this is like an investor yeah. reel and it they want to show this to, to investors. Yes. Say, like, we need $100 million. The entire. Let's be, guys, if you haven't figured it out, this is not to sell comics to you, unless you're a pay pig idiot. This is to show things to investors who are dumb. And they go, 
well, he's already got like a cartoon, and he's already got kind of like a movie. Yeah, that's the and hard part. Movies make if money. You made the cartoon. <laughs> They don't have twelve animation studios that they no. are, that are already working with them. This is this is just an investor showcase. To you know try what annoys and... me about the parallel economy? What? Um, it would be great if a parallel economy or like projects took over mm. and won influence from Hollywood. Sure, but they have to be good. Right. If they're not good, you're just subsidizing shit. You're burning money. For something that will never compete. Well, you're trying to destroy one thing to replace it with a thing that is equally bad, if not worse. This is much, much, much worse. This is worse than uh, I'd rather lifetime have movies. A million gay superheroes fucking each other than it's just not going to work. Naira. like, no, it's not going to. We're work. gonna, we're gonna. This is going to be mainstream. Like, well, but it's not good. It has to be good. It's... So take that money that you're giving you and give it to somebody who can make something good. Because you cannot. You have failed, and you will never get good. People don't get good at these things. They're either good or they're not. I'm going to make the uh, generous suggestion that Eric could get good at making comics. That's why you shouldn't be trusted. I'm not going to say he... I, I, no, it's not It's, it's going to be a kind of hard. world. It's not a kind it's of world where you can, you know, he can't, tap dance look, no, I, people's I'm, feelings. But I'm saying, like, he could hire all the right people. No, he already didn't and can't. This is why I I'm being 100. percent I get serious. it. This I know what you're saying. You have to be. Uh, you have to be um, very strict with your thinking about these things. Right. You have to not trust. Well, he has a very strange. Uh, his logic is uh, just not there. It's uh, what if there was a shared superhero universe? And you're like, that would be bad. That would be really bad. What do you mean? Like Marvel and DC are popular. Okay, sure, but they're great because in the 40s, a bunch of weirdos were hanging out making books for children, and that slowly evolved into, like, a mythos that could only exist because of that, because young people were buying, let's be real, very silly stories about Superman, yeah. you know, marrying a gorilla, yeah. and over time, a mythos is a cost 50 yeah, yeah, years. Yeah, 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 that's true. If you did that now, and you said, here's my superhero... And he's a gorilla Dang is trying gorilla. to marry. Yeah, you'd be like, well, this no, is not working. No, it only worked yeah. because the 40s were cheesy and stupid. And slowly from that, Batman was the stupidest thing alive. It's It was dumb. It was about a guy who kidnapped a child from the circus and they went on little adventures together. And yeah. then the 60s, it was fun and campy because everyone went, comic books are stupid. But only from that, only from that legacy of whatever, were you able to be like, yeah, but what if they were really cool and serious? Yeah. It's like, oh, that's interesting. That's cool. But it's not interesting when you go, okay, and what if there was a blonde chick who didn't know what an Icelandic act, uh, accent sounds like, uh, and she punched a lady who vomited a laser, and there's no gravitas or anything interesting about it at all, because all of this is just parodies of existing th tropes that you already know. Uh -huh. It's just like, just tell her one really good story. There's no more room for- well, Stop giving them money. He can't. We saw in Hollywood, there's no room for cinematic universes. They don't work. Nobody wants interweaving, ooh, what if Tom Cruise was the mummy and this guy oh, was the- Oh, yeah, that's whatever, right. Whatever, man. It doesn't yeah, work it doesn't because work. There, it doesn't- And those have You're the right. history. Yes, they do. Even with the history, stupid. it's impossible to, to force off. it. They're trying to force it, and they're trying to force it in a non-organic way. Eric's strategy is, what yeah, if right. I invented a million characters that have no weight or history or any reason for anyone to be connected to them other than they like me, Yeah, and I forced them to that interact with each other, and I made a million comics about them. Mm -hmm. And I'm going, that would be the worst creative writing exercise in the history of the human race. <laughs> and I present to you the Yaira yes. behind-the-scenes trailer where two vomit lesbians <laughs> are explaining to you... How excited they is were! Is it lesbians if it's your twin? Because it's your genetic. It's your like you sure. like jacking off. It's masturbatory. You it's masturbation. Yeah. Two ladies are going to explain to me about how they had a lady jump towards another lady who's lying on the ground for no reason, as one lady ran by and yelled "Salari, Salari!" And I'm like, "What is this the narrative is made love our here?" Dreams come true. How do you write something this bad? Even if you handed me all of Eric July's characters, I would go, okay, well, you got to show, like, why there's a threat and what's happening. It's really, this is embarrassing. Um, I've been on, like, normal yeah. shoots that are, like, on sure. Paramount, plot, like, real shows. Yeah. And these morons are taking this way more seriously than any of those productions. Like, actual. They're taking it way more seriously and doing it infinitely worse. Oh, Yeah. 
It's like baffling. How did you not? You have this is pathetic. The, it, <laughs> All right, so Isom falls into the car. Why? Well, we got to show Isom why. It's about Yaira. Because it's well, in that scene. In she the dropped comic. him out of the car, but we don't see her drop him out of the car, so it doesn't make any sense. Yeah, but we're gonna <laughs> we'll just have her say a line which says, "Stop following uh, me." Stop following me, black man. Because that was in the book. Because that was in the book. Like I said, it's something that I can't, I don't know if I'm ever going get, to get used to it. I'm fine with that because it's an amazing experience when you see uh, when, when they, everything set up, makeup, all, uh, costume. Dude, Eric. He's so excited to be on a movie Eric, set. Eric, stop <laughs> spending money, man. Stop spending money. <laughs> He's not going you know to the You know all the money I made from uh, my show? Mm. Kept it. Right. I didn't, like... Go shoot a video about like the Dick Show biopic yeah. and then like a behind the scenes of it. I just kept the money. Meanwhile, I'm uh, buying super killer merchandise, and every dollar I send away, I go, I'm such so stupid for doing this. You I'm, are. I'm throwing money in a toilet. To do that. I know I'm throwing money in a toilet. I told you not to. But do at it. least I recognize it. It's because it's fun for me. Like, that's a character that I created. Walking on set and seeing Yaira off the panels, that's like the greatest feeling in the world. Oh my god. Yeah, I love doing stunts because I, I do. It makes me feel like a superhero, honestly. I feel like, you know, we got, we got the part. <laughs> <laughs> Why wasn't he the voice? I can't I watch any of this. This is like the worst thing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> you don't want to ax him? So what do I do in the movie? You fall into a car. Why? I don't. No. Pulse rate going a little, heart rate going a little bit faster than normal. I think that it's just- All you did was get dropped on a car. Why did he give an interview about being dropped on a car? Why was that shot in this? <laughs> it has nothing to do with what's it's, happening. It's such a creative, you know, universe that that Eric has created. Uh, having Yaira, you know, as, as, as the lead in this is, is something that a lot of people are gonna be able to look up to. And it's just kind of a, a cool twist, you know? It's such an original What's universe. What's the cool twist? When you've got DC and Marvel kind of owning the- I can't, <laughs> come on. <laughs> come on. This is the, I'm the villain of the Ripaverse. This is the Canadian me, guy who showed- Me, not Marvel and DC. <laughs> it's me. I, look. <sighs> this is so bad. This is like profoundly embarrassing to like, like you know how you get that secondhand embarrassment? The, okay, this is every, but this is exactly what the Ripa Visitor is. Is if you pretend long enough, if you and your friends get together and you make a documentary about what a great thing you did, yeah, right, right. It's kind of the same as doing a great thing, right? <sighs> yeah, eventually. If you tell yeah. everyone we will win, we will destroy Marvel and DC. It's kind of the same thing as doing it, right? Well, no, not really. You kind of actually have to, at some they point. They kind of pumped the brakes on that one, too, after all these not like, been a lot of we will win. Yeah, it's now it's just like, that. please stop talking please about stop my trailer. Talk uh, uh, start talking about how the person clipping, the girl clipping us and making fun of us uh, fucks dogs for some reason. <laughs> start spreading that lie around, yeah, that's even though a, she that's absolutely insane, does not. Insane Yellow Flash thing. is a huge piece of shit for that, man. Uh, I th Well, Yellow Flash is like a crazy person. Piece of shit. Yeah, for trying to spread a rumor that the woman, the housewife, who's there's a woman his who says like, here's what you know, Yellow Flash and Eric are saying. Here's some clips attacking they're the being clipper. Stupid. There's yeah. a lot of clippers on YouTube. It's not like a big deal. It's funny, they're great. Right. They found out that she really likes Inuyasha, which is a Japanese anime about a lady who falls in love with a dog demon man. But he's a man. He's a like a werewolf. A man. Yes, it's a werewolf. Yeah, they it's had a fan a group for anime. that. Then, and they're going through the fan fictions that are on their fan page, right. laughing at them, and one of them was a porno. And they're laughing at it. Mm -hmm. Right. They Yellow brought up Flash an image and they said, is saying, literally saying that this woman fucks dogs. There are because people of saying that. she's He's a, to yeah. a total piece of shit. Dude, they're saying she's an abuser. They're like, oh, a known abuser. That guy is really. Is one of Eric's critics. I'm like, she laughed at Inuyasha porn, and that how through this insane game of Rip of telephone did that turn into this woman actually is a dog fucker, is a dog fucker and a known That's, abuser? That was way over the line. Honestly, when they started doing that, I was like, I know there was like always this part of me that's like, are we going too hard on these guys? No, never. And now I'm like, no, never. They're it's never too like hard. genuinely bad people. Yeah. That was crazy. And both of them have been like this since before all this started. They're still the same person. I have that no they idea. Were. Uh, it's 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 uh, bizarre. 
It's weird. Oh, you're clipping me and making fun of me? You fuck dogs. Like, she doesn't even have a big account. Dude, she's not like, okay. She like, just yeah, clips it's things just a lady. that are funny. <laughs> It's like that girl that clips Nick Riccati's stuff. Well, they're also very desperate. They're dog fucker. They're very uh, embarrassed about all the Saska stuff. So they've been they've been constantly trying to run this. Well, what about Vito? And I'm like, what do you mean, what about Vito? I'm not making any comics for anybody. Else. I'm making my own comic. And they're like, yeah, but you right, talk to him. an issue. We partially wrote it in mind, being like, oh, I bet this Eric July guy is going to review it. I want it to be really boss, and I want him We're to talking really about take how they it. wrote uh, their Black Widow comic, hoping Eric July would approve of it. People have seen that the superhero sphere has turned into. She didn't like, have a microphone anymore. No, what the hell happened? The mic got fucked. They lost the audio. They're using one shotgun and it's pointed at the other one. <laughs> I can't move. It's badly. The guy doesn't have. Uh, the guy doesn't have headphones. There's no sound. What guy. the hell's going on? It's an onboard. You know, there isn't even movies. That Why is the like same three notes like a slot machine in the entire documentary? <sighs> it's bad music. Why don't you get some superhero sounding like da 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 da? Stand on their own merits. It's just exciting. To be part of a company where a yes. fan will say something and there's an internal discussion about it. Like, how are we going to make this happen? Wait, 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 wait. you're like, telling me oh, a them. fan sends in a suggestion? You go, shit, that's way better than anything I could come up with and you just steal it? <laughs> <laughs> it's so exciting to be a part oh, of that. they got credits for the documentary, I'm too! I'm going to kill myself. Oh, there's no, no way. Loud oh, no, no, Come on in. Have How does it feel to waste all this money? See, you know what you were saying about how Eric July can't make a parallel economy? Because anyone trying to make a legitimate parallel economy would look at the edited version of this and go, yeah, we got to scrap this. Yeah, you're not. We're not paying you. We're not, uh, we're not using this. Let's yeah. shut it down. I'm looking at the dailies. They don't look good. I'll take here's what I'll do. I'll take the footage of Yaira looking kind of cool and I'll intersplice it with buy my comic book. You know, you could salvage some of that footage to just be like, look, she walks and she's there and whatever. Don't listen to her talk. We're Don't putting like Sydney Sweeney anything. in this, yeah. not uh, fucking uh, She-Ra, here, She-Man here. Uh, anyway, Dick, my problem is uh, patting. Is it patting on the ass or patting on the back? Patting yourself on the back. Patting yourself on the back. That's what the I don't know why I said patting on your, the ass. I mean, on, about ass, on the football ass team. Pats. You go, hey, good work out there, buddy. Good work, <laughs> good work out there. Was yeah. that my second problem? That was my second problem. Yeah, yeah, we're done. We're done. Uh, let's do voicemails. Let's so th our it. problems are national parks, bad day holidays. Uh, a generation of sexless idiots. Okay. And patting yourself on the back. And we didn't talk about Game Brigade stuff at all. However, a little bit. Look at the, <laughs> the super, super chats. I'm sure the super uh, chats are going to force us to talk about it. Uh, yeah, God, I don't really want to dig too wow, deep. Wow, Yairo is great, man. Good job, Eric. I mean, again, there's only, like, so much, you know, excuses you can make for this company. Why would you make any? I don't know. It's not good. I would have expected the Ira sisters have, like, movie cra They made movies. No, they made shitty, like, torture porn and piss porn and stuff. Yeah, I it's know. It's not hard to make. I know. It doesn't need a plot. Well. You don't, like, you film it, like, in close quarters. It's shit. If they made, like, local commercials or something, that would be... Why is Carol Brown not going? So why is that lady just lying on the ground? Because none of them reason? have ever been on a film set, <laughs> ever. I just, I really want to know they were lying, running away from a lady who spends the entire time. She's not even like in a position to make. She's, and then she vomits a laser. Um, That's the scariest. I guess in Yaira we get to see a lady punch a lady who vomits lasers. That'll be cool. And then she spits out blood. <laughs> You usually, took that usually like a when chomp. you see the usually you need to see the, the blood, hit and yeah, then you, the, the blood, blood comes you out. You don't cut back and then go. Well, like, you got a mouth full. Of, you have to see a transition from one hit blood. You took that like a chomp. Were you trying to knock me out? No, no that blow. was a death blow. So she can't kill her. She was trying to kill her, I guess, and failed. Well, she better get out of there then. Some bad dialogue. Were you trying to knock me out? No. That was, was a death you. blow. All right. Um, Yaira, back down. <laughs> and you go, who the fuck's that? The biggest problem in the universe oh. isn't daylight savings time. Okay. Oh. Smug motherfuckers. Look around the room and mm. see everybody's tired and go, I'm just so grateful for the extra hour of daylight. Those yeah. motherfuckers need to be cold from civilization so we can all just kind of enjoy life. Mm-hmm. See you next Friday. The Daylight Savings Lovers. Smug Daylight Savings. DSLs. 
Uh, okay. This guy's uh, unraveling my Netflix conspiracy. Vito, Dick asked you if you've watched Netflix during February and seen that, in fact, it's nothing but black people. And to your fucking failing, you completely left out the whole point of that being that February, historically now for, I don't know, several years, I guess, is goddamn Black History Month. Yeah. That's why when you turn on Netflix or Hulu... Get what that? the fuck ever? Everyone gets, in February, what is this all guy? black people. Yeah, we know. Now it's March, and it's National Women's History Month. Wait, is he just... So guess okay, what? Thanks it's for the okay. fucking women. Uh, I like when the fans explain things we all already know. <laughs> damn algorithm to work with. God damn it, guys. Could you stop arguing about shit wherein Dick just repeats the same question over and over because it's, it makes <laughs> sure. me want to pull my fucking teeth out. Try that. Veto. What? The reason why Netflix is why all in black February in is February it all black stuff is because it's Black History Month. Oh, D- duh. See, not uh, and that's just oh. always been. It's just always been wow. Black History Month. It's never been like pushed or promoted no. as a vehicle to shove racial identity in everyone's face. Right? It's just it is Black History Month, mm-hmm. so that's why there's black shit everywhere. Oh, is he excusing it? Is that is that what's happening? He is the person that this is built for. <laughs> Like, he's the reason why you have to stack these yeah. scams. Hey, everybody's Black History Month. Oh, huh. Hey, now we're we're just doing all black movies and shit. Oh, well, yeah, because it's Black History Month. I mean, that makes sense. Yeah. Like, yeah, idiot. That's why they're doing... Is that why, like, uh, Trans uh, History Month, it's always, like, movies about suicide and stuff? Is it? Yeah, yeah. Is there a Trans History Month yet? No. They should do one. Well, Trans History Month, I mean, uh, it's all tragic, tragic stories. Cut tragically short. Hey, this is a message for that pedophile Dick Masterson. Hey, fuckface. Wow. You realize that fucking Omaha, Nebraska is not full of rednecks, you fucking loser. Wow. It's the only blue cuck portion of the whole entire state, and they get an entire electoral vote to vote on only fucking Dems, bro. Nice. Do not fucking call <laughs> Omaha a fucking redneck place, because real rednecks like me don't live in that fucking shithole. Go right. fuck yourself, Dick. Veto right. your fat. Thank I you. apologize. Sorry for calling them rednecks. <laughs> I don't know. The, I'm over here in L.A. I okay, don't know I guess people in Nebraska, know? the red guys in Nebraska, really hate the Omaha guys. Uh, well, yeah. I learned a little something about Nebraska. Uh, okay, here's another one. Listening to this last episode has been so fucking painful because Dick is saying there's no hostility from my side of the room, even though I am making wild, like, assumptions about Vito's character and mm. just pointing the finger and putting my foot down and saying, you're a bad person, you. you're such a team guy, all these a things of that. Of uh-huh. that people have done unrelated to you, you need to apologize for their crimes. I'm not being hostile. What do you mean? I'm not being hostile. <laughs> I'm not doing anything. Like, uh, Dick, you're being so fucking annoying. Shut up. Fuck, stop, stop laying into him. This so guy much. left six voicemails. Well, Do you want to hear all he's six? He's very of them? impassioned. Here, yeah, let's, let's hear. Start here. Uh, he feels strongly. This about is this. the worst episode you guys have ever had by far. Just break up already, so we don't have to listen to this fucking garbage. Oh my god, god. damn. Oh my god. God, this sucks. <laughs> stop fucking fighting and make more jokes. Okay. Your fighting is not entertaining, and also if you're. You're both just being so fucking petty. Dick way more than Vito this episode. More than you, though. Dick, the first voice shut man. up. Okay, you're more petty than me. I like that. That's think, good. Then that wasn't good enough. Let's call it back. Yeah, yeah, he's got another one here. Dick laying into Vito this episode is... Is this all about the same episode? You no. Know, I, I don't think I've ever seen... He called in over and over and over. Did he think the first one didn't go through? <laughs> no, because he's building He's just up. building up. Okay. Dick exhibit this amount of projection. It's similar to the projection. amount of projection that Noel is putting on other people. Like, right. oh, they're so There's engaged no in pedophile activity even that Noel is. Dick, you're saying Vito is, like, closed off and thinks he's better than everyone else and that that's the problem? Well, what the fuck are you? <laughs> I mean, how do you not realize that you're just saying... It's applicable to you wow. and putting it on Vito. I kind of like this I guy. I don't get it. This guy's it's making just, a lot of sense. You're this guy supports you. Yeah. And he called in 
five times. Yeah. Well, yeah. the veto files are so he's clearly very his, passionate. His, his mind is correct. I think there's right? a very passionate group. Okay, here's call number three. Okay. Listening to this last episode has been so fucking painful it's because. Oh, is that the same one? Anger, yeah, yeah, yeah. No hostility. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, four, yeah, 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 yeah. I already played that one. Oh, my God, Dick. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> my God. You, it was entertaining when you shat on Maddox because he's a complete fucking idiot, wow. moron, degenerate, retard. Uh, Vito is not. Thank Vito you. has a head on his shoulders. Yes. Uh -huh. Stop just fighting with him for the sake of it. It is not entertaining. Not entertaining at all. Not entertaining. So I guess, I guess he was listening to the episode and he would keep pausing it when he got to upset get a, to, be to upset get another and call in. in. Is the last one? Yeah, I'm listening to the last episode. Oh, uh, oh okay. Where, Thanks for uh, letting us know. Okay. Nick is completely spurging out on Vito for not immediately completely agreeing with him that his one piece of evidence is completely ruining evidence. like I don't everything know. by injected like with their diversity consulting or whatever. I'm saying your hey, DEI Nick, argument. You're like those guys no, on uh, like my old friends from high school who are like friend. really right school. wing and Jack really guys. conspiratorial, and they would show me a piece of quote unquote evidence for something like I don't know Bigfoot or UFOs, yeah, and it's Bigfoot. something kind of like you know that maybe could be explained, right. you know, with like a few. No, Bigfoot could definitely be explained. But they're just like, <laughs> well, the fact that you don't agree with me right away means that you're a complete piece of shit and you always jump to these conclusions and you never agree with me. I deal with yeah, That's pretty much Wah! what it is. I deal with Wah! that. I am, that's pretty much what I'm Girl dealing up, with. Dude. I agree. That guy's on your side. I like this guy. He's got a lot of, <laughs> he's very impassioned. <laughs> Uh, Seems like a smart. I figured man. out the way to beat the system is if you leave five voicemails, you have five times as much of a chance of getting in. Yeah, if you leave, buddy, if you leave like five more, I'll play. That. <laughs> That's, That's great. Uh, that was pretty smart. Uh, Thanks for calling in. Okay, and then we got. I get this one. It's pretty good. Okay. Team Guy Vito, official narrative Vito. Mm. Always with the dumb little shit. <laughs> Oh, I cut out at the end. Always with the team dumb guy little Vito, shit. official narrative Vito. Always with the. I'm looking team at all these great shit. Magic the Gathering uh, voicemails. You gotta send me uh, these so I can uh, send you what Magic. What do they okay. got to say? Hey Dick. Hey Vito. Hey. Uh, I have two quick messages to each of you, so I'll be short. Okay. Then just uh, say Vito, them. Don't. I'm going to be spoiling some Magic the Gathering cards from. Outlaws of Thunder Junction okay. this weekend. Nice. Should I uh, shill for uh, Biggest Problem or Super Killer? Oh, shill for uh, Biggest call Problem. Call me back and let me know. Biggest Problem. And uh, Dick, I've noticed that a lot of these team guys <laughs> like it. to use this phrase, and Shut I up. didn't know why Shut they up. like to use this phrase, uh -huh. And I, but I think I've cracked the code. Okay. okay? Yeah. So... Uh, Whenever you hear media literacy, oh, just replace that with liberalism. Yes. It makes a lot of the things they say True. make sense. True. Like, for example, you know, they, they go to school for their media literacy and they always like, yeah, they always like make fun of conservatives for not having media literacy and such and such. Oh, anyway. Yes. Uh, love you guys. Take you guys care. do like media Bye. literacy. Yeah, yeah. It's a lot of that. I know. It's a lot of uh, cognitive uh, lacking in some of these places. You guys are so smart. We are very smart. How come? Well, all right. What? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> My side didn't make Yaira. That's your team. No, it's literally <laughs> your team. That's my team. Intersectional feminism is hardcore liberal. Well, who hired him? A retard. You know, a, a, your uh, retard. No, a, a, a Democrat <laughs> voter hired them. Oh, Eric July, a Democrat voter? Yeah. Fair enough. Uh, you don't think he voted for Obama? I'm sure he voted for Obama. Sure he voted for Obama. But now he knows where the money is. Uh, oh, did, oh, yeah, we did okay. the many calls. We did that. All right. Um, Why are the names super justified? Chats? The names? Oh, on the... Oh. Uh, just stupid. Vito, why would you justify all of the dickheads <laughs> on the right side when he's on the left side of the screen? It makes no sense. I was trying to have a meet in the middle. You're retarded. And sorry I'm out of breath. I'm at the gym right now on the treadmill. Something you don't know shit about. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> Thanks. 
<laughs> okay, no, this makes sense because if no, you it doesn't look, you have that center dividing line, so I should have used that. It doesn't even line up though. I know because I didn't have that in place, but the idea was that they're meeting in the middle and spreading out from there, spreading out from a center point. <sighs> That's weird. Well, tell me how to do it, I guess. I don't know. I, I told you not to do it. I can do them all left justified, if that's better. All right. Um, or center. Chats now. Center kind of screws it up for some Studio. reason. Studio. We'll do our super chats. Guys, don't forget to vote on all the problems. The biggest problem of that show. Don't forget our newest bonus episode, The Biggest Problem, in Final Fantasy, is now available at patreon.com slash biggest problem. Uh, I've been streaming that Final Fantasy game over at youtube.com slash veto. Come on by every Wednesday. And I've also been selling magic cards and whatnot, and that's been a lot of fun. If you have a whatnot account, follow Vito Comedy, and I will sell you magic cards and a bunch of video games I have to test. Uh, that game is, like, uh, stupid. The Final Fantasy VII game? They're fighting in their underwear or bathing suits and stuff. I was watching I haven't got to that point. Twitch. It looks dumb. Well, they had the beach in the original game where they go to the uh, Costa del Sol, and then yeah, they get on a like... boat, and they fight a Sethroth clone. Yeah, but you're watching. Separate. You're like fighting them in the game, and they're in bathing suits. It feels stupid. I'm, it feels I'm gonna weird. tell you a little something about Japanese culture. It's all a little bit stupid, yeah. but that's what makes it so fun. I'm sorry, you're telling me you don't want the ladies to be in like sexy bathing suits and fighting monsters? I don't get that at all. Uh, I like. No, that. it's gross for them to be nearly naked fighting monsters. What if the monsters try to have sex with them? That's hot. No, I don't want that either in the game. I want to play a video game. With like a person wearing clothes that's wow. fighting monsters. I don't know anything. I'm not a, that's yeah. not my kind of video it's, it's game. It's weird. It's like, oh, you're wearing a bunch of frilly shit, like uh it kind of I do the... think the sweat the swimsuits look a little weird, but I'm gonna say it's a fantasy universe where all the farms are run by black people for some reason. Mm. It's been a little first diversity in that Final Fantasy Seven. Oh, there is? Well they got consultants in there. Well, I go, there are a lot of black people in this game. Mm. More than I remember from the first game. I'm sure, I'm sure that's just a coincidence. I'm sure it's a coincidence. It's another coincidence. Just an aw shucks farmer, homesteader, maybe. Uh, at least he hasn't tried to lecture me about his slavery roots. The locks for two. Koof is late and gay. Koof comes in for two. Thank you for not killing yourselves. Thank you, Koof. Koof for two. You should make Team Vito and Team Dick jerseys. I like that idea. <laughs> I might even eh, somebody remind me of that later. Vito jersey and dicks can have I don't know. Gay no, shit I don't make on it. jersey. You never want me to make merch. It's just for a waste you. of time. I mean, what are you going to sell? It's not Three a waste shirts? of time. It's fun. It's a uh, fun. Okay, okay. Make the jerseys. No, no, I don't want to do it because <laughs> okay. you're being all negative <laughs> about it. Uh, Diamond G for two says, "How many XL is that?" Moon Milk for five. Ethan Ralph is a guest. When P.S. Vito, please stop your religious blathering. It's so troublesome hearing it everywhere I go. So please mm. don't ruin it. Isabel is watching you for five. Dick, now that Gumroad has been bullied by credit card companies to ban all non-safe work content. I didn't hear that. Yeah, like yesterday or today. Wait, really? Yeah, yeah. Oh man. That's uh, that's where like all the uh, like hentai artist guys are at because they all Not got no booted off way. Patreon. Yeah, credit card companies uh, for some reason are all going after. Porn. Well. it's another coincidence. <laughs> it's not a coincidence. I just don't think it's directly connected to what you're worried about. Uh, will back by ever get a storefront option? Yeah, hopefully. Maybe Say it in a more forceful, exciting way. No, because I don't lie. About what might or may not lie. happen. You just go. You the get, reboot. The you new sound version. So depressed. Have to be. Get happy about. It. Like you know what? Yeah, I, it's I, not I, happy. We'll just be like you know, like oh yeah, you know what? We're gonna look into that. That's a good idea. I mean, you sound so defeated <laughs> by the by the credit card people. Because I'm, I get it. Actually, I trying know. to stop this shit. I know. Um, but you're supposed to give people the hope. I'm out of that. The new version's coming out, I don't know, maybe in a you month or two. You are not a Lincoln Eusebio. Lincoln Eusebio would be up no, here. No, I hate these fucking people. I know. Always selling But you have to. to. That's how lying, you... Lying, lying, lying nonstop. You don't have to lie. She could go, you know what, we're going to take a look, because uh, I don't like what's happening. Um. Yeah, maybe. There might be one if we have the resources to do it. If you're... Um, if anybody wants to help, you know, join the Discord. Okay. I think that Back By is a great place to be, and a lot of good people are on there. Zagathra for five says, Super Kill should visit a world where everyone is disabled, and the superhero is just a regular guy. 
wow, you know what's great about the fans is uh, you know they'll give you cool ideas or whatever, That's and you take idea. them and you put them in the trash because it's my comic <laughs> book and I'm not Eric July and I don't want suggestions. <laughs> Kill yourself. Uh, kicks mechanic for five. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, finally okay. caught Vito on PKA. It was a great episode filled with laughs. Koof told me thanks for not killing yourself, and I would buy those jerseys. We need more merch. Some people in my uh, uh, Discord, my Discord, were mad. They're like, why don't you tell us you're on PKA? I'm like, I update the Patreon every week telling you every single show I went on. They're yeah. Like, I don't check the Patreon. I'm like, well. Okay, well. They're like, can you make a separate it. Discord board to repost it as well? I'm no. like, no. No. Every Monday, go on there, and I'll tell you what show I was on. It's still up. It's still there. Don't worry. JJ for 20, after you finish with the Yaira live action thing, watch Eric's three-minute video titled Let Me Clarify Some Things to see his response to the haters. Okay, for 20 bucks. For 20 yeah, bucks. Sure. I want to see that. I did not know that there was a hater response. Is he going to explain how hard it is to write a short film where a lady does a short jump towards another He's going to say he loves criticism as long as it's not something he made. Let me clarify some things. Oh, man, I really hate watching. What's up, I'm y'all? So I'm just checking in with my channel and other forms of social. I'm so embarrassed to watch this guy. I get the secondhand embarrassment of, like, having uh, to explain how you fucked up, but you didn't really fuck up. Yeah, it's cool. It's supposed to be bad yeah. in a stupid way. Just, we're just trying things out. Yeah. Don't worry about it. Yeah, who yeah. doesn't matter? It's cool, actually. The haters only hate it because they're haters. Yeah, they don't want to see somebody try new things. Oh, yeah. No one's ever made that. Uh, all right. Okay. Just, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get And with this. my channel and other forms of social media, since it's been a crazy launch for Yaira, number one, we've hit a million dollars in 24 hours, which broke the ISOM number two record, and I'm so grateful for that. With that being said, before it gets too... All right, I'm going to give Eric one piece of advice. You have to crossfade between clips. It's like a standard <laughs> stock thing. Yeah. Okay? The, just crossfade. Just apply a default audio transition. Okay. Or learn how to talk. How does the editor not know that? It's so like the, the basic. Too crazy, I have to clarify some things. For starters, we're getting through the benchmark goals that you all breezed right through. One thing people are excited for is the Yaira statue that gets unlocked should we hit $2 million Let's in sales. It. Let's do it. This is not something that we already have ready. Though we've had okay. some interesting conversations about this, do not anticipate that this would be added to the campaign and shipped with the campaign items. We're just- What? What? You're having a little statue? If he raises $2 million, there will be a statue, but you can't buy it. Ah! It's saying that we would commit to putting one out, and it's something that would be delivered at a much later date. Okay. I'm not going to say that the pre-order for it couldn't possibly be announced before this campaign ends, Christ. but we're not promising Why that. But whatever we do put up for sale is going to be legit. Secondly, I want to clarify some things about the Yaira number one campaign yeah, trailer. It's yeah. not a trailer for an upcoming show or film that's in the works. This was done specifically to promote the comic book and build some hype around it. It was shot on what is effectively a shoestring budget oh, and it only okay. took a- Shoestring budget? There's like 30 There's people there. There's a lot there. of people that This is more- you got crafty? Eric. <laughs> <laughs> you got subsidies this from Canada, obviously. This is not obviously. a shoestring budget. Oh. Okay, I filmed a pilot, and there was about five people uh, on set at any time. This is like a whole crew. You had two drivers in the credits, How much does this tent cost? 40 bucks at least, and there's four of them. He spent a, he spent 100 grand on this, minimum. Maybe. Because a day to shoot. Know. There were a lot. Last? No way. Well, it's a one-day shoot, no but there's way. a lot of fucking people there. Why do you think it's a one-day shoot? That, I think he said the guy so. falling in a car, uh, multiple crane takeoffs. You think it's one day shoot? Yeah, uh, they'd have to do it at like four a.m. Uh, knock out the car, dropping. All right. Maybe I mean, all Yaira does is walk forward a couple steps, jump, and then punch a lady. And they got that thing in the inside, in the middle. You think they did that all in one day? Could have done it at night. Hmm. Audience to make this happen and to put this into perspective, it costs only a fraction of what we've spent on our animations. Some people mm. have mistakenly assumed that this is a glimpse of something that's going to be longer form, but this is a trailer for a comic book. Nobody's thinking that. It's not a trailer. Nobody is, a nobody is thinking this would ever be longer form because <laughs> it's total trash. I think that the footage is missing, but what do I know? Nah, you're. I know, I'm just giving him too much credit. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, well, obviously you cut to her in the sky because you just dropped your. Stop following me. Yeah, no. 
but not a trailer for something longer form. We go it. about this completely differently if this was a film or a show regardless oh. of the budget. I love for us to do longer form animations and live actions and run it through our upcoming Riververse app. We have a lot of ideas they're having an in app. that regards, but at an that point, about? it's a different ball game. Sure. Because then we're not making something that's for comic book hype, we'd be making something that's a little more self-contained and meant to stand on its own. Some people have said, if Hollywood put this out, you look at it differently. Well, yes, I know I would, considering the context. A more accurate comparison would be, well, other comic book trailers. I've seen... <laughs> <sighs> so people have said that if you put this out in Hollywood, then you look at it more differently no, and have a on. different soul. <laughs> Fed reaction and explanation to it. But of course, that depends on the context. Ooh. What it actually means is what I'm pretending to tell you. You took that like a chomp. Uh, he's comparing this to other comic book trailers. Which don't exist? Yeah. Well, first of all, why don't they exist? What are you talking about? Because why do you have a you live mean, like the little teasers Marvel puts out that they probably tell the guy in the graphics department to throw together in like a, a weekend? Do they have documentaries about it? No. Like <laughs> they definitely don't make documentaries. Yeah. That, okay. They, you're right. That doesn't make any fun. This is just a little. We just, just a, a little, little fun thing, together. thing that we did. A little fun thing day. we did together. Also, you hired a I documentary had a second crew? unit to shoot documentary exactly. footage. Exactly. What the fuck? Exactly. Just something we threw together yeah, and a shoestring really budget. A shoestring budget is you had a second set of filmmakers <laughs> filming the behind, the, behind the, scenes the scenes and doing and interviews. interviews with everyone. So that's the second day of filming. Were they getting the interviews in between shots? Like, hey, can I pull you away to talk about how Eric's the next that's fucking That's a shoestring budget? Wow. Just say, like, you fucked some up. Just say, Let's say that this was like CW-esque from people that enjoyed it. No, and it's maybe worse. some that didn't enjoy it as well. It's a compliment. I love it. <laughs> nobody I love it. enjoyed, like, nobody enjoyed it. He's trying to say, he's trying to say, <laughs> some people are saying it's like the CW. I don't see what's so bad about the I CW. I don't see what's so bad about some that. Some of the CW shows are pretty good. <laughs> Superman, <laughs> I know they got Superman all there. Supergirl. That's a that's actually a compliment. If they you even got the woke Batgirl. They got they, Batgirl. She's a black lady now. Trailers. I've seen some comments say that this was like CWS from people that enjoyed it and maybe some that didn't enjoy it as well. It's a compliment either way for us because that's a network connected to a billion dollar corporate entity and multiple billion dollar corporate God. entities. Eric, what we pay no one's saying it looks like the CW to say it looks like something made from a billion dollar media enterprise as a compliment to you. They're saying, hey, you know how when you watch that Flash show, it looks like looks dog like shit? shit. Your it's thing made also looks like dog shit. <laughs> <laughs> that's a compliment either way because that's, that's a, a, that's a billion a dollar company. That's a billion dollars. You know, as far as companies go. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh my God. Hey, to make this happen though, probably doesn't even cover the catering budget for one of their shows. <laughs> either way, it was a great <laughs> Just a little, uh, just a little classic little inside, catering joke for you. Inside, little inside Hollywood, Hollywood there. For you. you know, those catering budgets, they'll really <laughs> set you back. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we had sandwiches on the set. I said, how much are we paying for these sandwiches? <laughs> Not enough is Hollywood. <laughs> I don't know what to do with any of this. I can't. I can't. I don't know how anyone is taking this man seriously. But go what ahead. Are the comments are people saying they're like, "Oh wow, it's really interesting." Uh, You're right. The CW is great. Uh, <sighs> can we please ha keep the catchphrase? It's meant to be a death flow. Death blow. That, that was shit it, was hilarious and iconic. I'm sure that's in the comic because he they, can't write anything new. They put a new line for every like in the weird in the middle. Yeah. Isn't that odd? One million is one million. No need to clarify that. Well, it kind of, because yeah, if you spent you a tenth it. of the budget on this, you're an idiot. Eric isn't keeping any of the money. No, he's That's throwing it out problem. a window. Um, At least the Iris sisters got a, or the, sorry, the Saska sisters got a payday. You could buy a lot of piss with that. You got to buy a lot of piss. <laughs> Experience. I learned so much about everything from stunts and how to actually run a set. I've been kicking some ideas around in ways that we can and will improve. We're ambitious and we want to keep pushing the boundaries, trying okay. new things, right. actually giving it a shot. You also.
There if was you wanted to learn, new. if you wanted to learn what a set uh, looks like, Eric, go buy a hundred and ten dollar ticket to Universal, okay? And they'll take you to the back Look lot. Look at the shark! It's yeah, that Josh yeah. shark! Oh my god! You can learn a lot about movie making and hick. live your fucking Hollywood fantasy. Oh my fantasy. god! I learned a lot about Hollywood that day. Oh, we had to spend a hundred thousand really dollars push your boundaries. Money. <laughs> you know, see the fall. You fall on the. You, I've never seen an I've iPhone seen. in a movie before. <laughs> But and then I saw motion. I saw that black man fall on the car, and I said, "What if I was the voice of the black man who fell on the car?" And then I learned and a lot. And they all said I was a great voiceover. <laughs> Wasn't that amazing? I never knew I Chuck had it Dixon in me. Dixon called me up himself, and he said, "Eric, I thought you were a great writer. I did not realize that you're also a great voice actor." <laughs> and I said, "Thank you, Chuck Dixon." And and then Chuck the, the Sasuke's legendary <laughs> Chuck Dixon. Legendary, and if you can't listen to Chuck Dixon, I mean, what are you, what are you talking about here? And then Mark Miller, creator of Kick-Ass, he <laughs> called me up and he said, Eric, I liked in the Yabra trailer when she said, you took that like a chomp. That's one uh, of the lines I would write in one of my popular comics. Jesus Christ. Please keep giving this man your money. I want this to never end. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's great. It's great. It's great. It's great. That's great. See that? And that's why all of our releases are like these big events. Of course, whether you like it or not. You're free to criticize. Thank Seeing you. people talk about this that have never really shown interest in comics, newbies, that's awesome. We hope that you stick around. But if not, that's fine too. I just didn't want people to get their hopes up and think that this was part of something that's on the way. I, Again, did, guys, I did hope my hopes were so I hope much that. I wanted the love more. that you yeah. have shown, and I can't wait for you all to read Yaira number one. Very uh, excited. Yeah, great. Thanks for Very the super excited. chat. His mouth disappears when he does that. That hippo move. That's cool. Um, wow. All right. I learned a lot on a, a, a real. I couldn't movie believe set. I was real on a real movie set. I was on a real movie set. Go, 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 it. I had a real good time. Me? I could be the voiceover? And after I watched the Sasuke sisters pee on me, they showed me what a camera is. And I was very interested. Shit lips for 10 says money. Dog Freda 5 for 5. Thank Team you. guy Vito. Sweet baby Vito. Lying liberal, liberal Vito. Lying liberal Vito. That's a good one. <laughs> Shut up. Send that one in. Sarah Gardinier for 2 says Ahoy thar mateys. Cole Markland for 5. Hard years in the chat. Oh, that's a good one too. Dog Freda 5 for 5 is Super Baby. Can, oh, Sweet Baby Consulting on Super Are Killer. They? Is Sweet Baby Consulting? Maybe I can hire some of these guys. I already passed the diversity check, though. Why? Got a Persian. On your payroll? No, in the comic. The uh, white lady. Nah, but you got a white man. And Sam's trans. Uh, Tony for five. That's a joke. How many more pages has the artist drawn? I guess it's one. Yeah, how many more pages? Since, since when? Last, last week. Uh, three. Three? Yeah, we're doing like three pages a week. We knock them out. Okay. So how many are left? I don't know. Well, because you know they're in, uh, like some of them are have to get sent back for revisions or whatever else. Mm -hmm. So, so is it the same three that they did last week? No, it's a different three. Okay, uh, they're also revising a couple things I need for marketing purposes. Like that? Like have you the, seen the uh, Super Killer Pogs? <laughs> I did see the Pogs. Gotta knock yeah. those out. Can Guys, you play Pogs with them? Well, you can. It comes in the collector's edition, which I have. Uh, I'm pretty sure I had to decide how many collector's editions we are producing. Okay. I think we're going to do 250. I think that's a good number. Wow, okay. I think we've sold 160. So that would give me 90 to chill out on. And How long are you going to keep those? Sell at Comic Cons. Oh, uh, okay. Well, I want to bring stuff to, like, the con. I mean, I, it's going to be a hard sell to sell a $100 lunchbox at a Comic Con, but at least nah, you'll Nah, they'll move like nothing. <laughs> I think it'll be like, <laughs> shut the fuck up. I think it'll be like, you know, we do a second campaign and there's a couple left over. But it is going to be limited, so. Okay. And uh, we're also going to have, I'm going to. Is that for it, second campaign, like, issue two? Yeah. Uh, issue Ooh. two, I think, will be, I'm not completely sure, but I think it'll be shorter and therefore cheaper. Oh. I don't think, because this one's, what, 60 pages, which is pretty I long. I don't know. 60 pages is like two regular comics, which okay. is part of why, if it was, you know, 30 pages, it'd be done. But it's not, because I'm an idiot. No, I'm not an idiot. A first chapter is usually, like, uh, longer. It should have been uh, 300 pages. Yeah. You really got to get things moving, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm having a lot of fun. Obviously, I'm talking too much about it. Cypherson Suctus 
for 10. How you doing, Vito? My favorite internet guy. Well, you're there my you favorite go. internet guy. PSI Chris for two. Should have had BlackRock fun super killer. A Raleigh. What does that mean? It's the name of Raleigh. The, it's the name of the girl robot. She wears the, her name on her head? She does wear her name on her mm. head. She's a little, like, kid robot. Uh, I don't think she, I don't think there's anything uh, sexual in there. Uh, <laughs> it's Japan, man. What do you want? Uh, it's fun. It's a funny. Well, you pay. Who stop griping about the legendary manga artist Akira Toriyama? Uh, All right, Johnny Rocket for five. Vito, will SBI do one over on Super Killer? I hope not. They'll axe the Isom crossover. Yeah, you got to do the Isom crossover. I'm thinking about it. Beach Hook for five. Shirt that says, I went to bat for Sweet Baby, and all I got was this lousy, targeted, <laughs> harassment campaign. Yeah, you're getting targeted, harassed. I am getting targeted, harassed. T89 for 10. Vito, listen to Dick. Look at his <laughs> life. Look at yours. Look at yourself in the mirror. Do you like what you see? Nobody else does. <laughs> Learn from Dick or continue suffering. <laughs> That's... That's See, Eric's much. fans sent him fun comic ideas. My fans tell me that my life well, is Well, that guy sent you a fun comic idea, and you shit well, on it. So true. you get this. I guess I get a little of both. Uh, James Gartner for 20. Don't listen to the chat. The hat is cool. You do you. I mean, it's the whole chat, but don't listen. <laughs> the hat's not cool. Look, this hat is a little too It's a little too it's small. It's a little too. I only wore it because, honestly, I've been meaning to give this hat away to somebody. It's a little too small for my head, but. You're going to give it away with your, like, head stuff in it? Yeah, my, my septum cool. in there. Okay. I put on the pink shirt, and I said, and it's a Akira Toriyama shirt, and I said, I might as well wear the hat. It's like a theme. Yeah, the pink matches, too. Usually, yeah, like, matches. pink clashes because they're not the right color pink. It is the exact same pink, which is interesting. Uh, Shit Lips for two. It says, hi, Gallo. I am Jack Spleen for five. It says, team player. IRL. IRL. Yeah. See, now the hat's falling off. I'm trying to... Uh, let's see. Cody Titus for two. Vito's outfit makes him look like a pig. Oink, oink. <laughs> Don't encourage these people. That wasn't people. necessary. Righty tighty 91 for two. The hat for sure fits Vito's Riz. Riz. I am Jack Spleen for two. Vito's like Helen Keller on this. Yeah. Uh, I'm deaf, dumb, and blind to what's going on around me. I you kind of are. Mm -hmm. Okay. Lol no for two. Vito's hat is lolly shit. You can't make this up. No, it's <laughs> yeah, not. the child robot. Not lolly. Of course, if you had a child robot, you're going to make it jack you off, right? <laughs> That's obvious. I'm not saying that. Of course, you it's implied. Not be saying that. It's implied. Uh, I can say anything because I look like I do. No one would ever believe that I'm a sure, pedophile. Fair enough. <laughs> I'm just trying to pay respect to a fallen artist. Straturgury for 10. Hey, Veets, trucks me, but can I talk to Dick in a super secret language only he can understand? Can yeah. I say this and not get in trouble? Hola, yeah. Ricardo. Mucho gusto. What does this say? Comedy on this me. Comedy on this me. End of secret message. Does it mean fuck me? I don't know. I don't know. Clipsama for two British pounds. He I wanted his so. Steam account banned plus the group. I agree. It's bad. Dog Fred of five for five. You are an Evil. activist. You are doing PR for fellow <laughs> activists. But you are. Okay. Mac attack for five. If only Vito could be a team player. Not everything is a conservative conspiracy. Petty for five says that Dr. Slump hat makes you look like Dr. Plump. <laughs> I hate you, Lance Becker for two. Beat it. Vito has a big ween. Antagonist for two. Fat Boo didn't wear that shoot shirt, Vito. Wrong costume. Wrong costume, man. You messed Rocks up. Roxathonathan for 20 says, Dick is full of shiitake. He does not care about story and video games. He is only playing into Gamergate 2 since it's such an easy dunk on Vito. And unfortunately, Vito can't handle getting steamrolled. Go uh, fuck yourself. Do you, uh, do, you under do you realize that my website, Men Are Better Than Women, was before Gamergate. Mm. What do you think I was railing on in that? What do you think the point was in in all of that? Starting with that and going on Doctor Phil before all this gamer before all this Zoomer Gamergate shit. Right. It's what was called feminism at the time, but is now called intersectional feminism. Was ruining the world and culture, and you and it's become so pervasive that yeah. the effects of it are in everything. It's not. It's no longer that Doctor Phil is, you know, this this totem to, uh, um, this totem celebrating um, victimhood as mental health, but it's now everything. It's every. It's every. It's every company on the S and P five hundred. It's every company in Silicon Valley. Um, it's every ad on television. It's every media product. It's the the world has been infected and destroyed by it. 
Uh, so go fuck yourself. I was th- I was in this fight All before right. Gamergate, not before Gamergate two. I was in this I was in this staking my All reputation right. on this before the original Gamergate. I go know. fuck yourself. All right. What? All right, what? The grandpa had to walk up the internet both yes. ways in the snow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'd actually get up and go outside to make viral videos. That's true. That is true. You put in the legwork. And we <laughs> fucking full of we shit doesn't shit. care about video games. <laughs> well, maybe you're going to lead the charge in the new Maybe you can show all these whippersnappers how it's done. It yes, seems like you're going, all, you stop arguing. You're all fire, fired up. They trick you into arguing. Who does? The journalists, liberals, the liberals, feminists, they trick you into arguing your case, but they need the only thing you can, the effective tool is cruelty. That's what I've been saying for 20 years. Let's say we elect a president of Gamergate and he comes to you and he says, Dick, I want you to be my trusted advisor. Sargon? It can, it can be Sargon. Or Medicare. It's got to be one of them. Doesn't have to be one of them. It could be a new guy. Oh, nah, you need. All right, you fine. Old guy. Well, Which is it going to be? Let's pretend it's a amalgam of let me, both. Let me put a, a, a poll in chant. <laughs> who should run Gamer? Who's who is the president? Who's the king of, of ga- the president of Gamergate? Who is Gate? the president of Gamergate? All right. Well, uh, do I have, have to end own, the poll? Yeah, end the, hit end poll. What the fuck? What the fuck? You have to hit oh. end poll. What are you doing? I am. It's not working. How'd you break the? You- <laughs> because. Oh my god. It's not fucking working. All right. <laughs> uh. Now is it working? Yeah. Start a poll. Start a poll. Oh, I'm not it's even going. doing it's it. It's going. It's going. I know. There's like look. It's all slow. Oh, we got lag or something. What Hopefully is... the stream's okay. I don't know. I want to refresh this page. Yeah, you probably should. Who is? Who would you vote president for? President of Game Sargon Games? or Medicare? This is One not my. This is there. not my fight. I'm but not, you have to vote. I'm not participating in the vote. I refuse. You're not voting. I am a conscientious. Someone's voting. Then someone's to gamer game. Someone's voting on your behalf. Then and you hear the results, and which one are you hoping it is? I think. Uh, well, Medicare has aligned himself with Eric July. So, oh, he hasn't. <laughs> don't, don't buy into the, see. Don't buy into this shit. All right. Who is the president of Gamergate? I just is think Medicare doesn't Medicare? have his finger on the pulse the way other men do. I would give it to Sargon. <sighs> Give it to Sargon. I got to give it to Sargon. Medicare's just messing around. Oh, okay. I don't know. You would know better. I mean, than the, me. the problem is it's this. The, it's the Ralph issue. It's the Ralph. The Q. Ralph issue's big. The RQ has become so big. The Kino Casino has become complicated with the uh, influence of Jewish financiers, <laughs> uh, which is moving the needle in a lot of different directions. Did you see Gabe Hoffman use the open secret Twitter to call me a pedophile? You? Yeah. When? Like a week ago. Oh, you should but nobody that to me. nobody follows that account anymore, so you didn't get any traction. I got blocked uh, by that account like years ago. Yeah, it's like open secret. Said, it's like, hey, like, Vito, just well, do you want to explain on, like, these tweets? Kids. And I'm like, I thought you guys like took care of actual pedophiles. You mad at my tweets from a couple years ago? Okay, really? Yeah, I didn't know that. But it was funny because like nobody saw it because nobody like that account has like a couple hundred thousand followers, but it's like a dead account, you know. I heard the name Gabe Hoffman. I thought he was like a. Hollywood producer, but then he, I, I saw him in EVS, and I was like, "Oh, you're just like a poser." Yeah, no, you he's know. uh he's on the outside. Yeah, he's uh one of those I classic connections than you. Uh, <laughs> wants to be a storytelling Jew type situations, as we've discussed. <laughs> I could get in there. I could get in there. I see a lot of other Jewish guys in there, and it's like, yeah, but they're like talented. And you guys good ain't pedophiles, stuff. right? <laughs> uh, I got a real good juicy molested child here. You better fucking talk. You better get out there and dance for me, Pinocchio. I heard that like some. Or I'll of- rape you. I'll make your rape seem like the best thing that ever happened to you. I heard some of the people they coerced into being in that documentary were not happy about how they were portrayed. Gabe Sudam. Gabe sued the victim I think so. of the movie. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I think, think I also that heard that. Am I right? Well, let's not get it wrong because we. Oh know. my God! It's fifty-fifty. Wow. Who's the president of Gamergate? Who's See, the president of Gamergate. Medicare has the, he has the knowledge. Wow. And the, um, he's he, a biting. He's the, a bad integrity. Bite. Yeah. Uh, he's like honest Gamergate, but Sargon. Sargon has the diplomacy. He, yeah, and he wanted to. He wanted Trump to say Gamergate too, mm. and Medicare mocked him, and I mocked him as well. Because it was stupid, but now, now it it's might happening. Happen. Now it's going to happen. <sighs> so you got to give it up to Sargon for that. 
It's a lot. It's going to be a tough race. It's going to be a, it's going to be a tight race for president of Gamergate. I think we should set up a website. <laughs> Bro, it's 50-50. <laughs> we should make this the presidential. We should make a presidential election. And it doesn't just have to be these guys. We can have a debate. Why would you be the best president of Gamergate? Get a couple. Madigan would never do that. Yeah. We'd have to trick him. Yeah. We'd have to be like, okay, and we're going to bring on the other. Oh, my God. Well, maybe they call my campaign videos. Here he is. We have to trick him, but it always goes bad for you if you try to the trick him. The president of Gamergate. I'm thinking of it like a like an America's top model or what is it? No, like the the pageants. Miss thing. America. Miss America. Yes. Yeah. Beautiful. Wow. Okay. Well, 50, it's fifty fifty. Okay. So let's say an amalgam of Medicare and Sargon come to you and they oh, say they would destroy each as other. As my trusted advisor, Dick Masterson, what does Gamergate two need to do? to wrest control of this industry away from these ne'er-do-wells who are destroying our games with their forced woke agenda. Uh, what do you mean? How to save games from woke shit? Whatever you think their complaints might be. What are they trying to achieve? I think that's what they're trying to achieve, right? Yeah, try to get all these... Um, get all these... And you can't stop buying games. Well. It's like we tolerate it. <laughs> like, all right. So there's a. I, I mean, that's honestly though. That's shit. a good example though. Is like, why not just buy all this Japanese stuff where you're not getting? Because I don't want to look at little robot girls. Okay. I. The choice. You is play between, Mario. I've seen you play Mario. There's no robot girls in there. There might be. There, there the, are those little elephant girls though. And, the mm. elephant thing I didn't like. Peach elephant and Florian. I don't know what that guy's fucking deal was. <laughs> and they're like coming flowers out of their hair heads. Daisy. The toads. Daisy now. was fun. I like Daisy. Wowie zowie, she would say, and I'd go, oh, "That's fun." Oh yeah, how to how to scourge? How to get rid of the scourge? How to get rid menace. of the scourge? <sighs> I have to think about that. Well, you got time. You got time, but not enough time. You got you got to figure it out quick because this thing is hot. This gamer gate is hot, and it's gonna be like the last gamer gate where you know what happens. You gotta stop arguing. What I've I've always said this. Yeah. Stop. If liberals give you uh, the chance to argue, uh, be cruel. The argument is a trick. Arguing and evidence, all that shit is a trick to make you waste your time. If they ever ask for that shit, just deflect and be harsh and vindictive in other areas. Okay. That's the way you have to go after them. Because they never want evidence. They never want an argument. They already know that what they're doing is wrong, and no amount of evidence can convince them. They're, but they're opening themselves up. It's like rock, paper, scissors. They say, where's the evidence? You go, wham, hit them with something. So basically do what you've been doing to me for the past week. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Good advice. I'm leading by example. You are leading by example. I would say also, don't be like the last Gamergate where a bunch of guys who don't play video games show up and took all your money. I think if anybody shows up like yeah. Matt Walsh and says, I'm here to help you guys. Rejected. Go, what is the code to unlock Samus's swimsuit in the original Metroid? What is it? Uh, Justin Bailey. Oh. Yeah. I didn't know that. Okay, ask him for the Contra code. Ask him anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ask him what an Earthbound is. Yeah, that's a good idea. Ask him the name of the two weapons from Final Fantasy VII. Any of them. Oh, well, Ruby and Emerald. Oh, 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 yeah. Those weapons. Those weapons. He says Buster Sword, go, you lose. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, Goody McGoatface for five. Thank you for getting me for these 14 hour shifts in the bumfuck mountains of Arizona. You're welcome, buddy. <laughs> Tenshi for five. They don't own Quantum Break, but Lance Reddick was going to be in Quantum Break. But, 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 but cope. So Lance Reddick was not in Quantum Break? And drop the sarcasm because yeah. I don't know what's real. I don't know what's real or not. I yeah. see all kinds of references, and I don't know if it's sarcastic or not. Dumb and I don't really know. Dumb username for 10 Australians says, instead of Dick's celebrity shame pool, we need a pedo shame pool. You pick a guy who's super anti lowly and you win when he does something he accuses others of. For instance, if your pick was Vosh, you would have won the pot. There you go. That's a good one. Yeah, but the problem is they're all potential winners. <laughs> well, every single who's one. First? Who's first? Dog, Fred of five for five. Mental gymnastics don't help you lose weight, Vito. That's true. Petty for five. <laughs> Miura was killed by Bamco by means of Idol Master. The Field of Swords in Elden Ring is celebratory, not a memorial. Oh. Like the 9-11 monument in Israel. Jesus Christ. Trio dug for five. <laughs> Vito, what the fuck are you talking about? Rally was brown in the manga, too. In the anime, she's white. In Riding Bean. Riding Bean was the first... 
piece of media to feature Rally Vincent and the character of Bean Bandit, which uh, was originally who he wanted to make comics about, but he didn't own the rights to Bean Bandit, so instead he made Gunsmith Cats, and then he later got the rights back to Bean Bandit and put him in Gunsmith Cats. And that's your anime trivia for today. She was white in the anime. Okay. They made her black for the comic. Oh. Because he didn't own the rights to the white one. Uh, okay. What do you mean? Okay. It's it's perfectly. It, says, it looks the same, but it's, she's black. Yeah, but she looks pretty. Well, no, actually, I think in the also she has like long blonde hair in the anime. She looks a lot different in the. Uh, I mean, it's still an anime chick, but yeah, she looks different in the comic. Okay. Same name though, actually, because you know in Japan they fuck up R's and L's. I didn't know that. <laughs> I guess that went unsaid. But in the anime, I think her name was Larry, and in the manga, he changed her name to Rally. Rally. Because in Japan, she's it's the same. Well, no, so but in Japan, it's is pronounced. The, yeah. It's like, no, it's Rari. a different character. I changed Rari. her name, even though Rari. in Japan, they pronounce it exactly the same. So, so it okay. didn't change at all. So they just swapped it. Rari. So it's kind of a joke. Yes. You didn't mention that part. Uh, and you snuck that it's in not because a joke. of your liberal it's a, bullshit. It's a rights issue. It's a rights issue. Uh, anyway. But the black part and the flipping this. Consonants. He made them black and he changed the name because he didn't own the white one anymore. It was same a swap, thing. swap. Like, swap, it's swap. part of, yeah. It's kind of the same <laughs> thing that seems to have happened in this quantum break situation. No. Okay, Swindle for five. That original Alan Wake white lady was from an Easter egg trailer buried in the bonus content of Quantum Break. It's fucking nothing. Yeah, it also wasn't part of the game. It was Why like. Why they tweeted then? Why the guy tweeted and say this is. Who tweeted it? I don't know. The fucking guy said, here, look. Basically, if you played Quantum Break, you could unlock this video that showed, like, and here's something that might be going on in this universe with a white lady. Oh. Who later we found out was a character that was important, but it was like. I don't even care about this stupid game <laughs> because it's all de DEI shit all the time. Yeah. That's the point. All right. Daniel Gore for five. Matching Pepto shirt slash hat looks great. Beach Hook for 10. In the original script of Alan Wake 2, the white woman was supposed to burn a cross on the black woman's lawn. Sweet Baby rewrites saved the company. There, well, you, there go. you go. Pazar for two. Use creator code Pazar. Vito is for fat. <laughs> Cyberfon sucked us for five. Vito, please keep going. Never stop. Dog Fredify for five says Vito turned f being fat into a holiday. <laughs> Incredible. <laughs> I did not invent pie day. You did put eating pizzas on I pie day. Ate two slices of pizza. From 7 Eleven. Yeah, they were bad. It was a mistake. I'm not Meaning doing that it, it again. wasn't for dinner or lunch. It was just it was you were at 7 Eleven. I was at 7 Eleven because I was getting drinks to go with my lunch. Of 7 Eleven and pizza? Well, no, I had already purchased lunch. I knew it. And yeah. I, but I took that lunch and I put it in the fridge for later and I ate the pizza instead. <sighs> So I ate that for dinner. Okay. It worked out. Uh, I was going to 7-Eleven to get a drink. Cypress and Suctus. Uh, Vito, please go ape hit. Don't stop ever. Shockmouth's Mitch, who's got a great podcast. Everyone subscribe to Shockmouth's for five. Says, Vito, no eating three times. Hack the movies for five. Vito, I worked out on Pi Day, and I didn't eat garbage because I want to be alive five years from now. Well, that's the secret, Oh, good folks. for you, Tony. It's so great yeah. being oh. alive. Why don't you go make uh, another Goonies fucking takedown or whatever the fuck you make? Clap to the story for 10. Vito looks like a sexy Princess Peach with that crown on. Stratergery for five. Hey, Veets, don't be skeeved out by my previous message. Men don't say skeeve. And Camion is truck in oh. both. Oh, he said trucks me. Fantastic. The Quizzler for seven Canadian. Vito, did you laugh when Vito turned up to your house looking like a bottle of Pepto? No, I think it looks great. It's cool. It's gonna, I'm not normally do the, the pink. Matching the pink, matching is the too pink. Much, I think. Well, it's a rare, it's a rare occurrence. It's a rare occurrence. Eco Majojo for five. Vito, they sell. Should anti be more rare. Should be more. Well, it's never happened before. It's very rare. Well, it's happening now. All right, Eco Majojo for five. Vito, they sell anti-fog stuff that diverts the use of masks. It might help the perpetual fogging on your glasses oh, from the yeah. effort of talking while sitting. It's not what it is. It's that fucking air conditioner. Uh -huh. Dayman for five. Australian. They had to change Saga Anderson, but not her partner. Yeah, you don't need two black people. <laughs> you got a black guy and a white guy, or a black uh, white guy. Have you and a... read the statements by that that uh, lady that runs Sweet Baby Some Incorporated? Some of them. Yeah, you're not. It doesn't like piss you off. You don't see that she's trying to just like shove diversity everywhere. I think that. Uh... How do you feel hearing that? I just don't think it's any different from anything that's going on anywhere else, and to pay particular attention to them kind of diverts. How do you feel about anything that's going on anywhere else? It's all stupid. And that it's all stupid. 
But I think it won't last because it's not making money. Uh, so the in a government way, is involved now. Department of Homeland Security has issued. It doesn't a, matter. These companies want. It doesn't to make matter what money. the government's doing. These companies need to make money. If they don't make money, they go out of business. How do you think that making money happens at this scale? Well, as we have seen from a variety of productions that were expected to be big deal diversity projects. Mulan, an exciting uh, adventure through the Chinese landscape to get the Chinese dollar, That's did not, not work. China, it's black people. It's okay. not. It's black people, we trans got, people, gay. We and got lesbians. the Little Mermaid with a black lady. Didn't do very good. There was going to be a Blade reboot with a black lady. They're not even doing it anymore. Everything's returning to the norm. What's the norm to you? The norm is that what a guy year? shows up and he goes, oh, "What year?" Yeah. Uh, for example, the Oscar, like. The Oscars have rules on how much diversity you have to qu- have to right. qualify to be even be in it, and that'll um, that'll Hollywood has the same rules. Well, the interesting strict rules. You say strict rules, but the interesting thing is that they put out those things saying here's the rules, and then they just don't follow the rules. So you don't think you don't think uh, black people get promoted over? White I think people that in does happen. Yes. How often do you think it happens? A lot of the time. How what like in the years following but the Black Lives Matter hubbub, there was a race to hire as many black people as possible. Okay. And now they're seeing that it has not made them money, and it's gonna. Wait, 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 wait. Who has seen that it has not made them money? The studios, the the people, the bankers. I'm not gonna name what sort of a god they might follow, but I think we've seen them, and they wear a certain hat, and they go, "Hey, why do you think it hasn't made them money?" Because there's not a, really a big audience for it. But why do you think that? What are you looking at that you say, there you go, they are now seeing that they this doesn't work? Well, we've seen Disney talk about how they're going to rethink their strategy. and uh, But have they? Yeah. they've they've This year, we'll only have one Marvel release, and it will be Deadpool. That's it. All the other stuff has been taken what off the it? slate. What do you mean they only have one Marvel? There's Marvel only release. one Marvel. What does that have to do with D- DEI and diversity? Well, shit? if we're talking about reducing the amount of like on screen diversity being forced into things, that is definitely happening. And they're also. How do you, wait, wait, wait. How do you know that? Because they're just scaling back projects. And a lot of projects that would be considered woke they're, wait, are they're getting- scaling back projects. So that means it's less diversity? It means that there's less. Uh, I mean, are you, I guess what you're saying is that if there's just less projects but they're all woke, it's still the same problem, yes? I just don't know what less projects has to do with they realized nobody likes Well, they're rethinking diversity. their strategies. They're going, okay, we thought Marvel would be great if we had a black Iron Man lady and we had a Miss Marvel who's a Muslim and we had Captain Marvel leading the charge as a lady and then they're realizing, oh, this doesn't really make us money. But are they – see, you say they're realizing it, but – there's no evidence of this. There is. I mean, there's. What is it? The evidence is. Uh, what's his and name? by the way, this is just like one component of industry. The rest. I know it's a very complex topic. I'm trying it's to not give that one. Complex. But I'm trying to give one specific example and say that it extrapolates out to the rest of the industry. Uh, you know, Bob Iger's on record saying we were trying to do too much with Marvel. Okay, now he didn't specifically say too much. You know, black people and women. Well, then he's not saying it. You okay, can't just well, he's assume... not going to say that. Yeah. Well, then what does he mean? I assume that... Stop talking. Doesn't matter then. You're right. Well, it doesn't. Like, we did too much with Marvel. Yeah, you guys were making a shitload of stupid content that got boring. I just look at the projects that are coming out, and it seems like there's less of the things people were complaining about. There's less projects, too, though. There are less projects, so maybe that's rose-colored something. And then somebody makes a list, and all of journalism tries to get that guy's account deleted. I don't think that's why they... I don't think they're upset about the list. You you couldn't you weren't watching that when you were interviewing that guy, like the dead eyes that he had, like a shark. <laughs> okay. You look at that. You watch him talk, and you're like, me and that guy. I get it. Me and that guy are in different worlds. Like as I was talking to him, I went, "We're not on the same page." Okay. Same team, different page. I tried to bring up. I said, "Well, isn't it a problem that you know?" I brought up the companies that have you know. I br- I tried to bring up the Amazon uh, diversity hiring initiatives, and I said, "Well, you know, isn't it kind of weird when a company says we want thirty percent black people, thirty percent white he said people?" No. He said, "No." Yeah, yeah. So we disagree. I disagree with the guy. Stop calling me a team guy if I disagree with the fucking guy. But you're like, all right. There's the excuse. <laughs> but 
Yeah, but uh, you're a team guy. Yeah, me and that team that I hate. Beach hook for five. So dumb. I wouldn't go to jail if I tickled my neighbor's kid. Jesus Christ. I just wanted Vito to read this out loud. Thanks, Beach Hook. Thank you. Uh, did I miss this one? No. Uh, Joe H for 20. Vito, chin up, big man. I'm surprised you didn't say chins up. With all the, uh, <laughs> yeah. Great ones tonight. Definitely. You're still loved by the Vito files. Now get on the scale for that sweet, sweet mother's milk pop figure. Yeah, <laughs> get well. on the scale. Oh, well, there's no there's no 50 bucks, it's though. Maybe 50. there won't be any Vito's booty to tonight. Pirate, well, hopefully they're saving it for the end so I don't have to deal with a pirate for an hour. <laughs> Dog Friday 5 5. What video games are idiots playing where you're getting lectured with woke BS? The idea that wokeness is a major problem in games is silly. I agree because that's why. That's Even my talking tweet. about games at this all is gets my you a lecture. tweet. Shut up. Maxwell, 21 for 12. It does. Vito, it's your boy Tr Prime. Tuesday Night Grift was excellent this week. For an ex-Kotaku guy, Nathan seemed really normal. I wish YouTube had more content like that and less quartering garbage. Oh, a productive conversation. How wonderful. It was productive for your team. Vito, why didn't you read the Super Chats where I said he's a rapist and a bad man? Yeah. Because it derailed the whole fucking thing, you And idiots. you're trying to frame his, him and yourself as a reasonable person. Yeah, we're the right side. Yeah. Get on our it's team. A, it's Please a con. Get on our team. It's a con. Get my to jersey. Try to, to try to look like you're having confrontation but having none. I'm the sweet So baby. you can I am forward the, the ideas baby. of this clearly deranged Give me your individual. Candy. Rack section for five. Vito, I'll go to Hackamania with you. We can say it's Circus Circus, Heckle Carl, and work on our magazine. Hey, if you want to pay for a hotel room for me at Hackamania... <laughs> Uh, don't threaten not, him with that. He will. I'm not gonna share. I'm not gonna share a hotel room with somebody. Uh, <laughs> uh, if you want to give me my own hotel room next yeah, year, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. All these other guys, man, like people pay for Stuttering John's uh, plane ticket and his hotel and whatever else. Yeah, he's famous. Yeah, I want in on that. If you want me at Hackamania, you uh, gotta stop put this a little team money shit together. If you want that? What I? Yeah, our team sucks. Oh, this this show, look, I love you guys, but uh, you know who's got the best team? Fucking Andy Signore on Popcorn Planet, because uh, he did that thing in Vegas, and he's like, "Are you coming?" I'm like, "I don't know, I don't know if I'm like a hotel room's like a hundred bucks a night or whatever." And some, but one of his like fans just paid for me to have a hotel room. Where's that love? The things Where's you, that the love? The things you say. Meanwhile, my fans go, "I'm gonna buy an eight dollar Mother's Milk Pop figure and send it in. I'm gonna buy a five dollar super chat to book. call Where Vito Fed." You're right. They did help with the comic. <laughs> So. Help! <laughs> and that's man. How, and how amazing that would be if if Superkiller was out right now. I know there'd be a lot more to discuss, but you know it'd what? Be great! It'd be a big win. Well, you can't always win them all. <laughs> I think uh, I think my wins are coming. LJ Clubberino for five in June eighth, nineteen sixty seven. Israel didn't do anything. Interesting piece liberty, of history. The liberty and Milo Stinkopoulos yeah. for two. British Pound says free Palestine. Steve Ology for seven Canadians says Canadian camper. I bought a rooftop tent and an $18 yearly camping pass. I can camp anywhere in the province with no issue. USA needs to figure camping out. Too bad we're not near the border. Camping in Canada sounds like it'd be fun. Doc Fred of five for five says Canada will be annexed. Got for two. The Death Stranding 2 trailer is 10 minutes, and it's awesome. Oh. Well, not, again, it's not a trailer. Darius Ryan Akovacus for five. Just because Vito's magazine is a theoretical, con theoretical concept doesn't make it any less retarded. Pigeon yeah, the Ripazine. If you didn't see that and say, oh, fuck, then there's <laughs> very no different. helping you. They're very exactly. Different. Yours is worse. Mine is not worse. Mine's cool. You what saw the, no the, the mock-up, right? Yours? Yeah. Yeah, Scum. Scum Magazine. It's a cool name. Oh, man. What do you want to call it? Trash. That's a good name, too. Yeah. Trash Un magazine. Unreadable. Call it that. Unreadable. Hey, that's a good uh, name, call too. Call it uh, uh, Grift. <laughs> I thought about calling it Grift. Call it, I call uh, my show Grift. Call it Capitalizing on Other People's Audiences. Uh, that's a little too That'd long. That'd be a little too long. Can you Capitalizing on, Capitalizing on other, other audiences. People's. Coop. Koopa. Capitalizing on other people. Coop. Coop, yeah. There you go. Pigeon for five. That trailer is spooky. <laughs> <laughs> Sam Thomas for three. It's got a bit of a spooky vibe to it. Vito minus super killer equals George R. R. Martin minus winds of winter. Petty for five. Adopt or die. Pro adoption messaging would seem Christian from anyone other than the Saskas. Psycho Crusher 69 for 20 says it's easier to understand what Ricky Retardo is, is saying than Yaira. <laughs> John Doe for five. Vito stole my five bucks. This one's for you, Richard. Get a job, Krim. Thank you. Kara Fro for two. Says Eric July ripped off Hancock. Yolanda Thinkelstein for five. Says Solari! Save us! 
Where's Solari? Doc Fredify for five. Never get a job, Krim. Johnny Rico for five. Vito, has your scrambled egg technique improved from 12 years ago? Are you still mixing it in water? Is that some Italian thing that was awful to watch? What I do. That? Well, I made my uh, famous breakfast time video where I show you how to prepare breakfast. Oh. Uh, shirtless. Ooh. I make an entire breakfast meal. And uh, at the time, the prevailing wisdom, at least as I understood it, was the, to add a small amount of water to your scrambled egg mixture, which will then create oh. steam and create a fluffier egg. Oh, huh. I think it works. I always add milk. Yeah, see, I mentioned Same in the thing. video that if you add milk, you're an idiot. Oh, why? And it doesn't steam as well, but you can steam milk. It probably works just the same. I don't know. You just throw it in there. Either way, a little bit of steam, I think, uh, gives you some fluffy. Although you watch, then you watch like Gordon Ramsay make it. You ever see how he makes it? It's just like, no. All crazy. And you're like, wait, that's how you got to do it? He's like, yeah, just fucking. Yeah, yeah. And you're like, okay, cool. Uh, anyway, Dean Shock for five. In the making of video, the Yaira actress speaks in a normal voice. So that's an incons- Yeah, it's just like a regular. Oh, lady. yeah, we know it's a fake accent. <laughs> yeah, we couldn't figure that out. Don't worry. Well, the top. Was that, were you trying to punch me? Death blow, it's death blow. You took that shot like a chomp. You took that shot, adopt or die. That's a really, like, uh, that's a big ask. It's actually, it's um, it's a shitty move. If the Sasuke sisters asked their friend to do that, yeah. that's a shitty setup. They should friend. have just said, you know what, the accent's not working and no one's going to care. So just or hire an actress. You don't ask. You don't ask your friend to be in a movie and make her do like. Is that something her? Their friend? Yeah, it's their friend. She's really built, though. They know like a built bodybuilder body lady. Bodybuilders okay. are crazy. I'm sure they're in the same circle. Just redub it, or uh, just have her talk normal. Just just go on set. Go. Wow, these lines fucking suck. Yeah, it's a real. It's a really shitty thing to do to a friend. You know what? It part of the problem is though is Eric has that like dedication to. Uh, Anything that is live action or cartoon has to be a one to one relation to the comic. Nothing can change at all. Yeah. He said that specifically, so he's probably like, "No, she can't talk normal because Yaira doesn't talk normal." And it's like, "Well, it sounds like shit." And it's like, "Doesn't is she matter." Supposed to be Thor. She's supposed to be Lady Thor. She's Lady but Thor. everyone hated Lady Thor. Yeah. Whew, okay. And he said everything's going to be one to one of the comics. And Lincoln Eusebio in the comics is not a little twink kid in a fucking cowboy hat. That's not. <laughs> Is a big buff dude who punched Darren out. He's Abraham Lincoln. He's Abraham he looks, Lincoln. He is obviously a clone of him. Yeah. I still, that's your theory. Harv uh, Prentice for five says the Sasuke sisters wrote Deadpool XXX. Is that true? This trailer looks like a similar parody. Would have been way better if Yaira showed. Booba. Yes. Two Socks Calzini for five. Hey guys, it's nice. They specified Ice Can't Fly right at the start of the trailer for the haters. I believe that is a line from the comic, as implausible as it sounds. Pineapple Man for five. There are two things I love in this world, Adderall and Neopets. Shout out to Bag of Schmidt. Chud Bronson for a huge 30 Canadian. Oh. Says I, which, what is 30 Canadian? 20 bucks. Oh, it's less? Yeah. Okay. I quit my job Wednesday, so now I won't miss the live episode, and I will be here each week. This is my third time giving money. I am Vito Oink Oink. <laughs> Why don't you guys give Dick some shit to read? Why don't you do a super chat? You say Dick has to read this one. Yeah, sure. And then he put can mine, say something put stupid. My name colon. So say you can fit I'm it in, Dick and I'm fucks. a disgusting alcoholic. You know, and pay twenty bucks for that. Tommy Salami for two. The perfect adjective for that hat rhymes with hay. Lame. Well, I was trying to think if there was a joke there. The God of Sleep for 10. Oh, man. I wish we could say the F slur. I know, but we can't. You got to get one, man. I got to have one in me. Well, you did get one, and then we had to take the whole episode down. God of Sleep for 10. I saw him just sawn at you with a bigger budget. Yes, it, it is. is. It really is. I know. It's impossible to look away. You got it, Father. You Let me go can't. crash on this car. Oh, no. Stop following me. Geeks for five. Yaira's accent is fake. We hear her. No- yeah, we know. Clipsama for five. If they think what Katie did is bad. Wait till they find out what I'm into. Uh-oh. They're going to uncover Clipsama. I can't believe what they're doing to Katie did. Dude, I can't believe they think that's she above board. <laughs> Guys, you can say anything you want about me. Don't go at some like little lady who's just trying to have fun on the internet and call her a dog fucker. That's really not cool. I saw Yellow Flash called me a pedophile and says that if he sees me at a convention, he's going to try and fight me. Oh, yeah. yeah. I saw that. What a okay. tough guy. So if anyone can give me a list of every convention Yellow Flash is going to be at. <laughs> uh, Pull up. Yeah. Please, if you see that Yellow Flash is going to be at a convention, <laughs> yeah, yeah, please yeah. let me know because I'll just show up. With his little hook nose. And I'll show up with my camera and I'll go, hey, Flash, 
You want to fight? You want to fight? You want to fight? Are we going to fight? You said if you saw me at a con. He seems like the kind of guy who's like terrified. He has so low IQ and such poor emotional regulation yeah. that he will just like amp. He's like obviously never been in any kind of confrontation no. before. Uh, well, amp himself like he gets really amped up and crazy. Um, that'd be hilarious. Well, I'm looking forward again. If anyone ever stumbles across Yellow Flash's convention, He's six schedule, feet tall. He is six foot. I think you're bigger than him, though. I mean, I'm definitely. I think you're bigger. I got like, the meat. Skeletal I'm structure. a I'm a wider guy. Yeah, you're I'm a, a wider guy. You are fat, but you're a big guy also. Yeah. Um, I think it would be fun. That'd be fun. Now we can we can fight on the streets and fight in the layer of comics. I'm very excited for your gay Power Rangers thing. You can make it behind the scenes. Yeah, let's make a behind the scenes. Maybe Eric if can make a little send. trailer. Maybe you can get the fucking Piss Sisters to make a fucking trailer for your. Maybe goddamn... you guys could tag team the Piss. Yeah, take one each. <laughs> hey Eric, we're fucking the Piss Sisters. Oh boy, buy my gumper for ten. Cut chair. Eric, yeah, in the sit, corner. Yeah, you can watch. Hey, he's yellow flash. And he loves the yellow. Bomb a gumper for 10. Eric is nothing but woke to the core. He's wearing a card heart sweatshirt. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's right. Who made their workers get the jab. TBF. Yes. He needs to swap signs in the aisle. LJ Clabarino for five. Biggest problem is sneezing while you're eating. Food shrapnel everywhere. People look at you with disgust. It's true. Didn't I do something like that on this show? I think I had like. I sneezed or something. It was you gross. might have. G Dash for 10. Dick, I always love you for forcing Eric July to send EBS a night letter leading to trash cast. Yeah, um, and don't forget, Driver's killing it. Don't forget to thank Tony from Hack the Movies for forcing all of this drama with his wily Italian sneaky ways. <laughs> Coach Cake for ten. I'm smoking Mesopotamian Stanley Cup triple award winning Soul Bleeder Taint Blaster JD Power Associates Jingleberry Zaza. We smoking that IBM, IBM quantum, quantum computer, computer, man. Smoking that computer. Yeah. Beautiful. Kara Fro for five. You'd already still open to commissioning an original art piece slash drawing for $50. Oh, yeah, there you go. You said you'd do that. Yeah. you draw original art Give piece. Give me 50 bucks, uh, Super Chat, and we'll try to bang out a sketch for you. And we'll mail it to you, too. Dog Fredify for five. Vito Files confirmed mentally ill. Shit Lips for five. Voicemail guy is kind of right. The fighting bits should be shorter. They're not all that. F Blame it on Dick. That's all Dick's fault. <laughs> what did I just I ask a fight. simple question? I don't fight. I'm just here to have fun. I just asked a question. And make jokes and comedy. <laughs> And Dick goes, wow. All I did was ask a question. What did you want that? What did you think you were getting out of that interview? Very maddox -y behavior, I think. Coach Cake for 10. <laughs> Ops was talking crazy. Shot him in the mouth. My Odmer's Piggot worth the GDP of Yemen. If this watch breaks, the foreign exchange market will take a 28% hit. People will die. Tool chest ah. for five. The fighting should be longer. Dr. Tell go. for 10. Greetings from the ministry. Sorry, Eric July stole your mi uh, magazine idea, Vito. Come up with an idea for a video game next, please, so he'll steal it and waste even more money. Yeah, what other like ideas do you have? Dumbass. I got a lot of ideas. <laughs> got a lot of ideas. Uh, let's see. Oh, wow. Ooh, there's a lot of these. There's a lot of these. A lot of these. Okay. Ditch Melon Aficionado for two. Vito Exfoliate Your Scalp. Vico Michael Winning for two. Vito's Graph is in reverse chronological order. On the John for five Canadian. Don't listen to those guys. There should be more fighting, only fighting. I only want fighting on this show. Yeah. Fuck jokes, only yelling all the time. Yeah, that's correct. Suit Yourself, who's having a, a lot of fun with this Eric July stuff. Uh, for five Australian, I fixed the Ira trailer. It's one minute. It's in your DMs. If you want to check no, it I've out, no, I've seen I've seen that fixed version. It's good. Sarah Gardner, oh, check it out on Suit Yourself's channel. Sarah Gardiner for two Australian fight, 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 fight. Trio Doug for five USD. Richard's such a team guy. He's pretending a hot woman in a bikini is bad. Veto stock increases. Game still sucks though. Oh, is that Final Fantasy? Yeah. Yeah, cause what? Like if they're wearing their like if they're wearing their uniform. Mm -hmm. Like, the character mm -hmm. has this uniform that they wear. Yes. You know, like Tifa's outfit right. or Aaron's outfit. Sure. Then it's it becomes this just idea in your head. And they're fighting. Like, it, it becomes, like, metaphysical when they're fighting. But when you put them in a bikini, I'm just thinking, like, this is, like, this feels way too vul vulnerable. It's like you're opening you a pickle jar naked. Open. Like, yeah, yeah, like, I don't want to see this. This is uncomfortable. I don't want to be, like, cloud fighting in board shorts. Right. It's out of place. It's not It's not right. There's, it's very uncomfortable. It'd be like watching someone take a shit. Like, I don't I don't need to see this. I think, the, the, I think the leap from little polygon guys with block hands, little Lego-looking guys, to yeah. full 3D models. But gonna... they didn't fight in bikinis in the original game. 
They just walked around at the resort. Barrett had a sailor suit, and I don't remember what everyone else was wearing. But they wearing. didn't fight in it. When they ever were, they were fighting, it was normal. Okay. Yeah, because they, they didn't want to change their battle outfits. Yeah. I don't know. I haven't gotten to that part yet, so That's I have no bad. opinion. Coach Cake for five. My Ducati leather trench coat, bright red. I look like 10 million crawd dads fucking. Jake Hedberg for 10. Hey, Vito, have you ever wanted to be voice acting on a cartoon show such as to be on to be on Fairly Odd Parents? That doesn't work. I used to watch it on. <laughs> you really fucking Just say it. My tube TV that I nicknamed Tubi. I watched Tubi. To be far, that doesn't count too much. Yeah, good one. Yeah, good watching to be far. Uh, I'll give it to him. Why not? What? Give him. Just hit the button. But you didn't say it. To be fair. Oh. Uh, he doesn't even have a queued so up. Long. He doesn't even have a queued up. Shit. I suck cocks. No, there yeah, there it is. I everybody forgot was, it was I sucks cocks. Everybody's taking time to shit on me this episode. Might as well give them a little. No one's shitting on you. There's a little bit of shit. There's been a lot of fat oh cracks. Oh, my God. Vito's wearing pink. Oh, like a pink boy. Look like at the I'm choices fa- you made. You <laughs> showed up like a ham. <laughs> I like it. I would think Vegas for 10. It's fine, Vito. The anti-woke army has gained too much power from Gamergate. You've got to be fair. Yes. Okay. Antagonist for two. Don't forget to play my song today at the end. We should play his song. It's been a while. Euthanasia enthusiast for 7 Canadian. I'm pretty sure Eric is on the fetal alcohol spectrum. Oh, that could be true. <laughs> Shit lips for two. Eric is a <laughs> N-N-N-N-N-N not very good filmmaker. You need to say all the ends. Well, I wanted to really not let people very, know. Yeah. Big boss for two. Vito's cat is lost forever. <laughs> Trio Doug for five. They show Ariel shirtless all the time. I don't know. I never read Dr. Slump. I bought this hat at a thrift store. Elon Bust for 10. Wait, that would be, that's probably important. If you're wearing a hat, it's like a, it's still a Kira, little Toriyama. girl. It's Toriyama. Dragon Ball had lolly uh, shit in it. Dragon well, Ball had like uh, little girls and whatever. Yeah. And Dragon Ball gets a pass. Elon Buster 10 says, Vito, stop fucking around with Pogs and finish the comic book. Oh, I have to make the Pogs. They're part of the thing. Mr. <laughs> Dimes for five. Dick should do more streams with Mr. Girl. It's the closest to therapy he's going to get. Is that you or Mr. Girl's getting therapy? <laughs> Because you both need it. What is the yeah? What is the benefit that you think I got out of that <laughs> therapy? Know. Like, what was the what was, was a, the outcome of that? To it's you? a meeting of the minds. David Gomez for two says oink with a picture of a pig. <laughs> Reb for five. Shut up. Reb for five. Chat. Conspiracy is the magic word spread around by team guys, which is the yep. signal for them to disagree with everything regarding yep. the topic on yep, hand. Yep, totally. World Wide Web Wizard says nice Pepto Bismol. Get up, Lardo. <laughs> Jay Thompson. <laughs> For two. This is Eric's fans see him waste money and still donate. They, they love it. They love they watching love, him They would be upset away. if he kept money. Right. They love that he's just wasting it on shit. I don't know how he's not going out of bed. Like, it's like at some point, if he ever doesn't make, if he ever makes less than a million dollars, he's fucked. Clips it's the same yeah. 7,000 or 6,000 people. the same 6,000 people buying the comic. Paying, and they're paying but they're a paying bit more. more every time. Yeah. Uh, I, I don't know if you saw this. Remember when he did the signed graded comics the first time? Yeah. He said $125. That's a reasonable price. It's a little elevated, but okay, it's a signed comic for me. Now it's $150. What changed? His fucking trading cards are 75 bucks. Yeah. For 12 trading cards. And the trading cards that were part of the first campaign, and he said would never be reprinted, keep showing up in every <laughs> campaign. And he keeps going, oh, I guess we just it's found so some. Weird. We found some in the warehouse. And don't yeah. you, like, at some point, don't your customers who bought your limited edition thing that was only available for a limited time go, well, that's kind of shitty. I feel like I got rope doped here. No, they it. never do. No, because they love giving this man money. They love it. He could sell his dog crap in a box, and they would go, yes, sir, yes, master, He should please. have, and he shouldn't have had a warehouse. Yeah. He should have just pocketed all the money. He'd have seven million bucks right now. Man, you're so Instead right. nothing. So that was what was always. He's always bragging about how he's not taking any money. Yeah, he's just giving it to his friends and giving it to a landlord. That's what's always been the most infuriating part. Is I go, oh no, Eric has a very good grift going, and it's funny that he's taking all these people's money. But if he throws it all away, I mean that's funny. Also, yeah, yeah, that's also really funny. But it's you're just jealous. Why I. Keep all my money. Yeah, I don't like, have any warehouse. When Eric says, "Well, I've basically broken even," you're like, "Well, I'm not jealous of that. I, yeah. I like the money that I'm in. Put uh. it in the bank." Doc Fredify for five says, "Alt right, what's that? Some kind of indie bookstore." Clip on for two. Nah, blah, brah. That's some Ohio Asha dog. El Riz. 
LJ Clabarino for two. Vito more like libido. Keep slaying, King. Jay Thompson for two. I can't believe Sid in Final Fantasy VII is younger than me now. You're old, man. Did you see someone tried to correct my problem on Final Fantasy where they're like, no, they have old people in the game. Like, Sid. I said, go look up how old Sid is. And they're like, yeah. oh, my God. <laughs> oh, I'm older than Sid. That was old when I was, yeah. you know, When 16. I was a kid, I'm like, man, I hope I'm never 32. Whimsy for it's five. Me smoke all this Sid talk. The lady screaming in the trailer is one of the Sasuke sisters. Wow, they disguised her very oh, well. Wow, uh, I did not recognize her. Mister Cool Ice for ten. Vito, that is the type of nibba to buy a Seven Eleven pizza, eat the whole thing, and say it wasn't. <laughs> like it. I didn't eat the whole thing. I ate two you slices. Did. No, I didn't. Two slices. How two many slices. were there? Eight slices. Eight slice pizza. You ate the. Whole, you bought the whole pizza. You had. That was the deal. It was three dollars for a pizza. Well, probably if I bought the slices, it would be more expensive. Oh, my God. I only ate a little bit of it, and I said it's gross, oh and I threw it out. Oh, my God. You're right. I'm sorry. I ate two oh slices of pizza. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Verse for 10. Gamergate president is Medicare. Vice president is Sargon. Advisor is Dick. Fat is Vito. Okay. David Gomez for two. Air conditioner is defog. Fat is like Vito. Like in a That's car. The... Fat brain. Yeah, you got there late, huh? Ditch Melon aficionado for five. Dick keeps the AC pointed at Vito because his head grease smells like old Hormel <laughs> summer sausage forgotten on the counter. That's some tube beef air conditioning. Yeah, you yeah, said give it. Give it to him. Why not? Oops. That was at least I'm clever. A, I suck. That was clever. Yeah, it was. A tube of beef. Verse for 50 says it's time oh, for treasure. Yes. <laughs> ah, I have to get through these before the pirate show. You had the coat here already around you? Stop. So pleased with yourself. There you go. All mm. right. All right. How does it look? Looks great. Oh, uh, <laughs> I am pleased with myself. Ye be right. Oh, my God. But you know what already. I'm not pleased with? Where's my sword? It's starting already. Where's your sword, Captain? Ye Bay? running a screen for the... Uh, <laughs> The journalists for the... The uh, journalists. The and the liberals. Of Gamergate. <laughs> What is this? You don't, you know, you don't gotta Vito. do a whole you can just get through this like quick. We can just go. When I be a pirate, oh, I be piratin. I don't be thinking about maybe one day I'll be a games journalist. Right. I be piratin and scallywagging. Sure. And drinking. And <laughs> you've definitely been drinking. Whoring. You've definitely been drinking. I don't be saying how can I cash how can I fucking make make it possible that I'm getting into games journalism? I'm not trying to get into games journalism. Oh. Is that what you're accusing me of? Well then why are you acting like this? I'm it not, doesn't make any I'm sense. I'm not acting like anything. I just <laughs> want to clarify bad information so we can talk about good information. <laughs> well the good okay. information is that it makes no sense what you're saying. Just if you accuse them of making the characters black when they didn't actually make the characters black, that's stupid. Let's just talk about what they actually Who's did. Who's they that they did? I don't know. Why don't did they know. make Aragorn black, Vito? Because why? Because Magic the Gathering hires a bunch of gay kids to make magic. Why do they hire gay kids and diversity? Because everyone who works stuff. there is already gay. It's why all do they hire all these them people? The why is that, Vito? Because I've met the people by magic cards, and they're all weird nerds, and they all uh furries no wrong and incorrect. Bullshit. They're not all weird. They don't. They're not salivating to play a. Bunch Most of, of the people shit. playing Magic the Gathering who I have met are a bunch of weirdo, frou-frou, fucking theater kids. Oh, okay. So they need, what, a bunch of trans uh, black people to make their games There's for them. that guy. You've seen that guy, that Gavin guy who's making the games. He's great. He's just a little gay kid. He's oh. hanging out. I don't know if he's gay. <laughs> wow. He that's acts. a very <laughs> offensive <laughs> thing to say then, I'm saying Vito. in spirit. Walk the gay plank. I'm not saying you're it's bad to be the, gay, but he has a gay way about him. You're when he wearing talks about the Barbie cards. wardrobe, and you're calling well, other men gay. <laughs> I'm saying. I think it's a bunch of, you know, frou-frou liberal bullshit. They fired Therese Nielsen. What if Gamergate happens a third time? It's still Great. just a crazy keep conspiracy then. Keep going nuts. The first Gar. Gamergate was a bad conspiracy. Oh! <laughs> okay. 
Okay. You should have told that guy you were interviewing that while you were sucking him off. You I should have. Oh, by the way, I really think I'm a big guy. Okay? The whole thing was about whether or not a bunch of journalists were friends with that one lady and promoted her. Zoe dumb. Quinn, say her name, right. Vito. Okay, so she made a dumb she game. She fucked them and sucked their cucks. Oh, let I'm, me get some oh sea shanty I music. I do not want to be on camera. She for... fucked them and no, sucked them and no, 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 sucked no, down no, their no, cum. No, 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 no. What? I don't want to relitigate all that, okay? Sea shanty music. Why? <laughs> Why don't you want to relitigate it? Because I just, it's not relevant. It doesn't matter. Uh, it's not important. Sea shanty background Dude, was a music. Ship. One lady they black make, that shit up too. One dumb lady uh, making uh, text adventure games. It's not important. It's it has it does not matter. Oh, Zoe Quinn fucked them and sucked their cocks and blew them. I'm never getting Ethan Grayson back on the show again. I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> what, what are you gonna ask him this time? I don't so know. what's how how long should Trump be in prison? Ten years or a hundred million years right. or infinity plus one years? Sure, why not? Ethan, you know me and you are real smart guys. You're in video games. I'm in video games. You said I'm a writer when you interviewed that guy. Do you remember that? I said as a writer. I didn't say I'm a writer. <laughs> as a writer. Did I say as a writer? Nathan, I'm a writer too. Why is that? It. Nathan, I, me and I you. I am a writer. I do you're write. We're both writers. We're both in no, video I games. Didn't say, well, he's a writer. I wasn't saying it for that reason, but I'm saying... And we're both huge liberal activists. I was commenting on how writing to, works. Nathan, you and I both want to see white men killed and thrown in the brig. I don't want right? to see white men killed. That's not a thing. All I want to see is blue hair dyed as far as the eye can see like I the beautiful ocean. There's nothing wrong with that. And white men imprisoned. Or at least not having the jobs. Hey, that they if need. all the white men are in prison, maybe I can score some babes. Because I'll be one of the good ones, right? What is? What is? You got a guy with a mandolin playing? It's a, a sea shanty. He's can playing you put this against, on the screen real quick? No, <laughs> he's playing against <laughs> DEI bullshit that you support and love. Do you really need this? Do you really need any of this? Oh, oh. oh. I once knew a lady named Zoe Quinn. No. She fucked them all and then fucked back again. They gave her a good review for her game. And then I defended them because I'm lame. I'm Vito, a big team guy. <laughs> <laughs> I am smarter than you and I. <laughs> Excellent rendition, Dick. <laughs> Captain Dick, everyone. Okay, what's next? Uh, okay. On the Jesus time Christ. for treasure, it's be on the John for ten Canadian. I think the only way we'll win Gamergate two is if I set myself on fire outside of Sweet Baby Incorporated. And I think that. Oh, right, you should do that. Jose M for two. The woman yelling. All right, it is a Sasuke. It's a Sasuke twin yelling. Solari, Solari on the John for two. Go woke, go broke. Doc, yep. Fred of five for five. Vito, I'm the guy who the, stole your cat. The Yara trailer was better than your interview of that Nathan guy. Oh, why is this on the screen still? That. There it is. Where am I? Oh, I'm off screen. Uh, let's see here. You're spilling out into the side. Okay, okay. Go up. Uh, Go up, up, up. Uh, draw some lolly. Dog Fry <laughs> Fire says draw some lolly. <laughs> I think that defeats you the said spirit. You said you would try it. I think that defeats the spirit of the agreement. Try it. You said you would try it. <laughs> Well, hold on. Hold on. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Here's the thing. Oh, you fucking are welching out. You I'm not have welching. Put stipulations. Okay. You should have put stipulations on it, Vito. This is the pirate code you're living by. Okay, but here's, here you go. Here's you want the, some markers or? Will you shut up? Do you want Look, some brand new fresh Lolly markers? Lolly does not have to be pornography. Lolly just means a young anime uh, figure. Well, why don't you show us then? I how, will try. Well, let's see. All right. Let's see. Are you gonna? Are you gonna watch me the whole time? Yeah, why, I am. Why don't you read the super chats? I just want to describe what's happening. Oh, Vito started with the pussy. Uh, probably he's drawing I'm not drawing the tiny, pussy. He's drawing a 12-year-old girl's uh, area. A uh, sacred private maidenhood area. Now he's drawing a squid. And the squid's climbing in. Yeah. Approaching her from the back. Ah, uh, oh, this is... I've seen some dirty stuff here. But guys. this is the dirtiest... This is the dirtiest drawing I've ever seen. And I'm seeing it live. I can't believe it. I probably, can't believe what I'm seeing. Bad idea. Very pornographic. Worse than the dog fucking stuff that Katie did was watching. 
Oh my god. I'm going to have to burn this paper. This is not Lolly. This doesn't even look like I don't this know. This is the lolliest thing. How old do you think that girl is? I don't know. 3 or 4? Possibly that you're drawing. Well, I'm not I'm not I don't normally draw. Her expression is one of a much older woman. <laughs> even though the body, the sinful body that you've given her right. is much uh... younger, very very perverse. Oh no, you shouldn't have started with the face. You should have started with the body. Oh god, that looks terrible. Hold on. I got to fix this. This is remember when you said you were an artist? <laughs> no, and I was saying I don't really think so. Well, I saw Ethan Van Skyver draw Batman and I thought, "Oh, you're fucking up." But then by the end, it was like it was amazing. Every stroke was uh premeditated and thought out and based on years of experience. Uh, that's the opposite that I feel looking at you drawing this right now. You've given her overalls like Chucky. Oh, <laughs> Faith and Begora. Well, I'm oh, trying to make my, it like look like a kid. My cock is turning inside out. Oh, no. Whatever. I have no oh, fucking God, idea. Oh, God, you gave her little tiny legs, too? <laughs> oh, no. There. Fuck she it. looks like Ricky Berwick. She kind of uh, does. Uh, she <laughs> says tiny hands. Her arms only go down to her waist because of the... Poor craftsman, child. the she's poor a, uh, ability of the of the quote unquote artist. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Vito is trying. Now draw the pussy like I you want to. Draw the pussy. You got to draw the pussy that. on there. How old is she? This is terrible. How old is she this. though? We got to take a picture of it I'll at hold, least. I'll hold it up. Is that my? Can we see this? There, we've made a child. Ah! There you go. <laughs> I don't know what I was doing here. <laughs> there you go. There's some lolly for you. Oh. There you go. Oh. I did a very bad job. Oh, look! I would, very bad more, I would need more. I would need more I've never pornography of children. I don't draw children, so I don't know how to draw them. Okay, I, that's not. I don't thing. draw children. I only rape them. No, that's not what. It is. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Everyone, working with down. limited uh, tools here. Talent. Know? Limited talent. Yes. I would need more time to plan it out. I got to jack off between every line. No, that I draw. no. Rev for two. Vito would destroy yellow flashlight. Fantastic. Yellow flashlights. Oh, <laughs> that'd be a good one. Kara Fro for 50 says, I want my original commission piece, Vito. I have an idea request. All right, yeah, send me a DM. I'll draw you some. Well, you got to have it ready, Kara. You can't just. Well, she wants it in between shows, <laughs> I guess. Oh. She wants a secret commission. Oh, okay. Probably of a dog. Will it be better than this? All right, look. I just, I just threw it together real quick. It's not good. Don't take a picture. Why is of it. the <laughs> Why is the tongue out so suggestive? Well, I was gonna like fuck around and make it like you know suggestive, but then I'm like, ah, eh, then I'm gonna get in trouble. So I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, you know what? I don't know what I'm doing here. It's cute. It's cute. She's got her tongue hanging out. There you go. Uh, uh why did Vito draw this? Because <laughs> they made me. <laughs> uh, Jack Onisand for two Canadians says, play Guilty Gear Exert Rev 2. I want to. Doc Fredify for five says, pig, pig, and pig <laughs> snout. Darius Reinakovagas for five says, we love you, Vito. Oink, 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 oink. On the John for two. How big were those two slices? They weren't that big. Uh, Doc Friday five for five. Is it true you dated a trans woman briefly? briefly. He's talked about it. I mean, yeah. dating. I don't know if you'd call it dating. We went on a couple All right, of dates. it's time for Vito's booty. We went on a couple oh, dates. What's the game where we smash all the toys? Doing the song again. Of a man who draws pictures of little boys. <laughs> What's in the box? You know you want it. So get on the scale or I smash it to shit. You're multiple boxes now. I do not have multiple boxes. I only have the one box. Okay. What's it going to be? Vito, you're well, gonna get on the scale tonight or not? Hold on, you're gonna knock your. You're gonna beard. destroy it, or you're gonna destroy this. I know how it works. Everyone knows how it works. Thing. You don't are have to like gonna, do a spiel. Are you gonna? What are you gonna do here? Don't do the. What drum are you roll. gonna do? Can here? We talk about do five or for six a second. Times. You gotta either get up there or not. So so far, I have received <laughs> yeah. from this game, yeah, a mother's milk figure. <laughs> Well, the same mother's milk figure. Well, that's a good treasure. Another mother's milk figure. Yes. A Final Fantasy button. It is a good one. 
A mother's milk figure containing a Gaia's cradle, which has later been determined to be fake. <laughs> did you? What did you do with that? Uh, it's at my house. Are you going to try to sell it? No. Well, then bring it in. Okay. So I'll, we can rip it. Okay, I'll bring it in. So we, we can, can rip it. We can prove that it's fake. It is fake. We can prove it, though. Okay, if people need proof. I've they looked at it proof. through the microscope. I mean, it's kind of cool that it's fake. It's interesting to look at. I don't know. I guess not okay. that cool. And then there was a mother's milk figure that we smashed. Right. Right. What's it going to be? So I've received one good prize. <laughs> That's a great prize. What do you mean it's a great prize? What's the a Final great Fantasy prize? thing. It's good. One great prize. All of those are good prizes. All of them are the good prizes. The Mother's Milks are all good prizes. Okay. Kids would love it. Kids love Mother's Milk. <laughs> Kids love Mother's Milk? Yes. Uh, I feel like uh, maybe. What's it going to be, Vito? Maybe after this fight that, you know, you just uh, shit on me for a whole episode and uh, let all the fans <laughs> oh, the victim. call me a team guy. Yeah. Maybe everybody in the audience is saying, oh, Vito's taking a lot of hurt here, and I feel like Vito deserves something good, and I think the audience, if I didn't get something good, they would be mad. They'd be like, oh, that, that's just mean of that awful pirate dick there. So what's it going to be? Well, I guess I'll uh, hope okay. that I am rewarded. All right, he's getting on the scale, everyone. Weight loss is obviously not its own reward because you're not losing any weight. No, I'm not. <laughs> I know I'm not. And, uh, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> okay, here we go. Last time you weighed yourself, you were 291. Oh, <laughs> you know, you got a 295.5. Nice. 295.5. You got to listen. <laughs> Let me tell you a story. Don't tell me a story. I don't care. <laughs> so. None of this matters. Once. I actually totally agree with you. Okay. With everything you said that you'd need a reward. But I'm not going to get one. Well, here. Here's what's in the box. But the thing is. The, the thing is what? The reward wouldn't fit in the box. I was going to give you something good. But it. The box. <laughs> what do you mean the, the box was, was too the small? Box. I was gonna give you something really good, but the box was too small, so it so wouldn't what? fit. So it wouldn't fit. It would have been like this, and then you would have known. So I had to give you another mother. No, <laughs> you could also just give me the thing. No, I can't. Fit. What are you fucking <laughs> talking about? I had something good for you, but when so I so put a thing in there that says there's something good. Well, but that's not really. You don't have to put a mother's milk in. I did though because the the good thing wouldn't fit. It was like this, so I need to get it a bigger box. Well, that's your fault. <laughs> I know. I'm saying. I'm saying. I'm sorry. But so still. why didn't you put something small in there that's good? And no, that's too good. You needed something sort of good. I have not gotten anything good. I got one good thing. I don't want excuses about why I have to keep getting mother's milk. <laughs> I agreed with you. I agreed with you that you deserve something good. But when I put it in there, that's not the a good reason. The lid wouldn't to just close. Put another fucking mother's the milk in there. Close. I don't care. Well, it would look dumb. <laughs> <laughs> I even told my girlfriend, I'm like, yeah, he deserves something good for all the shit she's saying. She's like, I know. I know, but. <laughs> but it wouldn't fit. What if instead of giving him something good. <laughs> it wouldn't fit in the box. I put Mother's Milk I have to get there. a bigger box. It's not my fault. It's just a Mother's Milk. <laughs> There's nothing else in there. It's just. I agreed with you. It's just Mother's Milk. <laughs> this is just, this is just my life. My life is just. <laughs> Just mother's milks <laughs> from dawn to dusk. <laughs> Every day is just more mother's milk. I have to get a bigger box. Oh, oh I have to get a bigger box. Or the bit doesn't work. Okay. I mean, no. <laughs> Good. Great. What? I said I'm sorry. Oh. I said I'm oh, sorry. sorry. I meant it to be something good. Is that how that works? You get to go, oh, I'm sorry. I says much as I am sorry. I'm glad you're sorry. I did want it to be good. Well, 
Story of my life, I guess. A lot of people would love that. People no, are buying that with the real money. I don't think money. anyone would like this. I don't think anyone wants mother's milk. If you didn't take it out of the box, you could have resold it. Arr. You could have. I don't want to. I don't want to inflict mother's milk on other people. They I don't like want to. I don't care. Little black boy growing up. You know what? I will, you could see I will take HBO. You know what? Maybe I can. Maybe I can. <laughs> you can probably sell it. I'm gonna flip gonna it. We're gonna be sold out of them soon. I know. We're, we're buying all of them. A, we're creating a secondary market for mother's milk. I did want to get you a good present. Stop saying that like it means but anything I did. to me. I put it in here and it was too big. I don't big. care. I don't care. But it was too big. Oh, great. What? How would it have looked if I came in here <laughs> and the box was like this? It would look like a gimme. You could see it. And you're always stop, angling and trying to stop look. Stop explaining why you have disappointed me yet again. But I tried. All right. I did. I Great. brought the, the good toy in here, or the toy that you say is good, and put it in here, and the box is like wouldn't you tell close. your kid, oh, I got you an ice cream, but then I dropped it, so you don't get an ice cream now. Well, then, that's the explanation. Okay. This stuff happens. Thanks for dropping my ice bad cream, Bad stuff Dad. happens sometimes. No, bad stuff happens literally every episode, I'm pretty sure. No, you got that card. Oh yeah, cool. That fake I didn't know card. that was. I didn't know it was a fake. I, I thought you were gonna smash it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just got uh, junk. I get junk basically on this show for entertainment for everyone well, you else. You gained five pounds. So. I, I gained four pounds. <laughs> I also ate a ton of Chinese food before we did the show. So. Well, uh, let's see it's our- It's not my fault. Shut the fuck up with this. <laughs> it's not my fault. Uh, I think we got we got some more Super Chats coming in. Thank you to everyone for uh, continuing to uh, humiliate and uh, degrade me in uh, every every conceivable I way. I will get a bigger box. Shut the fuck up with this bigger box. I'll get a big box like this big. Yeah, and there'll be 10 Mother's Milks in it because I'm not <laughs> retarded. <laughs> You're gonna go. You're gonna go. Look, look how big the box is, and then there'll what? be several mother's milks. No, that's not what I was. Yeah, gonna... no, there's no possible way. Of course, I wouldn't do that. I'm not retarded. I just like. There's a part of me that goes. Maybe my co-host has a small amount of humanity. I did. Maybe he has like a small amount of like. Man, Vito's been taking a lot of shit, and you know he puts up with so much on this I show. I think that. I think he should get something. Uh, and I've decided what he deserves is a mother's no, milk I, pop figure. I that is. This that. is what I'm worth I to you. I did think that. This is what I'm I worth. I did think it, but it wouldn't fit in the box. That's what I keep trying to explain. Guys, I want to thank all our uh, top supporters for coming by. Your names are justified in any fucking way I that want. Counts. It's the thought that counts. Great. I thought he does deserve something. Cool. People will be upset. Great. But it wouldn't fit. <laughs> I can't bend space time. You know, there's like four other pot. Could I at least get the set? Can I get A Train? No, you Boy? can't get. I have to maybe, have only Mother's maybe Milk. A Train. Can I get an A Train? Maybe you could get A Train. Send some A Trains <laughs> <laughs> Might as well switch it up. <laughs> Would have been pretty funny if I opened it and it was A-Train. You could have gone, uh, at least it's not Mother's <laughs> Milk. Now you got A-Train. All right. I'm well, ruining I the bit by mean, planning all these things now. I did mean you to get something good. Thank you. Well, I'm glad that you cared. Guys, don't forget to vote on all the problems. The biggest problem of the show. Uh, you want to play that song? What What was the song? We have a song oh, queued yeah, up. Sure. Don't forget. You know what, guys? If you like seeing me... Uh, and you like this show? Please check out the bonus episode. We are almost back. Uh, we're, we we uh, we're almost at two thousand paid patrons. We have never had two thousand paid patrons before. Uh, uh, that would be a milestone for the show. So if you're not signed up to listen to the bonus episodes, please do so. Uh, we really appreciate it more than we appreciate you sending in uh, mother's milk pop figures. You can probably stop doing that at literally any time. No, I might run out. <laughs> Well, if you put five of them in the next box, you're definitely going to run out. You know what? I went to the post office today, <laughs> yeah. and I one box was big, and I was like, oh, I wonder what that is. I opened it. I was like, cool. oh, somebody crammed it full of mother's milks again. Great. Dick's whole fucking garage is full of mother's milks now. Well, guys, what a show. And now we have a four-minute outro, and I got no problem with that. <sighs> Don't forget Yaira, number one, now available from you were the right. Reverse. You were right to think that. I was right you were to right. think that. You were right. You did predict. I did you predict did what you like. But 
what you, you said. I didn't anticipate your laziness in. Well, I can't figure out any other way to put anything in this box. It's too big. Put something else in the box. There's small nah, stuff that's not around. The same, that's not the same. You didn't count on that. You didn't count on the theater kid part. You yes, counted on everything but that. <laughs> I didn't count on you going, if the box isn't large enough, I can't possibly. It's not a big reveal. I'm going to go eat a whole 7-Eleven pizza and jump off a fucking building. Guys, biggest problem about show, please vote. Give me those, give me those top boys. Give me my boys. Vito Files in the house. Get your lolly artwork online. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Mother's milk. Ooh. Oh. Let me get that motherfucking milk. You didn't have to keep the whole chorus in, man. <laughs> you could cut ahead got a couple more super chats great guy gave for seven yes officer that fat lard on the right that's him dog fred of five for five you gotta admit you're a pretty rotund guy Vito. tool chest for five Vito, mother's milk figurine cabinet really coming together darius ryan goes for five why does liberal Vito hate mother's milk so much and if this show gets knocked off for playing a four-minute uh, copyrighted song, thanks for being a part of the magic. Guys, don't forget, sign up, whatnot, Vito Comedy on whatnot, buy my video games, buy my magic cards, get this crap out of my house, I will make Mother's Milk, we'll put it up for auction. Yeah! You took that like a chump. Adopt or die, mo fucker. Adopt or die. Save us, Solari. Save us, Solari. Oh, yeah. So that was a death blow. When I was thinking what I was making of the guy with trailers, I thought, what if I dropped a black guy out of a car? Wouldn't that be pretty cool? Wouldn't that be pretty neat? Solari! Smash that like button, you cocksuckers! Gamergate 2 is real! Yeah! Thank you for not killing yourself. <laughs> ah, which one was it? Which which piss sister was it? Uh, the, the the big one. The big one? Oh mm. shit! All right. Please right, law of the adopt or die. Uh, fuck three four hours? Oh no! <sighs> we had a lot to talk about. I guess we did. Glad we didn't do a run. Yeah. A lot of people with you come for that guy's head. I'm you critical made of his that guy. Bed like a bed making I'm competition. Of Streaming. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> Do, 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 do. 